it's Tiffany. We are here with a super exciting video today. We are going to be opening up 100 of the Miniverse blind capsules. So we've got tons of different ones. We've got the Cafe series one and two. We've got the Diner series one and two. And we have the Make It Mini Lifestyle series one. So we have 100 all combined. So a bunch of different ones. And this is gonna be such such a crazy video. I can't wait to see everything we got inside. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, this is going to be one big video. So we better get started. Like I said, we're going to be opening up 100 of the mini verse make it minis combined. So not all the same series. We have like I said, the diner, the cafe, and the lifestyle. We are going to start off with the diner series and we're going to do the diner series one specifically, then we'll move on to diner series two and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> but to make this a little bit easier on us, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start opening this up actually before I explain uh, more about this. We, um, with the help of my husband, we opened up almost all of the capsules already. We just took the plastic off of them. I haven't looked inside or anything, but we just got a jump start so that this video isn't, you know, seven days long. <laughs> so we took all of the plastic layers off except for one of each series so that we could take a look at the wrapper and know what we are going to be looking at. But anyway, we're getting into the Diner Series 1 first. Super excited is I feel like it's been a minute since I opened up a series one of the uh, diner. So we get the capsule. The capsules are, oh, there's another. I forgot there was another layer on this series. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. But yeah, <laughs> I'm used to the series two. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop this open. Like I said, this is the only one that's gonna be in the original wrapping. I mean, they're all in the original wrapping. I haven't opened them fully, but you know what I mean, hopefully. All right, I need a big container for my capsules. Now for the diner series, we get this little table. We're gonna get a table with each one, but I'm gonna try not to, I don't know, crowd everybody with tables, but we might have like a cool display. So let's look at the checklist for the diner series. This we don't need, and we don't need any of these other instructions. We did get this card, the Rise and Shine card. I'm gonna try to make piles off to the side. <laughs> And just to let you know, if we do get duplicates, I know with the mini-verse, make it minis, you can make whatever you want with all of the fun ingredients you get. But if we do get a duplicate, I'm just going to set it off to the side. We're going to just make the base of all of the ones on the checklist. You know what I mean? So if I get four of these strawberry shakes, we're only going to make one of them. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at all of the goodies we can possibly find in this first series we've got strawberry shake mint chip shake chocolate shake strawberry parfait s'mores parfait banana pudding strawberry toast banana toast avocado toast we've got strawberry waffles french toast chocolate chip pancakes cherry pie key lime pie mixed berry tart lemon tart strawberry cheesecake and blueberry cheesecake Ooh, and then we have obviously the instructions on the back we have so much fun ahead of us i can't wait i really hope we get one of each that would be really awesome we have the table and then we have all our recipe cards aka the checklist and then we just got to open up all of our blind bags and see what our very first recipe is going to be so first up, we have two French toast slices. All right, I'm just gonna get all of these open and then we'll go ahead and make it. Uh, we've got, whoop, something just went flying. It was our maple syrup resin top there. Just set that back there. And then of course we've got our tongs. And then we've got, I think this is, this feels like a plate or something. Yep, we got a plate and then we have our toppings. So we've got bananas, a lot of banana slices there. And then I think we have two more bags. This is very small, so I'm gonna assume this is a fork. Ooh, yep, it is the fork. And last but not least, we've got, we've got blueberries. Oh my goodness, they look so stinking cute. Look at that. That's amazing. So what does this mean? This means we've got just the, the general French toast right here. 
Um, so let's go ahead and start making it. So as a refresher, here is the card. This is what we're gonna go for. And let's pull in the table. Now we've got the plate. We've got the, the two French toast bread pieces. So let's go ahead and pull those out first. And we've got two toasty slices. I'm gonna put this down here and then we're gonna kinda just angle it like this, I think. Well, maybe I'll go, should I do like that? Uh, that looks good, right? And then, what should I do? I feel like I should definitely open up these, I almost said the strawberries, the bananas first. So let's go ahead and get these open. Oh my goodness, so many good ones. Now, it might be some, I could have, I could have put my, uh, the syrup on a little bit just so it cured, or it would stick the, um, the two toast slices together, but it's okay. I think, I think that's all right. Uh, I'm going to get one more banana slice. I don't think I want to overload it with bananas. Let's do something like that. I'm going to close this up. We're going to have so many extra ingredients. <laughs> And then let's open up our blueberries. Blueberries. Actually, I don't want these to go flying everywhere, so hopefully. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I can't get them. This tab is so small. Come on. I think they might have to go flying everywhere. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna lie here. Well, hold on. We have te technical difficulties. I love the little blueberry container, but I had to cut it. I'm sorry. It was just, it was frustrating me. <laughs> so we actually have like two little blueberry colors in here. We've got like a light blue and we've got a dark blue. That's pretty cute. I like that. I like that variation. Um, so I'm just kind of, I should just sprinkle these on because honestly, that's what you do. You gotta, you can't real. I mean, you can neatly place your blueberries on your on your French toast. Whoops, just missed, missed the French toast completely on that. But, let me see, yeah, I don't want like a whole stack of blueberries right here like I've got going on. Oh no. Yeah, see, putting some resin down first would have definitely helped this situation particularly. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep a blueberry there though, but we're definitely going to want, maybe put one there and then whoop, Blueberry just went somewhere, I don't know where. And then I'll put one here. All right, I think that's pretty good for our our toast. And then we can go ahead and open this up. Now, one thing about series one is we had this pool tab, so I'm probably gonna struggle with this pretty hard on all of them, um, but hopefully not. I might, just, I might just cut into it like I did previously in the series one ones. Um, we just cut a little slit in there and then we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna put this top on here. It won't come out as fast, but gotta do what we gotta do. So now it's time for us to squeeze the syrup out of here, but it really doesn't want to come out. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So we want to drizzle it on. I don't want, I don't want that bubble on there, but I also want to make sure I cure it fast so that I might be able to get the drips and everything. Let me see if I could suck that back up. All right, so I've got a fun light here. Finally got myself one of these guys. If you've been watching my my mini my mini verse openings, I've been using uh, the kitchen playset a lot for curing instead of going outside. Well, I was going outside a lot. But I figured for this 100 opening, we really, really need to invest in a light. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do this. I kind of want to uh, get a little bit more on this blueberry over here. So I'm gonna sneak a little bit over here and try to stick it to that toast. But this is looking great. Hopefully I can get some drips in here. <laughs> I'm just gonna, oh no, hopefully not that bubble. Oh gosh, there's a bubble. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's looking great. Also, this ended up curing right there because <laughs> that's okay. Look at that. I got a nice little drip, but it's great. I could cut that off and put it on here too. Um, we can use, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea, everybody. All right, hold on. Hold on. I don't know if this is going to work at all. 
because I don't know if I'll be able to get this to come out again. Oh, I will. Okay. So if we do something like this, hold on, let me see if I can pull this off. Nice. Oh my gosh. I did not intend to get creative with this at all, but here we are. Okay. Um, actually, maybe I can go ahead and put this on the toast or something here. Like that? Oh gosh, you gotta get it cured. Alright. <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. I don't know if this is actually gonna work. But, fingers crossed. Um, let me keep this on the side so that it'll actually come out. Alright. Um, I also need to probably put some of these ingredients somewhere. Alright, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of this. And I'm gonna just see if this will work. I don't know. I'm gonna have to hold it. But like this, you know, I think this is going to be cool. And then maybe I can put like a blueberry on it. It might be too thin to, to use the little, the little string, this, the, the, the drip that I've got going on. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Oh my gosh, it's staying. It's staying everybody. Okay. So I'm definitely going to try to put a blueberry on top of there. Or maybe a banana or something. I'm not sure. But this is so cool. Oh my gosh. I just didn't, I don't think I invented it. But like, <laughs> I just figured out the coolest thing ever. All right. So this is what I was going for. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put like a little dollop here. Right. And then stick a blueberry. No. No. Okay. That was a fail. We got to get a different blueberry. Oh gosh. I just spilled blueberries. Where did my tongs go? Here they are. Alright, so we'll put that there. Something like that. I don't know if I like it up there. Oh gosh. Stay. Stay! <laughs> oh my gosh. What have I created here? I wonder if I can get another drip. I don't know. This this might be enough. This might be this might be good. We might <laughs> might want to call it. But this is the first creation. I think we got we got creative enough. But we do have quite a few to go, so we don't want to spend all of our time on our very first creation. But that is that that is the first one. I'm excited with our for our um, French toast. That looks so good, actually. Now let's uh, scoot all of these ingredients off to the side and the resin. What should I do with it? I guess I'll, oh, and I'll drop it. Um, no, we're going to put it over here and. I guess I'll keep this on the table. We'll just have lots of tables in the back there. All right, so we're still continuing on. And this is what I meant by we took the plastic off. We pretty much got all set up for this. So let's go ahead and dump all of this out and keep going. So we have the table, whoops. And then we have the checklist, but we're not gonna go through that every time. And we'll get to open, we got another Rise and Shine card. So let's start opening this up. We've got the tongs. Some of these things that are super repetitive, I'm not even gonna worry about. We've got a cap for the resin. It's more maple syrup. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I feel like I should get a little bit closer here with the camera too, but we'll, we'll see in a second. I might adjust that. All right, I feel like this is gonna be different from the French toast. Yes, all right, so we've got a whipped cream. It has plastic on it too, so let me go ahead and cut the plastic off of it before we go any further so that I don't get stuck later and forget that it has plastic on it. All right, and then we have, I'm guessing this is a plate. Yes, we've got a plate. And then lots of other fun ingredients. We have the, oh, two waffles. And then this is going to be our utensil. So small. It's a little fork. Now I really want to get creative, but also I have to keep in mind we have 100 of these to open, so I don't want to get too creative over here. <laughs> and then we have strawberries. We got whole strawberries and strawberry slices. All right, you guys, let's get this started. I'm going to put that card off to the side. We're going to put our plate down. And first things first, we're going to open up our waffles box and that's going to be two delicious looking waffles look at that mm, i'm hungry and then i could do side by side i kind of want to do stacked like i did the french toast why not 
Um, I could, I'm just going to get the, the resin out and do the same thing I did as last time. Uh, because they have the, with series two, in case you haven't seen anybody open series two or haven't opened any yourself, the little tab actually comes off when you open the cap, which we'll see at some point here when we get to the next series. But I'm going to pull this whipped cream out. I'm going to set it down. I lost my tongs. No, I didn't. They're here. All right. I'm going to set this off to the side and I think I might, I don't know how I want to do this because I guess I should get the recipe card out because I could do a stack situation like this. I think that looks really, really good. Um, I'm looking at the recipe card here and it looks like they did. It's still stacked and that off to the side, but I think I might do it like this. I don't know. I kind of like it. So it kind of, so it's on top of each other. So I'll have to do like two layers a little bit, but it, I don't know. Let's see if I do it the way they did it. I mean, it could, it's, it's a little weird, right? What if I did it like that and then, I just don't know if the whipped cream, I don't know if I'm feeling it. I feel like it's a little strange. But, let's not worry about that just yet. We have lots of strawberries. So let's get those open. Hopefully, yep, they open a little better than the blueberries. So what I want to do is I'm going to get these whole strawberries and I'm going to set them on either side like that. Yes, looking great. Actually, I could do one over here. That's probably a little better. I do it reverse. And then we have the strawberry slices. So we can go ahead and put them on, oops, on the waffles like so. I don't know if I should put any on this one if we do whipped cream. I'm a little concerned. I just don't know about the whipped cream right now. Ah, there. Perfect, because I think let's get this whipped cream back over here. Could do it here. Then it just—it's just weird, right? I don't know. I might be able to pull something off. All right, so I used most of the strawberries. Let's put those. Put the rest of them over here. I gotta get the resin open. So you can't just pull that tab off, but me personally, I really, really do struggle. I think a lot of people struggled with actually opening it and that's why they changed it. Um, so, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna walk our way around that. So we're gonna go ahead and do this drizzle like this. This is how I'm gonna start it and then we're gonna cure it a little bit. We're not gonna go too crazy. We're not doing the full like couple minutes or whatever it's gonna take. So this is just the start so we can evaluate whether or not we're going to use the gosh dang whipped cream. I feel like if we used, like li if there were little whipped creams, it would be much better. But alas, it is not the case. Um, so I don't know. I really like it as is. Would you guys be mad if I didn't, if I didn't do the, the, um, the, uh, the whipped cream? Because I kind of don't want to do it. I'm just like, eh, at this point, kind of like it without. So I think I might do that. I did kind of want to make sure the waffles were stuck together. I totally forgot to do that, but hopefully, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll get itself glued together. Um, I kind of, I'm having the itch to do exactly what I did with the other one, but it's fine. We don't need to. It's, it's going to be fine. I could maybe do something with the whipped cream and the, the fork. I don't know though. I think since I have kind of this empty space over here, I might do some kind of upright thing. Let me see, let me see. I could also go over here in this section like this. Cause I do a lot of the forks just laying down all the utensils really in the past. So I've just had laying down and I don't know. I think there's like none coming out of here. Hold on. Also got to get rid of that bubble. But I can do this upright thing. Ooh, or we do it like at an angle like this. I like that. So I'm going to try to cure it there. And we'll see what that looks like. I think we might want to add a little bit more syrup on this side where the strawberries are. But other than that, I think this is pretty good. I'm excited. This is fun. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see if I can get more maple syrup out of here. I think we are reaching the end of the bottle. There wasn't much in here for some reason. Um, 
so that's strange but if I just go I just wanted to put a little bit more over here just to kind of connect this weird little syrup blob just looked a little empty so I think this is what I'm gonna go with I didn't do the whipped cream it's gonna be fine I set it off to the side but the, the fork stand in there pretty cool. I like it. I think it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to put the whipped cream actually back in the whipped cream container just so I have it for future projects. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. I'm going to go ahead and say that's cured enough. But look how delicious. That looks so realistic. All right. I'm putting that back there with the other one. And we're going to move on to our next one. So let's pop this open. I'm going to try. I'm going to keep the checklist off to the side. And then let's get the table together because that's our main workspace. All right. I guess well, there's our little um, tag thing. This thing. And I'll just put that, I guess, off to the side. So, we've got the tongs back there. Uh oh, I feel another whipped cream container. All right, we've got whipped cream. This one's brand new unopened, so I'm gonna actually bring in our old one because I already opened that one. And then we've got bananas. Okay, so we've got something, whoops, something different. And then we have, what is this, crumble? Hmm, crumble, I'm intrigued. And then we've got a spoon. All right, where are we going with this? Where are we going? I actually don't have any guesses. And a glass. Ooh, like a Sunday type situation. I like it. All right, and then this will be our resin, I guess. So this is, oh, there's two things in here. We've got banana cream. Ooh. So let me see, I think this might be the, would it be this? The strawberry, no, it's not the strawberry shake because it doesn't have bananas. Hold on, hold the phone. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. This is, it's gonna be the parfait. I think it's the banana parfait. Yes, okay, haha, <laughs> got it, found it. I'm excited, this one looks delicious. All right. What shall we do first? I'm going to set this off to the side. I think first things first is we need to start with the resin with these drinks. So we'll go ahead and open up our banana cream. And I guess I usually do like halfway and decorate it and go from there. Because if you look, they also did that. You know, they put in some of the cream, put some crumble, and then put more on top. So I think that's the same method that I'm going to follow, but also I kind of want to do a cool layer with the bananas. Let's open up the bananas while we wait for the resin to kind of settle to the top. And I'm going to also open the crumble so we can kind of move along and not take forever. All right, there's our crumble. Look at that. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> I'm really hungry for like a banana dessert of some sort right now. All right, so I've got the whipped cream out of the container. And we've got the bananas, we've got everything open. So let's go ahead and start. We'll just put a little bit in the bottom here. Hopefully I have a, enough. Oh, uh, that's what I'm most concerned about. And I'm gonna do a nice little banana crumble, right? So we got that to start. I'm gonna kind of flatten it out a little bit so it's in there. And then, oh wait, should I do more? Maybe I should do a little bit more just so the, the layer is a little bit more obvious because it looks a little smished in there. Should I, maybe I'll cure it a little bit. The only problem with doing the drinks is I always end up curing it and I forget to put the straw or whatever in, but it'll be fine. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanna cure it a little bit to kind of make sure that the crumbles don't sink too much. They are, they are starting to sink, but it is what it is. All right, so this next layer is what I am um, gonna try to put the bananas in. You'll see in just a second. So I wanna keep this, keep it on its side. Gosh, this might not work out. Cause I don't have, I need something really skinny to kind of put the, yeah, see this, I don't know. That's not gonna work how I originally pictured it, but this is still gonna work. So we'll, we'll do it this way. So I wanted to do them like originally up against the glass, but I think this is a little too transparent anyway. 
or I'm sorry, a little too yellow and not enough transparent, but you might still be able to get it to work. So I'm thinking something like this, right? Um, let me actually use this spoon since I got to put this spoon in next anyway. Something like that. Something like that. Because you can kind of see the bananas on the side there. And then, whoops, I'm going to actually cure this. I know you're like, wait, what about the spoon? Don't worry about the spoon just yet because I'm, I have a plan. I have a plan. All right, I don't know if that even really cured. Yeah, it cured a little bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this or put some resin in here. I don't know how much we have left. Might not have tons left, and that's all right. But I'm going to put as much as I can in here. And we're going to do... We don't want to completely use all of it because I need some for putting the whipped cream on later. But let's go with that for right this second. I'm going to set that off to the side. And then, this is where I'm going to get a little creative. We're going to go ahead and do a... Should we do a pull? So like this. Something like that. Maybe. Are we going to stay? Oh no, I'm losing the pool, I'm losing the pool. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna stay. Oh gosh. All right, it's definitely doing something, but I don't know what. <laughs> Not exactly what I imagined, but it's something. We'll figure it out, we're gonna fix it. Don't worry. So with that, I couldn't really put this on, but it's okay. Don't worry, we're not done yet. It's a little weird. It's a little cured there. But we also have the crumbles that I wanna sneak on here. I'm so sorry you guys, my battery died midway through my project and I had a mess going on. So I just finished it. It's, it's, it's not my best work. I have a big gap back here. I have a mess up here. I mean, it's not too bad from far away if you squint and look at it from this angle, but. <laughs> We're going to just push that back and pretend we didn't we didn't do that. All right, let's go and do the next one. So once again, well, let me move all the papers. We've got the table we shall be working on. We've got the tongs. Let's see what our first item is here. We've got, ooh, something different. We've got cake cubes. These look so good. I want some cake cubes right now. We've got strawberries. Okay. We have, well, our utensil. Let's see. We've got a, a spoon. I feel like this is going to be another like parfait dessert drink type situation again. Let's see. We've got the resin which is vanilla cream okay and then we've got the little top to go with it and then lastly which might be our cup yeah we've got the cup so it's the same exact cup uh as for what it is i am guessing it is the strawberry parfait all right Shall, do we dare <laughs> do we dare basically do the same thing probably not all right so same deal since it is in fact one of the the uh, drinks kind of technically milkshake type things oh no my scissors got uh stuff all over them resin um we're gonna do the resin first that's what i was getting at okay where shall we start let's get the little cap here and i'm just gonna start off i basically maybe maybe i put strawberries down first or something I don't know. Should I? Maybe I should like follow, follow the, <laughs> the instructions. It does just it just says to do whatever though basically. But I mean follow the picture, essentially. But I think I might do that. Well, I don't know. I like having the idea of having this on the base, right? So we'll do that, and I'm gonna cure it. I know risky, risky behavior. But I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do this. Then I'll do maybe a little bit more just so some of the, the, the ingredients will stick. I'll do strawberries and then some cake cubes and then strawberries again. Or, you know, honestly, I don't know at this point. 
I should have opened my ingredients. Uh, we definitely want to open up the cake cubes. Oops. They look so cute and delicious, honestly. I really want some cake cubes. Um, and then we'll open up the strawberries. All right, so we're pretty set right now. Now, do you do the cake cubes or do you do the strawberry first? I feel like we need to do the strawberries first. I feel like I need to do basically what I tried to do before with like putting them on the sides is that that's risking it basically. We're also risking gaps. I just, flew, a strawberry just flew across the table. Um, yeah, I don't, I just don't know if what I'm envisioning is going to work. So we're going to, but we're going to try it. We're going to, we're going to try it. You see, this is, this is art. We're going to, we're going to cure this. So that maybe it sticks. Alright, okay. And then we're gonna get a couple more of these thingies. Strawberry slices. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stick mine in there. Might be able to fit one more after I get this one in here. But to get this to stick, I'm gonna just put a little little bit of resin in there and get that to work basically I have I have a method to my madness all right and then we'll just try to squish one more strawberry in there see this is what I should do before um, but one more strawberry slice yes this is happening this is working all right and then I'm gonna fill this up oh gosh I'm, I'm afraid I might run out it's fine we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it <laughs> it's gonna happen so I'm gonna try to get this secure as is so that we'll have the view of the strawberries on the side and then we'll do cake cubes and then whole strawberries. I think that'll be the move. I think that's it. So I wanna put a little bit of this on top so that the cake cubes have something to bond to. So we're just gonna throw in some cake cubes. I don't know how many we're going. I guess that looks good. Should we do more? We should probably do more. Do like that. I feel like this might be extra. Unless we push it down and see where it sets. Something like that. <gasps> yes, and then, and then, and then, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait for it. Well, I should actually get a little bit more drizzle happening here, right? And then, and then, put that right here, like so. Yes. This is already looking much better than my banana one. I think, you know, practice makes perfect. You know, what are you going to do? Practice. <laughs> now I feel like I don't have anywhere to put the spoon, but that's okay. You know, we don't have to have a spoon in this one. I feel like we could just go with this as is. I don't really like the look of that, but that's alright. I mean, it's smeared up against the side there. Alright, and then let me show you guys the final product here. That is what we're looking at. I don't think it's too bad. This could use a little less smear, but look at that. Mm, delicious. I'm excited. Alright, so like I said, I'm not going to put the spoon in. I didn't use all the cake cubes or anything. I don't know if I used all the resin. I feel like the resin is definitely low, but ta-da! We did it. All right, that's our fourth creation. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be quite the video. So let's see what our next one is going to be. So we have the table. Ta-da. And then we've got the tongs, of course. Um, I'm trying to open something that'll, ooh, this seems like a different shape, you guys. I don't know, it might be, it is a pie crust, or a, sorry, a tart crust. And then, what else do we have in here? We have our lemon cream, ooh. There's no top with that one, interesting. We've got, of course, the utensil. Where is it? There it is, it's a nice little fork. And we've got, Oh, we've got a nice little display piece. So this tray will be where it goes when it's done. And then you have a nice little cover, which is super cool. And then let's 
this. This is probably gonna be our berries or lemons or whatever. Okay, it's actually like little blackberries um, and raspberries. So that's really cool. I'm trying to see, I guess it might be the mixed berry tart then. Because I thought at first it'd be the lemon tart, but I guess not. So I'm getting the card here. The mixed berry tart. Well, there's no strawberries. Lemon cream. Was there? Oh, sorry, there's one more. <laughs> I was gonna say, um. All right, so then we have the other berries, the strawberries. All right, cool. Honestly, would you guys be mad at me if I didn't use the strawberries though? Because I feel inspired. <laughs> I feel like I should just use these berries. I love these, they're so cute. All right, let's start off strong and get our tart crust out. So this is our tart crust, it looks delicious. And then we're gonna wanna fill this with our resin. I kind of wish it had a top, like a squirt top, but I don't want to get, take the top off the other one, so it'll be a mess. So I'm just going to, I mean, technically I have my own little squirt top though here, so it's fine. I just hope there's enough in here. I might need to use something to spread it, because some, sometimes when I open these, there wasn't like enough to fill the crust um, when I did some of the pies and tarts. So I'm gonna just kind of hang this upside down here for a minute and we're gonna kind of decide, I don't know, I might just go ahead and throw in some of the strawberries. It's not that big a deal. But this is such a nice little shallow tart so I don't think I need to do much curing beforehand. I think I should though. I kind of need to cure as I go or something. I also don't know what I wanna do with my fork. I don't think I wanna put it in the tart. Cause normally you don't, I don't, Think. I mean me personally I would probably just stick my fork directly in the tart but normal people <laughs> don't do that and they would probably serve the tart in, in slices so I'm just trying to get every last bit of this resin out and then we will go from there I do need something to spread it with I could just sacrifice my fork and do a little spreading with it or I can just sacrifice. I have like weird plastic pieces here I can use to, to spread. So let me pull one of these out. This was from a different like toy unboxing. So I'm just gonna use this. Uh, I'm gonna say that's good. I'm gonna set this off to the side though because I might need it again. But this is gonna be good to help spread all of this lemon tart juice like that. I think that's a pretty good spread. And I'm just gonna, I guess, sprinkle on because I have to do it fast because I'm not doing it in layers. I should have done it in layers, but I didn't. Um, the strawberries are open. And then the berries, these are so cute. I don't even want to use them. They're so cute. All right, we've got the little, little blackberries, little raspberries. I'm gonna try, maybe I make them pre-mix or something. I just don't want them to all be, I could do a really cool design too. That would be really fun, but I didn't plan for that. So maybe in the future, but let's go ahead and just kind of throw some of these on here like this. See, they are starting to sink. So now I'm like panicking, like maybe I should cure it now. And then I feel like I have too many raspberries on that one side, but it's okay. We're, we're gonna we're gonna fix this problem with strawberries. So let's go ahead and put strawberries in here. Yeah, I just don't like the strawberries. They just, I don't know. It's not as good as the, uh, the, bear, the little round berries, I think, in my opinion. All right, and then I'll do one more over here. I think that's good for the strawberries. I think that's, I don't know, am I supposed to do more? Maybe. Let's just sprinkle some more on here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm panicking. Just rule number one, never panic when you're making one of these because it just does not go well. Because I feel like all my colors are blending. I feel like there's too many raspberries on one side and too many blackberries in the middle. I, it's fine, I'm going with it. This is it, I'm calling it. So I have a little bit of strawberry slice left over and then we have a few berries, more raspberries than blackberries left over. But I will be able to try again. Maybe I'll get a duplicate of this one and I will 
have a second chance. <laughs> Cause that, that, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. But still not too bad. It's just, like I said, I kind of think the strawberries, the way I did it, it just like would have been much better without the strawberries. I don't know. But anyway, that was that one. We do have this cool little display for it. I'll go ahead and put that on the display. And I love, 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 love the little cap that it has. So there we go. Ready to display at your diner. Okay, dare we go on to the next one? I mean, I feel like we need to keep this moving. So let us see. We haven't had any duplicates yet, which makes me happy. Uh, but I may have spoke too soon, who knows. Let's see. First step, we have the glass. So we've seen the glass before. We don't know if this is duplicate or not. We have cake cubes. I don't, like I said, I don't know. There might be ones with multiple cake cubes, so we're gonna see. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have the, the one we just did, that strawberry parfait. We do have strawberries again, so I am thinking this may be the strawberry parfait one. Okay, yeah, we've got the vanilla cream. This is, in fact, the strawberry parfait one. I just lost the cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put all of this back in here, and that is our first duplicate. I think that's funny that I had just mentioned that we hadn't got duplicates, and then we got our first duplicate. Anyway, that's okay. We still have lots to go. All right, let's open up this table. We've got all of our little goodies here. Let's open this up. This feels like a straw, honestly. Oh no, it's a knife with, but it got stuck in the in the plastic, so now it has plastic in it. All right, and then we have oh, da -da, bananas. Bananas has been a hot item today. I feel like. Almost, not almost, just two things had bananas. Oop, we got two plates. Randomly got two plates, not sure about that. We got the tongs. All right, let's see what's in this one. I still don't know what it is. We've got, oh, we've got the bread. So that's cool. Are we making like banana and bread? Like what is this? Banana French toast? Um, we've got, oh, peanut butter. It's a peanut butter banana sandwich? What is it? Peanut butter, it's just peanut butter banana toast. Banana toast. I honestly used to have peanut butter banana sandwiches all the time. So, this is a man. We did get an extra plate randomly. I'm just going to put that in my spare parts thing. We don't need that right now. And then, let's see, we're going to open up our bread and we're gonna get our bread out first I feel like I'm just gonna cut this out because it is secured up there all right let's get the two slices out and then I'm gonna lay them out I kind of want to do side by side for this one just because I don't know it just seems like like a side by side situation you know uh, let's get our bananas open and then we'll crack into the peanut butter spread. So this will be interesting because I gotta get, I'm gonna try to get the whole tear tab off, but I don't know. I might have to just, I think I'll just cut into it and we will, uh, try to get it open from there. Let me, I'm gonna cut the full thing off here or at least partially off and then yeah, we're good. We got it. We got it. All right. So I can definitely spread the peanut butter on here. This is a weird knife though. Keep in mind it was, it was in a weird situation because it was stuck inside the plastic where they sealed it together. All right. So we do this. I kind of want to do something with a knife to where I can, um, uh, cure it with peanut butter on it since it's already kind of like not ruined, but ruined, you know what I mean? So if I did something like this and cured it like that, I think that'd be really good. All right, so I'm gonna try to make this look a little choppier just cause it is peanut butter. Or supposed to be peanut butter. It is not peanut butter. Do not eat this, folks. I would hope that you know that. <laughs> Do not eat these. That is not good. All right, and then 
put it on this side. I think that's good. I don't want to do a full coat. I mean, normally, if it were mine and I were eating it right now, I would do a full coat. So maybe I should do more. But typically, I think that will be, that's good. All right, so now I want to get just the right amount of peanut butter. Oh, goodness. That is quite a bit of peanut butter on my the knife. I don't know if I need that much. Uh, let's maybe put a little bit over here. I don't know. That's actually not bad. So, mm, but if I cure the knife, maybe I maybe I do this. I'm gonna cure the knife, and then I will stick it on in a minute because I don't want to interfere with putting the bananas on on the. I want it to stick to that still. All right, so. Let's go with that. And then where'd my tongs go? My tongs went missing. Oh, they're there. I always I always lose them. Alright, so we're putting on the banana slices. I did get peanut butter on that banana, unfortunately. Alright. And then we usually, with uh, peanut butter toast, do a nice even four to five slices per per sandwich slice. Let's see if I could, I meant to do five, but because I don't like that four, I just don't think that's enough banana for your banana toast, you know? So let's definitely get five on this one. And then maybe I could move something around. There is a small banana here that I might be able to squeeze in here. There we go. So that at least has nice coverage. I think that's pretty solid. I really want to get this peanut butter off of this banana. At least try to. All right, so now I will cure this. I might, well, I should get the uh, a little blob on the, let me get a little blob. Oh, oh, just a little blob on there so that I can stick this on here like so. And it'll all stick together. Perfect. <laughs> all right. I did end up having a few bananas left over, so we'll go ahead and pack those away. And I'll set the card off to the side. I think this was fun. I liked putting the peanut butter on the, the, the knife since I would have kept the knife normally as is and just had it as a side item, but since it did have that little mess up on it, I thought that was a perfect opportunity to not. All right, so I think that's good. Here is our final creation. The Breads are not officially stuck to there, so I gotta glue them down, or maybe I'll resin them down in a little bit, but this looks so good and tasty. I think the, the knife really makes it. Let's see, I gotta scoot all of that off to the side, and I'm gonna move the papers. So many papers. All right, we've got our table. We gotta start off with the table. Got the tongs. We're gonna scoot that off to the side because I got so many tongs. This is a pie crust. Okay, we're looking at something new. Let's see what else we've got in here. Whoop! Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh no. All our little little whipped creams just went everywhere. But we have little whipped creams. Love it. Okay, I'll put that over there. And then we have oh this is probably the lemon tart maybe. Or the lemon pie or something. So let's Let's get everything out first before we assume we know what it is. There we've got the little tin, the pie tin. And then this will be our middle, which is the lime, it's lime spread or lemon spread. I don't know. So actually, upon further investigation, it is not but I thought it was. It's actually key lime pie. Oh, key lime pie. I used to love key lime pie flavored yogurt and 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 candy or what I don't know. Mostly the yogurt. Anyway, let's get this started. This is gonna be exciting. Okay, pie crust. I think, well, I guess we put it in the, the tin. Alright. Makes the most sense. Should we wait to do that though in case we make a mess? Maybe we should. We will. All right, and then let's get the tart for the um, the filling out, and I'm just gonna cut into it like I uh, did with everything else, and then I'm gonna kind of just set it like this for now while it kind of fills fills the pie tart crust thing up, and then I'm gonna open up 
our other ingredients like our little limes love these little limes they're so cute because you can see they're like translucent and everything it's just like so cool i really can't get this one open though oh my goodness i mean some of them are really tricky and after you've been opening so many of them it gets worse all right so here we go we have all of our little lime slices oops i wanted to just show you up close like look how cute this thing is oh love it and then we have our whipped creams which come in this cool little plastic container I'm gonna get all of those out. All right, so now let's force this lime filling out of the bottle. I can see it, it's coming, it's right there. All right, so we will just wait for that to come out and then I think we're gonna follow, where did I put the card? Oh, it's under here. We're gonna follow this pretty closely, honestly, with just uh, layering the limes. Come on, focus, there we go. And the whipped creams. Unless I do like just a whipped cream in the center. This actually looks very lemony. It looks limey in the bottle, but lemony in the in the pie crust. <laughs> but anyway, I kind of am thinking we could do lemons, or sorry, limes around the whole edge. That would be kind of cool and something different. Did we get a utensil? We did get a utensil. Or no, maybe this is an old utensil wrapper. Is there anything in this thing? Oh no, there's something in there. I need to get that utensil out of there. <laughs> oh my bad. Let me see if I could. There we go. It's a spoon, oddly enough. I just don't think I want to put the spoon directly in there either. So I think I should have saved that little spreading tool that I had from my last one. Because this is a pie crust, so it is a little bit deeper. So... I just don't know if we're going to be able to fill it all up, but we could try, especially with like the whipped creams and stuff. Problem is I was thinking about just doing one whipped cream in the center, so I'm not sure about that, but we'll figure it out. We, we got it. We got it. All right. So let's get this filled to the best of our abilities. Honestly, I think that's about all. I mean, I could take the cap off and we can see what else is in her. I mean, tear the rest of this off and see what's in there. But honestly, I don't think there's much. So that's what I mean about some of the pies. You just, there's just not enough to fill. So we're gonna just have to work with what we've got. I was thinking, you know, limes all around. Maybe we still do that. Let's do this. I don't know if I'll be able to go all the way around with them. We'll just do a little bit of the spacing in between like so and I don't know I'm not loving it right this second. <laughs> Ugh, these limes are kind of not working with me because right. I'm thinking I maybe now put a whipped cream dollop in between each lime. Would that be? That might be something we should do. I could do that, right? And then we can go whipped cream dollop there. Whipped cream dollop here. Oh no. Oh gosh. There. See, now my limes are sinking. This is a situation. Oh gosh. I should have not done the whipped creams. <laughs> oh gosh, it's happening. All right. It's fine. Let's just fix this little lemon. I keep calling them lemons. Lime wedge. Yeah, this is definitely my least favorite creation so far. Oh my gosh. It's not great. It's not great. Let me just go in here and try to salvage this. I mean, that's not too bad. It's mm -mm. We got to salvage it. We got to put more limes in the middle. Let's go and just do... How many do we got? We've got three. But I think all of them will fit. That's the good part. Um, we're going to also have to, whoops, sacrifice. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Take one of these and we're going to put it in the center. All right. Honestly, not bad. Not bad. We're going to go with it. That's it. That's it. We're doing it. <laughs> We are calling it there. That was a little stressful. I do have one lime left. I thought that was going to be a major fail. 
didn't turn out to be a complete major fail. Um, we, we didn't do too bad, honestly. We could have done a little better. <laughs> could have got a lot neater, but it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and cure that for a second. And then we have the pie tin to put it in. And let me go ahead and do that. And then we'll show it off to you guys. So this is what we're looking at. So you can see what I kind of was going for. I was trying to get the, the little whipped creams in there. But what I should have did was lime whipped cream, lime whipped cream instead of not all the limes first. But honestly, it doesn't look too bad, especially from this angle, right? <laughs> I'm just going to run one more test to cure over it here. And then I think we'll be safe to move on to the next one. But we've been doing so good so far. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I probably should clean up a little bit here. I have a lot going on. Lots going on. But here we have our next one. And I guess we still have the little plastic stuck on it. My bad. You know, I opened up so many of these or took the plastic off so many of these and now you're bound to miss one or two or seven. Who knows? <laughs> but let's get the table out and set up. And then let's see about the insides here. All right, we've got something new. We've got some kind of spread. You can see, maybe a chocolate spread. I don't know, a strawberry spread. Um, we've got, oh, we've got pie crust with the lattice on top. I like that one. All right, I think I know what one we've got. I just gotta pull out the recipe card. Then we've got the pie tin. And we've got the cherries. Oh my gosh, I've wanted to make this one for so long. And then we've got our little utensil, which might be a, a spoon. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a fork. It's fine. All right, and then we got the tongs. So let's pull this over here. And we are going to start off by, well, we gotta open up everything. So we've got the pie. It comes two separate pieces. So you got the lattice top and you got the pie crust. The pie crust is the same. And then we've got the filling and we've got the cherries. So we're just jumping right into this. I want to get the uh, recipe card though so you guys can see what we're, we're working with here. We, we've got the cherry pie. It's pretty, pretty simple I would say to create. Let me go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to try to open it up a little wide so that we can kind of sit it upside down. And uh, let me actually use my little flashlight here to prop it up on while we open up the cherries. So we get the little cherries. Oh my goodness, they're so stinking cute. Now I'm gonna, I guess, just mix them all up in there. You know, put the the, the resin will be in, in, in there and then I'll just add in the cherries and I'll, I think I'll use the spoon to mix it up. I don't really have, maybe I should bring in some toothpicks. That might be useful. I've got some parchment paper. I just need some toothpicks. All right, I'm gonna move that and then we're gonna squish out all of this cherry filling. I love it though. It looks so realistic. I've I've seen, I haven't made many pies in my day, but my mom made those kind of pies back in the day where they weren't like actually homemade. It was just like that filling in a can. That's exactly what it looks like. I loved it though. I used to love licking the filling can, <laughs> but she didn't make it much. It was very rare. I think I am just going to go ahead and use this spoon because like, what am I going to use this spoon for? Or maybe I shouldn't. Should I? I don't know. Now I'm torn. Uh, I feel like I need to so that I can, can properly mix it together. Um, but I kind of want to get a little bit more filling out maybe possibly. Will we be able to? Maybe. We could set it kind of like on its top there. I don't know. That might be a disaster waiting to happen. But let's at least get all of these mixed up. It's also useful if you have like a spare bowl or a cup paper or whatever cup um, since you're not supposed to wash resin down the drain uh, so you don't want to use a cup that you'll use that that you'll need to wash but it might be helpful to be able to mix it in something else or even the top of the capsule really I feel like that's that's definitely something you can use to mix um, but not right now because I'm too far into this. Let me uh, see what this is looking like. You want to get every cherry coated. And I love this. This is probably one of the best ones, honestly, because it just looks so realistic. And it's fun. Like, you get to mix all these cherries into the filling. Should do a couple more cherries there. 
I don't know how much I should do, but I definitely want the pie crust to kind of, you can see them through the pie crust. We don't want it to be too empty, if you will. All right, I think that'll do. And then I'm gonna take this lattice part and I'm just gonna rub my spoon off on it. And I'm gonna put it on there. See, I'm a little worried that that won't like cure to it, but maybe it will. I'll just press it down a little bit. And then, where'd my handy dandy flashlight go? We'll go ahead and just cure it through here, I guess. I mean, I could cure it without that. I don't know. I don't know what would be best. Honestly, I don't even know if curing it with the top on is better. I probably should have just not and then like glued the top on later. That's always an option. But we're working with it. We've got what we've got. <laughs> I got a couple of cherries left over. I should have just used all the cherries. It was just too focused. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm trying to get as close as I can with this since it only has the little lattice holes to work with here. Now I don't know if this cured onto, it didn't really. So what I'm thinking is I do it in two parts, perhaps maybe, and we like cure this part and then I just come back and like glue this or or something I'm not sure but this is what we're working with so far I love it I'm so excited for the middle of this it looks so good and honestly I kind of like the idea of being able to take the top off and looking inside the pie so I don't know I might just wipe this off or I could just cure it to it why not like that yay all right and there it is so we could just pop that on, pop it off, whatever. Look at that, that just looks so good and realistic. All right, so I have the, the pie tin that we can go ahead and put that in, but yeah, look at that, so good. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites. All right, so we're gonna jump on over to the next item. Okay, next one, let's just jump into it here. I did change up the angle a little bit on the camera. Hopefully it's a little better. All right, let's put the table together. And let's see what we're working with. First item, we've got whipped cream. All right, classic. Let's see, oh wait, I have one more down here. This might, oop, I think we have a different cup. This is definitely a different cup. So that's exciting. I wonder what it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be one of the shapes, I think. I love that cup, it looks really good. All right, and then we've got, ooh, look at these, they look delicious. And then this is gonna be our utensil slash straw. We've got a yellow straw. We've got the, the tongs, which are actually Lost my tongs, so I need to <laughs> probably use those. Let's see what's this? Got chocolate bar. Hmm. Okay. And then I think this is the last one. So this will be our resin, which tells us exactly what we got. It's chocolate milkshake. Ooh. All right. So let me actually move the capsule off to the side. So here's our chocolate milkshake. Let's open this up and get this ready. I actually brought, we don't need it for this craft particularly, but for like the pie, I brought a little popsicle stick for stirring in case we need that. And right, I'm bringing this over and I'm gonna just kind of leave it like that for a second while we regroup and get all of our ingredients together. So, I think we got, oh yes, I found the recipe card for the one we got. We got the chocolate shake. Those are all of the ingredients. Yay. I really, really do love the little shake glass. It's really awesome. All right. So, let's get our tongs out. And, whoop, there goes that. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we got our tongs. Let's open up our little cookie, straw, praline things. That's what they're called, right? I think. Oh goodness, they're really, really in here. Why is it these, this packaging, always, the ones with like the two plastic lips that face up, I can never get open. All right, so then we have the chocolate bar. It's literally gonna be a chocolate bar. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, there's a few. Oh snap, I didn't realize that. 
Okay. I don't know if we'll use all of them because I was just going to use it as a topper, but we got four, three chocolate bars. Here's our straw. And I think we, that, that means we got everything. Oh, the whipped cream I didn't open up yet. So we might want to get that opened up. And then we'll be ready to make our dessert. Okay, so here we go. Let's bring this in. Whoop. And let's go ahead and fill this up. Honestly, I think I want to pretty much go fill it up all the way. Well, most of the way. I've got to put the straw in before, before I cure it. Um, but something like this, I think it's most of the way. And then I'll add the stuff on top. Well, how am I going to do this? Probably should have did it in a few different layers. All right, here's my straw, which I feel like is way too big. Do I want the straw? I feel like I might not want the straw. Uh, we'll keep it. It's going to be fine. Um, and then we'll do the whipped cream in a minute. Um, same with everything else. It might be a little bit of a mistake to do it this way. I wonder if I could get any back. <laughs> kind of like sucked a little bit up. Alright, I'm just going to cure this on the top so that I can add things on to the top in a second. I don't need it to be super cured or anything. I actually don't know if that, that should have been enough. Yeah, it's just slightly sticky still. All right, please fit. I don't know if this, this isn't gonna fit with the straw. What the heck? It fits in the picture. Can I take the straw out? Oh, thank goodness it didn't cure enough. I'm taking the straw out. I'm just making an executive decision here. We don't need it. I think it'll make a beautiful dessert without it. So let me uh, try to fill in this hole a little bit, possibly. Well, I might not be able to, it's fine. I'm gonna stick, ooh, I could use that hole to stick one of these in there. Yeah, okay, and then, well, what about the whipped cream? This whipped cream's too big. Darn it. All right, well, let's do this. Let's put the whipped cream in. <laughs> There's literally no room to put anything else. How the heck? Alright. Let's get this back in here. I'm going to maybe do this on an angle. No, maybe not. How am I going to do this? Do I get rid of the whipped cream? What do I do? Maybe I just do this and then... I don't know. What the heck do I do? <laughs> I didn't plan for this. I, it just looks like it all fits in the in the picture. I'm going to cure this and then we're going to, what should I do? I could put a chocolate bar on the side. I feel like I need to put something on the side, but I'm just not sure what and how exactly I'm going to do that. Also, we're having trouble with the camera focusing on this, but I'm thinking I might not be able to use this one. That's okay. I'm going to put it on my napkin over here. We'll try again with something else. Um, thinking like we could do something like this. I don't know. Let's focus on getting the chocolate bar in there first. I think if we do like a, a tilted chocolate bar type situation, it'll it'll work out. So I'll get a little bit on of resin on the chocolate bar. Woo! Oh goodness! Let's just tilt that on its side and then. I'm going to put this in here and we're going to hope it sticks. Okay, so we'll just let that cure there. And then, I don't know, like the, the whipped cream was definitely too big for this cup. I don't know what's going on with that, but that is a little annoying. But I'm just going to, we're just going to move on from that. I feel like we could have, we should have did like littler, smaller whipped creams or something for that because there was a lot of opportunity for this I mean you could put the chocolates in the glass I don't know I still don't know how that would work best but anyway let's just get this secure it looks like it's sticking now I just don't know where I'm gonna put our little thing I'm thinking here honestly just because why not uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of resin on it Actually, I might need to get some more. Come on. Whoop, that was too much, too much, too much. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that right there. 
and then we're gonna go and cure that. That's what we're going for this time. We have some leftovers. I was gonna get, try to utilize a few of these, but alas, that's not what's gonna happen today. <laughs> but honestly, it didn't turn out too bad for not being able to fit everything in here. We did have to sacrifice the straw, but it's all right. So this is our final creation. Not too shabby, I like it. It looks really good. All right, I think it's time to move on to the next one. Let's see what we have. Hopefully another new one. Again, we've been on a pretty good roll here. So anyway, we've got our usual stuff, our usual papers. Let's get our table. We're literally running out of space back there. You can't really see it, but space for final finished creations. It's a little out of control. All right, let's see what we have. So, I feel like this is, all of these are getting harder to open for some reason. All right, we've got something flat. It's the plate. We've got a plate. All right, what else do we got? We have a few things that we haven't gotten that still have plates. We've got bread. I'm very hopeful for that avocado toast one. I really have been wanting that one since this series came out. All right, oh, oh, oh gosh, it's a spread. It's a sp oh gosh, I'm throwing it everywhere. It's a chocolate spread? Hmm, okay, all right. I don't know which one it could be. I probably, I have to look at the recipe cards. This feels like a straw, but what is it? It's tiny, maybe a knife. It's a knife, that's what it is. A knife, I think it's light out of the Oh my goodness, this one. Didn't want to come open. Then we have strawberries. Okay, so it looks like we have the strawberry toast. I have never in my life had this meal <laughs> or dessert, whatever we consider it. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm guessing for those who love chocolate covered strawberries, it's pretty delicious, but I'm actually not a fan of chocolate covered strawberries. I know, call me crazy. So let's see here. We want to get the strawberries open. Maybe possibly. Oh goodness, they're really, really in here. Okay, there we go. We've got our sliced strawberries. We've got our two slices of bread. I think we'll do the same thing I kind of did with the peanut butter and banana one. I think that's the same method we're gonna go for. And then I'm going to also, whoops. Try to cut this open as best I can. Same as I did for the peanut butter one. And I try to be super careful here. This is like not a good job <laughs> of cutting it open, but it works, all right? Okay. And then let's get this all spread on here. All right, it's gonna be a challenge. Oh, that looks so good. I kind of wish I could cure it like that. Would that be? No, it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I almost did. I was really close to curing it like that, but we're not going to. All right, let's get this spread on. I don't know how to get a little thicker than that. Oh my goodness, it is not wanting to give me any there. All right, so we're gonna wanna maybe bring it out to the edges a little bit more just so we can see that those the chocolate through the strawberries, you know? All right, that looks great. And then let's get the other slice of toast, bread, whatever, all ready. So probably need like two or three of these scoops. Probably one more after this one. Not get that, too close to the edge. All right, one more. Perfect. All right, so let's kind of put it out on the edges there, and then we will get the strawberries on there. That doesn't need to be perfect in the middle. All right, that looks good. Kind of want to get my knife perfect and cured. Hold on. That actually doesn't look too bad. It's not like good like the first take was, but let's make sure I don't get the toast. I almost cured the toast over there. But I don't wanna 
fully cure like I'm not I'm, well I could fully cure the the knife but definitely don't want to get the toast because we got to stick the strawberries on it but worst case we put some more chocolate on there it'll be fine all right all right it is it's mostly ready to go I'm gonna still stick it on here because it's a little sticky so let's get our strawberry slices on here I feel like I want to do something fancy but I don't know what <laughs> all right let's see Maybe I could just do, I don't know. I don't even know what, what I'm thinking. I was gonna do like a fanning, you know, like layering kind of like this. I don't think I have enough strawberries to do that though, but maybe I could, I could whip out more strawberries. But yeah, I kind of like that. I don't know if I should do two layers or if I should just keep one or what I should do here. Let's at least get the two and then we'll see how many strawberry slices we have left because I don't know if we have enough for doing two layers. It kind of looks like we might, but it's going to be a close call. Oh, that's two. All right, and that's our, oh no, my fanning. No, wait. It's not going as planned. Oh gosh. Alright, hold on. Let me fix this one. Let me fix this one. Like that. Alright. I do need to probably wipe off my... What are these called? The, the, the tweezers. Just so I don't get any more resin all over the rest of the strawberries. Alright, so I have four... Uh, six strawberries left, so I can do another similar pattern. So we'll do that. Hoping that I didn't mess it up. And then we'll be good to go. Look at this. This thing is packed with strawberries. Goodness. Oh my gosh. Two more. One more. And voila. Look at that, that looks so delicious. All right, we finished all the ingredients on that one. So next I'm gonna grab a little bit of this on my knife so that we can stick it here. Cause I'm, again, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the peanut butter. And we're just gonna cure this really quickly. Wonderful. All right, and then the spread, I might need to use this spread again. So I'm just gonna set it off to the side. That's awesome. I'm so excited for the strawberry toast. All right, it should be almost ready to move on in a second. Honestly, I keep looking back. You guys can't see it. I should move the camera a little bit. But I keep looking back at that shake we just made. It looks so good. <laughs> All right. So we'll call it at that. But this is our final project. It might, it'll probably move off the plate. But look at that. It looks so good. All right. Moving that off to the side, and we're gonna bring in our next capsule. So we're looking at, let's see how many, two, four, six, eight, nine, including this one left of this series to open. We have a long way to go. <laughs> all right, let's get all of these papers out of here. But also, how many, how many total are there to collect? I think we're missing seven or eight, not sure. All right, we've got a maple syrup. So I feel like coming up here, we're gonna definitely start seeing some duplicates, but that's okay. We expected that. All right, and we've got, we've got French toast. Now, I don't know if there's more, more of those that we're gonna open, like the um, list that we need. I need to get the list out, but I think, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a duplicate of the French toast. We got the banana slices. We've got the blueberries. So this is an exact duplicate of the very first one we actually opened. So we're gonna put this, we're gonna pack this back in here and move on to the next one. All right, so that's a duplicate for us. I forget what the last duplicate was already. All right, that's only our second duplicate though. So we did really well open this up. I'm going to try to, I'm going to start opening these first. All right, we got a, a strawberry syrup. I think this one's new. Pretty sure this is new. Got a little 
cap for that too. All right, so since this one's new, let's get to assembly here. We wanna get the table up and we've got the tongs. I'm just, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna try not to narrate all of that stuff because we already know, but the basic stuff that comes with every single one of them. All right, let's see what this is. All right, we've got a display case. Okay, this looks really good. I love it. Put it on the table. And then what's in this one? We've got strawberries. So once again, we're seeing the whole strawberries and the strawberry slices. And then we've got a fork. And lastly, we've got, ooh, cheesecake. Ooh, okay, all right. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, but we'll figure it out. We're going to get the cheesecake out first, first foremost. All right, got the cheesecake out. This is what it's looking like. It's great. I feel like I might need to get a little piece of, I brought some parchment paper so that I had something to work on if this case, this, this situation arose. So here we go, we have some parchment paper, so in case I have spillage. All right, and then, what do we wanna do? I guess the syrup would be next. Oh, I guess <laughs> I should show you guys what we got with the recipe card. We got the strawberry cheesecake. So I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna try to do the strawberries all around. I'm gonna actually try to do like drips and everything first, and then I'll go around and do the strawberries. That's what I'm gonna aim to do anyway. Wish me luck. Now we do have the little squirt top on this, so I think I'll have a little bit more luck with this than most of the resin bottles. All right, so I'm gonna put the squishy top on top of the strawberry syrup. I'm gonna kind of set her on her top like this, can I? Yeah, I can use that while I get the strawberries open because we want to be ready, mostly. All right, strawberries, come on. I tell you, these packages, they're so cute, but sometimes. All right, so we have all the strawberries open. We have this open, we're good. We have the fork, which I probably won't immediately use. All right, so we're gonna try, try our very best to go, oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. I mean, Fine, I guess we can we can go with that. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted, but <laughs> I'm gonna try to do some drips like this on the side. So we're gonna do those first, and I'm gonna try to get them to cure just somewhat. And we'll do another one over here. I just want to make sure those bubbles are out of there. But yeah, I don't know how many I want. I was originally gonna do maybe six, but I think I might do four, three or three. Three might be good. I don't know, I might be able to fit six though. Here's one and then do another here. Yeah, look at that. Those are much better. I like those drips, they're less thick. You can't really see them, sorry. I need to move the camera again. I think our old positioning was better. <laughs> But this is good, this is good. Might be able to fit one more drip, but honestly I think I like the four. The four drips pretty good. All right, so I've got four drips. And then we're gonna go ahead and set that there. And then this is when we can put the base coat on here. So we're definitely going to want, I feel like, no, actually it's a pretty good color. I was gonna say, it looks like t a little too transparent, but it'd be a situation where like, if you could, if you had the, remember the cherry pie, the cherries mixing in to it would be really good, but it's fine. It looks good still. I think once we get the strawberries on top of it, it'll look a lot better. There we go. That's the basic layer here. Now I'm thinking, I go ahead and cure this, and then we add more on top. I'm doing it because I want, I don't want anything to sink into that. I think I want everything to set nicely on top. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going. 
Uh, hopefully that was enough. Yeah, it was enough. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some center goo on. And actually, maybe I'll just go ahead and do a whole nother layer. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. One more layer. That way it's really overflowing with that strawberry deliciousness. Look at that, yummy. So now it really looks like the drips are gonna work. <laughs> Okay, so now I think it's okay to start decorating, although the drips really just don't look... I think maybe I will go back over the drips, perhaps. Alright, so... Oh goodness, what do I do? I'm gonna put... I'm just gonna put one strawberry in the center like that. And then... Let's see, whoops! What do I want to do? I guess I could go... Like this? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it's it's not going well so far. Hold on, let's just get a bunch of the strawberries out. I think that's okay, but I wanted it to be closer to the edge, so we'll probably pull that strawberry out at the end. Can't grab these strawberries. Goodness. All right, I'm gonna try to just do the four to start with, and then we'll come back and put more in. If I had more berries, which I do, I have leftovers. I could have just did a fan, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling that. I think they're sliding towards the center too. That's definitely not helping. All right, I think I have just enough berries to do all six. Let's go ahead and put, yep, that went way too close to the center. I'm just gonna try to move them around in a minute. I tried to find toothpicks before I started again, um, but could not find any. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to scoot, oh gosh, I touched it. Scoot these around to where I want them. If they, if it like drips off the side, that's fine. You know, we want that drip anyway. Be more authentic. Okay, I'm trying to space these out a little bit more too. And then we want to cure it for sure so that they stop going gravitating towards the center. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> I'm gonna go back over into the drips really quickly though. I'm not gonna focus too much on them. That's what I say now, but no, I'm gonna really try not to go too crazy with the drips, but I definitely want to make it look a little bit more like it's going over the edge there. Is it right now it just doesn't seem like it's looking like that. All right, great. So now let's get the grips back. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna try, see it's, I'm gonna try to get it to do it without it trying to cure like this. Ready? Oh, that might be a little too thick of a drip, but like, that's fine. Okay, please stop dripping, stop dripping. Oh my gosh, it just got right to the edge there. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to do a little drip on this side. Is that good? Is that gonna drip? Come on now, drip down. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a lot of work. Okay, let's go ahead and cure this one. While I try to work on this drip, the bubbles. All right, that should drip down here momentarily. Hopefully down the same track over here, perhaps, possibly. Good enough. And then we'll have one more to do. This one should be pretty simple. Get that bubble out of there. And then it's not really dripping fast enough, so let's try to get a little bit more happening on that. And then I'll start curing it. Yes, I think it definitely could have used more drips just with the way I made it. So it's fine. We got it, we got it. It's looking great. Didn't, definitely didn't expect to spend this much time on the cheesecake. <laughs> All 
All right, that's good. I think we're gonna go with that. It's a little less even now with, since I added that one drip in and I uh, ended up getting that resin to cure on the side of that bottle. So I didn't, I didn't really want to do that, but it just happened I knew it would. All right, so that's our final cheesecake. There it is. Looks delicious. I'm gonna put it, just so we can get rid of the parchment for now, I put it on its display case. And we can go ahead and, oh, now that I did the drips, it's not gonna close. No, it's fine. We'll just display it like that with the fork. <laughs> Silly me, it's all right. Moving on. Let's see what is next in here. All right, I'm gonna see if we could figure out what's in here before we assemble the table, just because we're really getting down to it. We have some bread. Maybe it's the avocado toast. One could hope. Oh my goodness, come on, I need the avocado toast. It's peanut butter spread. I really don't think I have anything else with peanut butter spread. That I might though. We'll just keep opening this and see. This is gonna be a plate. So I'm thinking it's what was the one? The peanut butter banana. Yeah, it's definitely the peanut butter banana. So that is gonna be a duplicate for us. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and pack it up, put it in our duplicates, and go on to the next one. Alright. This one is. I'm gonna do the same deal. This one seems pretty large. All right, we've got this. We've seen this. This is one of the tart displays. Is there another tart? I don't. Actually, yes, there is a lemon tart. So let's see. Oh, we got lemons. It looks like we've got a good one, a new one. They're all good, but you know what I mean. The new one. All right, let's get the table assembled, and then I'm gonna pull over this. Because this is what I believe we've gotten. The lemon tart. Open this up. We got the blueberries. We got the tongs. See, this will probably be the tart crust. Yes, of course. And then our resin. Perfect. Lemon cream. And then this one will be our utensil. Grab that, and that's a fork. All right, let me get this out of the way. So now, let's do this. We've got the tart crust. Honestly, were we supposed to get a pan? No, 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 because this one has the display. All right, so we have the tart crust. We're gonna need the lemon cream open here. So I'll go ahead and cut this open. Oh. I recommend the pool tab though if you have if you can I'm just trying to speed things up honestly all right I'm gonna set it like that or try to okay and then we're going to I guess bust out our ingredients a little display back there so I'm gonna try to get these lemons open come on lemons Woo! almost had lemons going everywhere Oh my gosh, there we go. Lemons, these are the whole lemon slices. And then we've got blueberries. So they did a really neat design on the lemon tart example. Oops, there go the blueberries. They have like the blueberries inside and then the lemons and then the blueberries. So <laughs> maybe we'll figure this out. So I can do kind of what I did last time, but better maybe, possibly, potentially. So we go like, do have a base, right? And then we can put down like a little bit. I don't know though. We need to fill this tart crust. So whatever we can do to fill the tart crust. Cause the berries were sinking in the last tart crust one. And I worry that if, that I'm gonna use all of this. So I gotta be careful. Don't wanna use all of it because we really need it to make kinda of like two layers. So I think maybe I'll go with this, whatever this is. And then just continue to hold this upside down so that we get more 
but I'm gonna cure this just so that the berries don't sink as quickly as the last tart <laughs> and I don't panic. And then we will put on a very thin layer of this, whatever's left in here. All right, that should be good. All right, now let's do a thin layer of this. Honestly, that probably is good once I spread it around. But let's just try to get all of it. Come on now. There we go. I'm going to spread it around, all around, so that every little inch has a little bit on it so we can really pack it full. So I'm going to go with that. All right, so I want to do, I think, the lemons first. Where are my tongs? Just because they are priority. It is a lemon tart. All right, and then we're just going to do a fan. Oh, I've ruined the fan already. Come on. No. Come on. Oh my gosh. All right. We're going to do a fan at some point when I can get it to work. All right. So there's one. Well, two, three. I actually don't know if I'm going to have enough lemons for this. Or I could do like a half Z kind of thing and do a decoration. That actually might not be a bad deal. How many lemons do I have? Two, four, five left. There's four, so I can do four and four. Honestly, I think I'll be able to make it anyway, so let's just go for it. We're going for it, everybody. This is. Ooh, we're down to three lemons. Three lemons. Two lemons. I think we got it. I'm not sure how to end this though. I never know how to really end the fans, you know, because I gotta pick this one up so it kind of connects as well. Oh gosh, like this, you know, something like that. I think I did it. I think that's good. And then instead of like outer blueberries, I'm just gonna. I think put some blueberries in the center here, like so. I could do a stack of them too. I'll just have to do a couple layers of resin, but I mean, I, I think what I'll do is I'll just try to push them all in there and then see what sticks, <laughs> you know? And I don't think any of these are going to stick, so I'm just... Trying to get all of those in there, and then we're gonna cure this and then see what it looks like. Goodness, this has been stressful. Also, that's way better, West, way less stressful. I think if I would have done that mixed berry tart like this, it would have been so, it would have been very pretty. I could have definitely organized the berries much better, and it just would have looked good overall. I probably could have fanned these lemons a little bit better too, but also, I think it's pretty good, pretty solid. If you ask me. So here is our tart. I'm going to dump out the berries that didn't make it. Yeah, see, I think, hmm, if we do, I could bring in the resin one more time and do, whoop, yep, do exactly that. And then, hold on, let's get the berries. Oh gosh, get the berries before it all sinks down in there this. Yes, just like this. Perfect. Also, I don't know if that's enough, but good enough. All right, and then try to cure that. I think that'll do it. That'll give me a little bit more of a full look anyway. <laughs> I'll still probably lose some berries, but I'm going to clean up these blueberries while this cures. And then that's going to wrap it up for this, this tart. Now, I think, let's close up the blueberries, I think we have, whoops, put this on the tart display thing, I think we have, what, four, five, two, four, six, six, okay, we still have six we're looking for, that I could tell, um, so, we still have some loose berries, or at least one loose berry, let's see, alright, well, we had one loose berry, that's fine. 
But that's the final look. I think that turned out pretty amazing and I'm happy with it. And then we have a fork. All right, so I'm gonna put that way back here and we're going to get out our next one. So it looks like we're missing six, right? I said six, we have two, four, five left. So we're not even gonna get the full collection. Wait, really? Oh darn. That's okay, it's all right. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, chocolate chips, we've got something different. Okay, all right, let's just get all of this out. All right, I have my checklist, I'll set off to the side. We've got our table. I've got, I need to do a little bit of some cleanup over here. All right, let's get the tongs out of the way. So then we have whatever's in here. It is sun baked sweets. So we have these little things. Okay, this isn't what I thought. I thought this would be like the pancakes or something. There are pancakes in here, right? We have a straw. Yeah, there's pancakes. Um, so we have a drink. So we've got a, sh a shake glass. Okay. And then this is, oh, there's two more bags. We have a jar of whipped cream. And this will be our resin. And we have the mint chocolate chip, or sorry, mint chip shake. All right, okay, okay. So we are about to make, I will show you what we are about to make. This right here. At least the whipped creams are smaller this time. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, let's do the same deal where I go ahead and start putting the resin in the cup, like so. Just getting it ready. And then we'll go ahead and open up our sweets. We've got two of them here. Will we, we could probably use both. I'm gonna try to do, I don't know, one might look better, we'll see. And then we have the small whipped creams. We have four of those. I don't know if I'll use all four. We also have the chocolate chips, which I'm obsessed with. I got, I opened one that had chocolate chips before. It's just so cute. And then we have the straw. All right, so let's bring this over. and Let's start pouring this out. It is a mint chip look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cure it like this halfway point more than halfway, but just uh, so that our stuff doesn't sink. Oh snap, I should have put chocolate chips in it. They did a, a whole row of chocolate chips in theirs on the display thing, but. All right, I'm gonna do that. And then I might be too late to cure it like that, but, oh, nope, it's not. There's still some, 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 some uh, non-cured stuff in there. So that'll be cool. I definitely would have mixed those in if I would have really realized <laughs> that's what they did on the picture. That That's very creative. I'm doing a, la a weird layer instead. All right, so that's good. And then go ahead and do this, right? Looks good. Yeah, so we'll have that like a little chocolate chip layer in there. And oh goodness, we have the whipped creams to put on and we have these. So I want to stand these up. I don't know if I want to do two. I feel like two is a little excessive. I think I want to do one because then I want to put some whipped creams and chocolate chips. So I could do this and let's do maybe two whipped creams. That. And oh no, the chocolate chips. Let's get some chocolate chips in there like that. They're all starting to sink. So unfortunately this isn't looking as good as I had hoped. Oh no, there is a resin bubble there. Where are my tongs? Can't. I gotta pop that bubble. Here it is. There we go. Alright, so most of our stuff sunk, unfortunately. Uh, I can, I can't, I don't, oh, I just made it worse. What if I just hide these whipped creams? <laughs> what if we just take them out? All right, I have an idea. Take out the whipped creams, all right? And then we try again. <laughs> I mean, taking out the whipped creams and then just having the, the chocolate chips on first would really help, I think. 
I have so many random chocolate chips I need to just pick up off the, the ground. Oh my gosh. I was just trying to sprinkle them on, but it's, it's, it's kind of a disaster right now. There's so many chocolate chips everywhere. Not complaining. Because <laughs> who doesn't love chocolate chips? Everywhere. Well, I mean, these ones. No, 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 no. Stay. Stay. Alright, so now we could try whipped creams on there. I also want to make sure there's more chocolate chips just so that it doesn't fall. And we have a couple for extra decoration. So we do this whipped cream. And actually, one whipped cream looks fine. And then we do, we like highlight the chocolate chips or something just by sprinkling more on there. I like it. I like it. Disaster has been turned into beauty. I like it. All right, now here's the real test. I want to try to get a chocolate chip right here. Yes, in that beautiful positioning. All right, we're going with that. And I do realize there's a straw, but I don't want the straw anyway. <laughs> I realize the straw should have went in first, but it's just... The straws are so big anyway, I'm just going to make a cute little parfait situation. So I'm going to, so we have one more little cookie left, and then we have, actually I think we used all, the, literally all the chocolate chips. Well, except for like some rogue chocolate chips that I'm going to try to put back. But yeah, there's like literally only four chocolate chips left. I should have just used those, but it's fine. We'll just save those for another day. Put those away. And then... This should be good and ready to go here in a second. I actually lost something, but anyway, there we go. Yep, we're good to go. So this is our final look. There is an air bubble there, but I like the chocolate chip layer. I, 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 if I did this differently, I definitely would mix up the chocolate chips at the bottom there. But yeah, um, did we get silver with that? I don't see it. All right, we'll put that over there. So we have four capsules of this series left. I feel like I need to clean off my tongs as well. I feel like they are covered in resin. Uh, but anyway, let's assemble this table and see what we have. This feels like flat, like bread or something. Yes, okay. If this is the avocado toast, honestly, that's really all I want. <laughs> anyway. Oh gosh, let's see. We've got spread, okay. I think that's not the peanut butter spread. All right, let's get all of these papers out of here. Checklist. We've got the tongs. We've got a plate, perhaps. Yes, we've got a plate. And then we've got, this is the moment of truth. What is it? Oh, yes, we've got the avocado. Yes, I've been waiting for this one my entire life. Okay, not my entire life, but you know. And then we have our knife in here. Honestly, I just want to use my popsicle stick, but I only brought one of them. Honestly, maybe I'll just use it. Who cares, right? All right, so we're gonna cut open our bread bag here because I'm too lazy to unwrap it. And we have our two slices of bread. So I will put them like this like so on the plate, kind of like we did the rest of them. And we're gonna open up our spread. Okay, we're gonna try to maybe cut this one open like we did the other ones perhaps, so that we can kind of scoop out what we need and kind of see through into there. Maybe I should cut it a little better just so we can scoop out properly. There we go, that's probably the best one we've got so far. All right, and then we have these avocado slices, which we all know, well, if you eat avocado, you know they actually wouldn't look like this if you kept them in a package like this. It would be super brown. All right, I do really, really, really wanna use this popsicle stick, so we're gonna try it. I don't know, probably not the best. I want, let's see. Okay, I got a, a good bit on that one. Let's see, whoops, I'm just making a mess. All right, I want it thick, you know? I want my, I'm guessing cream cheese. I don't know. 
I usually just put avocado on my bread and that's it. Like I don't, and salt and pepper. I don't really put anything else on it. So this is definitely new to me. All right, and let's get this. Oh, it's looking great. I'm just so excited to place these avocados on there. Wonderful. Now I, well, yeah, I'll probably do the same knife thing as I did before. But we definitely want this to be thick. Looking good. All right, I think that's fair. And then I'll just put my popsicle stick over here. All right, and then, and then, and then, and then, probably gonna, I need to change the camera angle up on the next series for sure. I think I might do more of a top down for you guys. That might be a better look. All right, so we've got our avocado slices. So, how do we wanna do this? I mean, I guess we'll just do plain and simple, kind of just like lay them out slash kind of fan them. Should I? Kind of do them the same way, I guess, so they sit together nicely. Eh, we don't need to fan them. I think they'll be fine as is. Will I be able to get four on here, though? That's the question. I think I can only do three. I don't know, though. Probably do four if I can, I can organize them right, but I should count my pieces before I start. <laughs> All right, uh, let's maybe make this the last one because honestly, I don't usually put a ton of avocado on my avocado toast, but there's like empty space. So maybe we should just go ahead and put another one on like that. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe I try to do that with this one. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up too bad. I don't know, I kind of like it. Looks good. So I'm going to cure this just briefly and then we're actually going to put some cream cheese on the knife and put it on like we've done with the other ones. So I think that really does add a nice little touch of something. Ooh, that might have been a little too much cream cheese. You'll never hear me say that though. <laughs> you know. All right. Love good, some good cream cheese for sure. All right, we'll go with that. And I think we'll be pretty good. We have a little bit left over. I'll set that off to the side in case we need it for anything. But yeah, I'm really excited we got the avocado toast. Like, oh, beyond excited. Okay, so here's the final product. Look at that beauty. Looks delicious. All right, I'm gonna put it back here with all of our other creations. And we've got three capsules remaining. All right. Let's uh, try to get the checklist out. Let's see what we have. I feel a box. All right, we've got waffles. I don't know if there's more waffle ones. I don't think so. I'm gonna say this is a duplicate because there is literally only one waffle. We're just missing the pancakes. So we'll just put that back and move on to the next one or not because I can't get this back in here. <laughs> Try it again, there we go. And we have two more. This is the one of the two. All right, let's see what we have here. So we're missing the blueberry cheesecake. Oh, I never showed you the avocado toast little card. Sorry. Um, but we're missing the s'more parfait, the strawberry shake, the chocolate chip pancakes, and the blueberry cheesecake. Um, so we have some chocolate cream. This could potentially be something. Let's open up another ingredient here. All right, yeah, we definitely got something new. Let's assemble the table and get started. Got the checklist. All right, let's see what we have here. We've got marshmallows. Okay, what the heck do we have? Maybe this is, this is a s'mores parfait, surely. We've got crumble and chocolate bars. And then of course this is gonna be our spoon. I thought it was gonna be a straw for some reason. All right, and then we have the tongs left over. Let me get the s'mores parfait uh, recipe card so you guys can see. 
it looks really great and I can't wait to make it. So they did like a layer thing. I think that's definitely what I want to do. All right, so we've got the jar. We probably want to start off like we do with most of these beverage ones and we'll cut the top and put the little spout on and then tilt it upside down just so it all settles uh, at the top. And then we'll go ahead and open up our marshmallows. Let's see, I'm gonna need to cut this open. Look at all of those, oh my goodness. And then we have the crumble. We've seen the crumble before with the banana. And then we have the chocolate bar. All right, and we see the chocolate bar before too. Do I want to put the spoon in? Probably not. I think I'm just going to do without doing that. Let's get the marshmallows out. I'm spilling them out everywhere. I'm making a mess. Okay, so let's fill, let's do a little layer here. Should I, I think this, I'm going to, I'm going to cure this as is. And maybe, well, no, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll figure it out. I'm going to cure the bottom just so it stays chocolate and doesn't collect anything weird. I think we'll do graham crackers next. So maybe I do a little, little bit of that. And then we do the crumble, or some crumble anyway. Whoop, that was a lot of crumble. <laughs> I need something to push it down. It's fine, that looks good. And then maybe we do a little bit more, like a little, just a little drizzle in there. And then we do some marshmallows. Like that. Yeah, I like it. I like what's happening so far. And I think well, I want to get a little bit of extra on this side. But look at that. It's happening. I like it. Um, what else should I do? I should do crumble again. Let's do crumble again. And then we do... I hope I have enough chocolate. It seems like it's emptied already. What is going on? All right, and then I put that in there and then we'll do more marshmallows. All right, and then we'll do more chocolate, I think. Should I cure some of this? Whoop, there goes a marshmallow. Kind of want to pat it down a little bit. I'm gonna cure this, well, kind of, sort of, just a little bit while I wait for some of this to settle at the top. And then I think we'll do I think we'll do a tiny bit more crumble and then some chocolate bars and some marshmallows. If we can get enough of this chocolate syrup. If we can't, which I don't think there's enough, quite honestly. I mean, it's looking good so far, so worst case, you know, we just add the chocolate bar and then we walk away. But honestly, I don't think there's enough for the chocolate bar. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try to push some of this down though because I want it to be a little less gappy. But yeah, I just, I just need a little bit of this chocolate syrup for the chocolate bar. I might pull some of that um, resin from this guy, the uh, avocado spread. And we pretend, oh, there's some. I got some, but it wasn't where I wanted it. <laughs> I guess we could just set it like that. And worst case, I can use this spread. Um, I do want to put a couple more chunks of the crumble since I have that literally everywhere and then okay so we got that for the chocolate bar on the side oh we got some more great I'm happy about that so we'll go ahead and put our chocolate bar in there nice whoop take the camera and then and then what do I do what do I do do some more marshmallows Yes, that's the answer. Marshmallows. And then I think we'll cure that, and I think that'll be it. I like it. I like what we've got going on so far. Alright, let's go with that. And I think that'll do it. And we just have one more for the series. Oops, you can get in there. You gotta, you gotta stick to something. <laughs> Alright, so that's curing. And I need to clean up like all of this random stuff. I guess I used all of the marshmallows. I didn't use all of the crumbles, so maybe I keep the crumble in case I need it for something. We do have the spoon. I need to clean off the table, but that is what we're looking at here. 
I think it turned out pretty good. It's a little messy. I could have maybe cured it in between layers a little bit more, but and it is what it is. And we'll do better next time. But that is our final creation there. Now we have one more to open, you guys. Let's see what she is. I feel like, what are we missing? Three, we're missing three, which is such a bummer, but it's okay. We've got, I think this is another avocado toast because I don't think any of the remaining ones need spread. Nope, so I'm pretty sure this is just another avocado toast, which is nice to have as a duplicate, but <laughs> not what we're looking for in this go around. All right, you guys, here are all of the creations from this series, just this series. We have so many really, really good ones. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. I really think that waffle, strawberry waffle set back there is my favorite. But let's move on to the next series. Series one is all cleaned up. It's time to move on to series two. This is the packaging. We have Diner Series 2 written down here, and then we have this ramen on the front. Same deal. This is the only one we'll be fully unboxing. The other ones have already been opened just to just to help us along <laughs> otherwise this video would take four days uh but let's go ahead and continue to open this one we've got this cute diner packaging i love all the pies and cakes and banana splits and everything on it beautiful and then we have a capsule that looks exactly the same so let's go ahead and pop this open and we're going to take a look at the checklist so we got the same papers, but we've got different checklists, obviously. All right, same deal on the back. There are all the, the recipes, but let's go ahead and look through here. We got tiramisu, berry, Charlotte, we've got fruit tartlet, lemon tartlet, lemon bunt cake, choco bunt cake, red velvet bunt cake, Strawberry Sunday, Rocky Road Sunday, Mint Choco Chip Sunday, Unicorn Sunday, Banana Split. Going down to the bottom row, we've got Choco Strawberry Cake, Birthday Cake, Strawberry Short Cake, Pineapple Upside Down Cake, Apple Pie, Banana Cream Pie, Cookies and Cream Pie, Ramen Noodles, Ravioli, Veggie Pizza, margarita pizza and meat pizza so many good ones St tons of them i don't know there is there how many other two four six eight ten twelve i don't we're not gonna find all of them today even if we luck out but i really do hope we find most of the savory ones the pizzas but let me know what you guys are looking forward to the most in the comments below we got a card we've got the table Luckily, this series has um, paper packaging, so it'll be a little easier to open. But same table, let's open up all of these goodies. So we've got the tongs. Oh, wait, we've got chopsticks as well. All right, I'm, I'm guessing we got ramen. That would be my guess. Uh, but here's the little chopsticks, or not chopsticks, tongs. And then here's the little chopsticks, and we got this little spoon as well. I'm loving it. All right, let's see what else we have. We've got, oh, okay. Ooh, that looks like a good topping. Hold on, you guys can't really see it. Look at that, like, maybe seasoning of some sort, I'm gonna guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then we have, oh, we've got the ingredients. We've got egg, lots of, lots of, well, two different fun things. And then we've got, ooh, we got the actual noodles. I can't wait to like touch those and see what they feel like. And then we've got the, the actual, I guess the broth for the ramen. Love the little container. And then this is the last item. I'm guessing this will be the bowl. Yes, of course it is the bowl. I'm guessing where'd the spoon go? Here it is. It kind of sits on the side like that. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Like, I don't know, there's so many fun different ways I could do this. I'm gonna get the little recipe card for you guys. So let's take a look at it. So, oh, it's a chopstick resting place. I mean, you could also rest your spoon there. But I like this. I think I'm not, I'm not gonna put the spoon in there. We could do like a, 
a scoop like a you know what I mean that might be something fun to do but I don't know if we're gonna do that <laughs> but this is awesome let's get started so let's cut open the noodles and oh oh they're so they're so fun all right so they are like a little rubbery noodle there and then we should actually open up our resin so I can get that started here this is I don't know if I wanna I guess I'll and you can see how it opened without me having to use the scissors I'm gonna actually start just putting it in like that I'm guessing we'll put the noodles in uh, will we be able to fit all of them I hope so we'll put all the noodles in and kind of mix it together as best we can I need my my trusty little mixer here uh, but I'll keep that off to the side and we're gonna just fill this up with some broth lots we're gonna need lots of it <laughs> we could start putting in the noodles we could also, mm -hmm, I'm wondering if I should cure it as we go along and do like layers so they don't end up all in one layer and weird and stuff. So we might want to do that, uh, but we'll see. It might be all right to just kind of mix them all together, kind of like I did the cherry pie, you know. So let's get all of this out. And then I think I'm just going to do, obviously, the toppings on the top just so we can see them. Um, We'll, we might have to set this down and mix the noodle first and then come back and put a little bit on the top. Hopefully we don't use it all. <laughs> I think we'll be good. I think I'm going to stop here because I forgot that that's actually going to um, grow in size once we add these noodles. So let's get to my trusty popsicle stick here. Honestly, I don't think we'll be able to use all the noodles. It just seems like there's so many noodles. Like, look at that. That's already packed full. And then let's put one in there. And then do we have like a smallish one. This one looks cool. But like that. Honestly, I think that's it. I think that's all we got. I mean, we have tons of noodles left. But I think that's what we're working with. And then I'll go ahead and, well, we can cure that. Wait, where'd my light go? Here it is. So I like it the way it is. So we're gonna cure it really quickly. And then I'm gonna go and add in the, or on the, the other toppings. I think we have three total. So exciting. I'm loving this ramen so far. I love the savory ones, they're so fun. All right, so do I want, what do I want to do? I think, oh, well, ultimately I should have set that on its side. We're gonna need to open this up. Honestly, I love it playing like this. Is it just me? Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna follow closely with what the packaging, or sorry, the recipe card has. They have one egg, so here's the little egg. And then they have two of these. We'll just do that, I think we'll go with that. And then we want to open this. And they did like a sprinkle of this in the center. So we'll kind of go with that and see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to need to do a little, little bit of this, at least where I want my toppings. But I think I'm going to just do a general covering of this. Actually, I have a lot more in there now that I let it rest. But we'll go ahead and set that back on its side. And this is what it looks like right now. So I will go ahead and get my tongs. And I guess we'll place, should I place these little guys first? Oh goodness. These little guys first. So they kind of go, well they have them here on the side. Kind of like this. Kind of like that. And then we have the egg which is kind of just back here. And then we want to do a little sprinkle of this. I'm nervous to sprinkle. Oh, good. Good thing I didn't sprinkle it directly on. We have a little sprinkle of this. Kind of want to do it a little bit all over, but more so in the center. So I'll do a little. Sorry, you guys. I think that's out of focus, but I was panicking with that. So we'll go ahead and set this. And then we'll see what it looks like all finished. I'm excited. I really like the look of the noodles and the broth. I could have so much fun with that. Uh, especially with like all my spare ingredients. Oh, it's gonna be so exciting. I'm excited I have leftover noodles as well. I'm gonna be making, I gotta make some more soups. <laughs> but this is really awesome. 
All right, so this is this is the final look. It looks amazing. I am obsessed. Yeah, I should have brought this uh, table over. <laughs> it's fine. But then we have the chopsticks, which so cute. Can set right there on the little chopstick thing. And then you could fill the broth up enough to where you can, you know, have them attached. But I kind of like having them extra, like over here. Uh, but what else? Is that it? I think that, oh no, the spoon, the spoon. So that's not fully set. I probably should should do that before I put the spoon in there or it's going to stick on to the side. But I got all the, I got to put all the spare ingredients away. Oh, and then that's the lid for those. But anyway, here's our spoon. So you could definitely just set it in there or you can just set it off to the side like so. I'm obsessed. I love it. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. So I got to do a little bit of cleanup with these noodles, but I'm going to put this back and then we'll move on to the next one. Here we go. Got the usual. Got the checklist and the papers. Those are not our first items. This will be new. Oh, it's pizza. So we've got the pizza box. Sunny Bros Pizza. I have a little piece of tape here. I don't know why it's taped. I feel like that is... Is there something in here? Or why is that taped? And then what if it rips the pizza box? I wouldn't want that. I don't think so. I think this is just display. Like, what's up with that? I don't know why that was taped. So anyway, maybe just somehow so it doesn't get crushed or something. I'm so excited we've got pizza, you guys. Pizza's my favorite food of all time. All right, so let's open up the, I guess this is the cheese. Got the cheese sauce. And then oh, we've got, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Meats. We have little pepperonis. This is too stinking cute. I can't even, you guys. And then we've got the crust that already has the sauce on it, which is nice. But we only have to put the cheese sauce on it. And then we have the tongs. So I need to find somewhere to put. Maybe I should not open all the tongs every time. But then again, it comes with a utensil, so I need to open the tongs. We get a little pizza cutter. And then we've got the grated cheese. So it looks like we have a pepperoni pizza of some sort. All right, so I have some, I have, I have little recipe cards here. There's just, a, well, it's just meat pizza, I guess. Just plain old meat pizza. I don't know why they didn't call it pepperoni pizza. <laughs> anyway, time to get started here. We're gonna cut the crust out of here. I'm gonna grab my parchment paper piece that I thought I had here somewhere. I do, there we go. And this is our crust. Ta-da! And then, let's see, we don't need the, the box just yet. We have the cheese. Oh my goodness, I made a mess with the cheese already. I'm gonna just go right ahead and add the cheese on to our pizza and then I'm gonna get the ingredients ready. I think we'll do the same thing that we did with a lot of these with like the tarts and stuff and do one layer with some cheese. Although it might be nice to have it sinking a little bit, the, um, the pepperoni sinking into the cheese a little bit just so it gives the illusion of it bubbling up and all over you know what I mean all right this I need like a spoon to get out I guess oh I could use my trusty little popsicle stick but it's fine I'm already dedicated to this so this cheese is translucent too which I wish it had a little bit of less translucentness to it um oh gosh so much happening right now set that off to the side. I'm gonna get my popsicle stick. But yeah, the you can always add paint, like acrylic paint into these and it does still cure okay. I've done that before. I've used to work, I used to work with resin a lot. Um, but that really will, will help with the transparency of it, you know? Like that should be a lot more yellow in my opinion. But I'm gonna actually cure this just slightly just so I can get the pepperonis from completely sinking because I am going to overflow this with cheese because we want loads of cheese on the delicious pizza so we can't see the sauce last time I did it kind of in the middle not with the meat pizza but I did the pizza in the middle with um 
so the sauce could show through. Kind of sees it. You can kind of see it on the side, but anyway, let's add a little bit more cheese, specifically in the middle, and then we'll add some pepperonis. I'm gonna add a little bit more because we want to definitely get some thickness on the cheese here. And I kind of want to do, oh yeah, I meant for the ramen, I forgot to do the little, the ramen pole, but I could do like a cheese pole. Um, but I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna actually cure this one more time. I know, don't, don't come at me. I just really, really want the cheese to be thick and I don't want to be able to see the bottom of the pizza. All right, so let's get, this last scoop will be where we stick our pepperonis on. All right, here we go. So you can see with doing multiple layers, the transparency goes down and it's just overall, overall better. Nice little hack for you. All right, so I think that's good and glossy and ready for pepperonis. So let me get my tongs. Let's get these pepperonis on there. So you can see they're just super tiny. Go ahead and stick them on. And then we can definitely do a little drizzle over them also. By the way, that's my dog background like she's been snoring for a while and <laughs> she's just having a good snooze while I do this activity alright oh it's looking delicious I want a pizza right now okay we'll go ahead and put this one over there this one here kind of move this one and move this one this one I feel like I need another one over there but yeah, it's fine. Let's get one more. We'll try to arrange it. This one, I don't like this pepperoni. It has a weird little tail. So let's get a different pepperoni. Let's see. Which one we'll do. There we go. Yeah, so I'm, I'm liking all of these little pepperonis. They're super cool. I feel like I need an extra pepperoni on here. Let's see. I'm gonna move that. I don't know, I think that's good. And then like I said, I'm gonna put probably another layer of cheese. Nothing too thick or anything, but we just wanna give the illusion that it is it has been made with baked with the cheese on it. Oh, I forgot about the, the, the grated cheese, darn it. Darn it, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone, we've got it, we'll get it. Alright, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna just put a little bit over top of here. Nothing too crazy. So I might have to uh, come back and shake some of the cheese off. Because I'm not doing anything too, too heavy. I'm gonna try to get some more in, in the cracks than on the pepperonis. But we'll see how that pans out. <laughs> But yeah, we definitely want to get some grated cheese on here, so I'm going to try my best. I almost want to put it in the, the pizza box. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so it should be somewhat okay enough for me to sprinkle some cheese on it. I'm going to do this like I did in the ramen, just so it doesn't spill all over. Sprinkly, sprinkly, sprinkly. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, guys. I am starving for pizza, and we literally ate our last frozen pizza two days ago so guess I'm not having pizza tonight but here we go this is it this is the final final pizza I'm gonna get the pizza box ready here and then we'll take a look at it yeah we got this nice pizza box with a little piece of parchment in there with it and then of course we have the little pizza cutter which is nice where did I put, I lost the grated cheese. Oh, here it is. But anyway, we got lots of grated cheese left and I think we're about ready to take a look at this. All right, are you guys ready? Let me uh, pack this up in our pizza box and ta -da! look at that deliciousness. I am glad I went back over it with, uh, well, definitely the double layer. So you still see the sauce on the sides but in the middle you definitely can't, which is great. And then you have some cheese over top of the pepperoni, so it makes it look a little more, bit more baked. Ah, oh, so delicious. All right, let me uh, set that on that table. And I think we'll move this back to the finished pile and move on to the next one. Next up, let's open this one. Get the papers, put this to the 
side. Let's get our table assembled and see what we have. So we've got, oh, ho, ho, this is that chocolate pie, isn't it? Why are we not focusing camera? That's gonna be awesome. All right, we'll have to, I think I have the recipe here. We also have some whipped cream, but here's the chocolate cookies and cream pie, which I think is the one we have. Ooh, I'm pretty sure, hopefully. Anyway, let's see what other ingredients we have in here. We've got the whole little cookie halves. You can see those. And this is going to be the utensil. I'm going to keep this in here because I don't need the tongs and I don't think I'll need the fork or spoon that come with it. Here's our little pie tin. This one's actually just a decorated blue and white pie tin. And this one will probably be our pie crust. Oh yeah, chocolate pie crust. Wait, where's our resin? Right, this is the resin. I am like super silly. I forgot <laughs> that I already unboxed the resin. Silly me. All right, but let's start by getting this pie crust open. So again, it's just the same, it's a little darker, harder to see, but same deal. And then we can go ahead and put it in the tin. I'm just gonna put it in the tin because why not? And then we can open up our filling. Oh my gosh, there's like little cookie speckles in it. That's awesome, I love that. I'm gonna do that while I open up these cookie pieces. And we have the whipped cream. So, oh my gosh, there's so much. This one, I was really stoked for because it looks delicious. All right, so we got the little baby whipped creams. Actually, these seem tinier than the ones we were used to. But anyway, let's get some of this pie filling out. Let's see, oh, there's our first glob of pie filling. It looks so good though, look at that. So yummy. I don't know, I might need my trusty little, um, what do we call it, popsicle stick. Didn't think I'd use it this much, but here I am. Okay, let's just uh, try to scoot this out. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that might not be the smartest idea because I don't know how to get it off of here. But for now, I'm just gonna use it to spread the, I'm gonna, I think I wanna take this out of the pie tin because I can't really hold on to it. I'll spread this around and make a base again so that the stuff doesn't, uh, sorry, the ingredients don't sink to the bottom, you know? Let's get some more of this in here. Look how tasty that looks. Like, I am so hungry for some cookie pie right now. You don't even know. All right, so I'm gonna stick with that. Where'd my light go? I wanna be careful not to shine the light over there on the resin bottle. So we're just gonna quickly harden this a little bit. Then we'll put another layer on and actually stick our items on it and in it. Okay, that's a little hard, not fully cured. All right, so let's get a glob of this. And same deal. Oh, I didn't really want to do that, but that's all right. That's all right. That's what I get for using a big giant popsicle stick. <laughs> Might be able to cover it up a little bit. Who knows? All right, let's get another scoop. Doesn't help, but collecting so much on the popsicle stick. All right, this might be the last of it, just because I want to be able to stick my ingredients on there. All right, so there we go. Put that in the middle, looking good. Set that there. Set my popsicle stick over there. My tongs. So I do want to take these cookie halves and stick them in and do kind of like a, a fan look, you know? Maybe we do four to start. Oops, please don't fall. It's not quite a fan, you know what I mean? It's, it's just even placement across the board, I guess. So let's do another one here. And then do we have, oh no, 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 no. 
this day. Do we have four more? We do have four more. So may as well use them. Why not? While I would love to have some extra cookie ingredients, this will do. Alright, so we will just put them in between each of these that we already placed. And then we'll put, well, what about whipped creams? I didn't really think that through. I could definitely do one in the middle. We'll just see. We will see. They fit them all on the picture. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Now, please put this whipped cream on without ruining everything. Uh. <gasps> yes. Sold. Sold. Cure. So, if we take a minute and look at the card, you can see they put whipped creams in between each one. Two, four, six. They put in six cookies. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I put in eight cookies. It's fine. I did it a different way. And now I have lots of whipped creams that are left over for future projects. But that was really cool. I really, really like the, the center, the cream, the resin of this one. It was really awesome. And I'm just going to kind of set that resin off to the side. And, oh, I guess we're out of, we are out, whoop, I just threw that across the room. We do have the tin that we get to put this in. So let me go ahead and do that after I show you, of course, the final look. Oh, so good. I am hungry. And then we just place that in the tin. And voila, I love it. All right, we'll set that in the back. And then we are going to move on to our next one. So I'm going to just open up the first one to make sure it's a new one. Yes, we've got one of the waffle bowls. So this means we're getting one of those sundaes. So let's take these and put them off to the side. We're going to make our table and then we're going to open up our ingredients. So we've got, we have the waffle bowl. Obviously we have cotton candy ice cream. Okay. Mm not a cute honestly i don't like anything cotton candy flavor personally but <laughs> sounds good uh, and then we have these little cookies and then we've got the, the resin here we've got some cotton candy syrup does this not come with a top it doesn't have one of those extra squirty tops i don't like that i miss those tops uh, and then we have some sprinkles some rainbow sprinkles and then of course we have the utensils, so therefore there will be a spoon in here, I think. Yes, ah, there goes the spoon. All right, we've got all of our ingredients. Oh, I was like, where's our bowl? I'm being very forgetful today that I keep opening the stuff that we use. All right, so we've got a cotton candy theme going on, right? Well, here's the official uh, waffle bowl. I'm looking through the recipe cards. It could be Unicorn Sunday, maybe? Ooh, I think we got the Unicorn Sunday, guys. Oh, no way. I can't believe it. All right, so here is the Unicorn Sunday. All the ingredients. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so we've got the waffle bowl. We'll set it there. And I guess we need, should we open up the syrup first? I'm just gonna open it up so we're ready. Uh, it's pink syrup. So we want to get the little cotton candy scoops out. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. They look so good. Oh my gosh. All right, I don't know if we need all four. Maybe we do. Because I kind of, kind of want like a filler in there so I can do something like this. But I think I'll just do a stacking thing like that. And then maybe we do a third. I really think we only need three, personally. Yeah, I just don't I just don't think I need that third scoop. So I'm gonna plop that back in there and save it for later. So let's get our ingredients out. Get our cookies and stuff. Because we're gonna need to work fast. Not fast, but you know how we do. So we've got the rainbow sprinkles. I'm so excited. Alright, so. We want the ice cream scoops to sit together. Also, don't want it to be too blobby. I feel like I need a whipped cream, right? We need a whipped cream. I'm actually surprised it didn't come with a squirty top. I wonder if they do that. I don't know if they quit doing that for this series or what, because obviously in series one, we saw a bunch of those. 
but I'm gonna make do. We're gonna work with it. Cause I wanna still see, whoop, I wanna see a lot of the, the swirl on there. Cause it's nice looking ice cream, you know? Maybe if I like let it drip off, it seems very thick. Um, do I wanna put the spoon in here? I don't know, I gotta think about that. So let's do sprinkles. So we're gonna just spill some out onto my hand and we'll go whoop, like this, perfect. Got some blue ones over there. Oh yeah, look at all those sprinkles. And then I have a few rogue sprinkles. Let's grab those, they just kinda fell off. And then we have the cookies. So I was just thinking of doing this. Oh, that one has some weird thing on it. It's fine. Maybe I can I can tuck it in this way. And then we can put this one in like that. And then maybe the resin will help it set. I hope it does. But that looks pretty good if I do say so myself. I kind of want to let it drip down a little bit. Unlike, you know, curing it really, really quickly. Um, I feel like I might need some more resin in the back for these cookies. But I think they're touching them just enough where it will be okay. So let's just go ahead and cure this as is. And I'm going to actually save this syrup because I feel like I didn't use a lot of it. And that there was the unicorn sundae. I really for some reason thought that would be harder to find. I don't know. Usually unicorn stuff is harder to find. <laughs> but really, really awesome. I'm so excited. I want to definitely make sure these cookies cure back here. But this looks really, really tasty. I'm loving this second series. No, no hate to the first series, but it's just, it's better and better. So there it is. And the cookies are pretty much stuck in there. This one's a little loose, but I think I might just do some glue or something. So yummy. And then we have the spoon where we could just kind of, I like the option to, you know, set it in there, take it out. So I just kind of went with that. All right, next up, what are we going to have this time? We've got something different. We've got some vanilla frosting or something. And this feels heavy. What is this? Sponge cake. Oh, we've got a cake on our hands. Oh, snap. Who put me in charge? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's get the... Where's the... Oh. I feel like I'm losing things, but I'm not losing things. All right, we'll keep the utensil because I don't think I need to get... The utensil might... I don't know. We'll see. We got crumbles. We've seen many a crumbles. We've got the cake platter. Beautiful blue. Reminds me of winter. And then whoop, we've got strawberries and a whipped cream. So this is not... I don't know. This isn't what I thought it would be. Well, I didn't have a specific thing in mind. I just... I don't know. The big whipped cream is throwing me off. I'm looking at my little list here and just seeing what I got. I don't see anything in my cakes. Maybe they're in the pies. Aha! Here we go. Wait. Wait. No. Which one do we have? Oh! Found it. Found it. It's actually the strawberry shortcake. So this is going to be interesting. Trying to get the crumbles on the side. Okay. I'm going to need my little parchment paper for this, I think. So this is going to be a whole activity. Now, let's get our sponge cake out. So here it is. This is the look. It looks delicious. I just eat this as is. <laughs> and then let me... Oh, I'm going to open the frosting up. Or whatever this is. Ooh, look at that. Actually, there might be a knife in here or something. Let's see. It's just a, yeah, it's a frosting knife. So you don't want to accidentally cure that or anything. So let's open the strawberries. They're whole strawberries and one whipped cream. And then we have the crumbles. And we're going to want to do the crumbles first. I could definitely do a little bit at a time. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I'm going to set the crumbles on there. And then we're going to take the little spatula. And we're going to dip into it 
and we're gonna just this this side spread is just gonna be the lightest lightest side spread because we well actually it might need to be thick because the crumbles are kind of thick but we'll see we'll see how it goes we will need well we might need a little bit thicker I also don't want it to I gotta redo the top too so I don't want too much to go on the top I'm just gonna do half and half because we don't want to get Oh gosh. Oh no, this isn't going well. I think these need to be crumbled more. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Look at this. This is not this is not okay. I think maybe we need to go thicker on the frosting. Let's let's cure this. I'm going back here because we don't want to accidentally cure the pot of frosting. Let's cure this and we will reevaluate. We might need to get a little thicker on the sides, which it makes sense. But just, just let's stand by and <laughs> cure what we've got already. All right, maybe that'll be all right. They seem pretty sturdy on there. Okay, so I'm gonna need more crumble. I basically want to get all the way around first and then go back. You know, just so I don't miss anything. Also, this one's definitely the messiest because I got a ton of resin all over my hands already. I'm going to need to clean up after this one. But I also want to keep some for the top. I got to be very careful here. But also, I'm trying to do it thicker. And then we'll do like a light, like go over it lightly. Go over the crumbs lightly. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Alright, lightly going over the crumbs. I mean, it's kind of working, but also I still feel like these crumbs need to be finer. Alright. This is what we're working with so far. Not too shabby. Definitely something where we can go back over and touch up. Okay. So, we've got the basic crumb coat on. We've got lots of crumbles left, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go back to any blank spots and we're going to just fill it in with some of the frosting and then put a uh, sprinkle some of the the little crumblies on there this is crazy i definitely need that uh i have the miniverse oven this this would definitely be a good a good situation for using the oven all right so here is a good example of the location that doesn't have any crumbles and then I would just go ahead and sprinkle those on and kind of pat it on and then we'll kind of cure it. So I think there's one more really big spot like that and then other than this one right here I think there's like yeah this is the other big spot so let's get some frosting on this spot okay and then we go crumblies on there and crumblies. Crumblies. Alright. Cool. So we got that and then we'll do the other side. So like I s I'm just not happy with the frosting showing through. I think if these crumbles were finer. As you can see some of the crumbles like on the table are fine ones. But the big ones are kind of in the way. So. Alright let's do this last little section here. And... We'll just sprinkle some of these finer crumbs on there and go with that and then we'll just decorate the top so strawberry shortcake <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and put some cream on the top and then we'll do the I'm just gonna pile that there we'll do the strawberries um, in a circle kind of like the fanning all right here we go got lots of frosting here this looks so tasty and fun i love it i do like the frosting like when they're in this jar it's just so nice it's nice and wide open i can reach my spatula or spoon or whatever into it and it's really it's just really nice all right so i definitely want to go thick frosting on the top we can definitely do crumbles on the side if we wanted to no big deal if we do don't i kind of want to go all out and use all of this but also i kind of want to save it just because it's in my favorite container but let's go and do 
much as we can here on the top with the strawberries and the whipped cream. And then we'll come back and see if we need to add anything else. All right, so we've got, where's my tongs? Maybe we should center the whipped cream first. I'll just go ahead and do that. Ta-da! Great, looks good. It's not focusing on here and I apologize. I think I need to change the angle of the camera once again for y'all. I kinda wanna just dump these strawberries out. Okay, so we got one, oh gosh. These tongs do not wanna hold these strawberries. Two, three, and four. Honestly, it looks really good with four, but we're gonna go all of them. Five and six. This one's a little weird, a little off. Um, and then seven. Oh gosh, I dropped seven. Here's here's seven. And then here's eight. All right. Oops. So we've got a good look. Definitely could space these out a little better, but for now, we're looking pretty good. I don't mind that. I kind of want to leave it as is. I don't really want to go back and add more crumbles. I think I like it how it is. So I might just clean up the crumbles, put them in this container, and uh, have those for later. But yeah, that was really fun. I like that. Uh, but yeah, the crumbles need to be a little thinner. I think that would have really helped. Definitely. I'm going to need to clean up all these crumbles. So yeah, I'm definitely going to need to go clean up my hands and clean up the crumbles. And then we'll be back for the, the next one. But here is our final piece. Oh, I got to get it on the tray here. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, I missed a spot. Let's look at it from a different angle. That, that way. Oh, this way. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> all right. Let's clear off the table here. And then we are going to make another all right that was a little messy <laughs> all right let's see if we have a little bit of a, a cleaner one to make <laughs> so, i don't mind it i don't mind it i just had to clean up a little bit all right we got our table Ooh, our table is crooked and then we've got all of our items so let's see this one seems big again oh we've got a bunt cake okay all right it's a chocolate bunt cake to be specific then we've got some whipped cream. We have the glaze. Oh, here we go. We got a little tip. I, I still strongly believe really we should have these tips for the Sundays. Oh, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna tilt this upside down so we. Well, I probably should. Well, let's just leave it on the side. Okay. Then we have the little stand for it. And then of course we have the utensil. I don't know, I'm just gonna open this, I guess. Okay, we have a little fork. Let me put the tongs somewhere. All right, so let's get this out of here. And I guess we just have whipped cream and, and, and resin and that's all we have. <laughs> I'm looking through my, my little recipe cards really quickly just to see what we're working with. Oh. Apparently, the whipped cream has cherries on top. I was going to say, we were supposed to get cherries, but no, the, the whipped cream does, in fact, have the cherries on top. Let me see what that's looking like. Yeah, okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. That, that, that will do. All right, so let me grab the glaze. And we will... Oh, oh, okay, I was going to say, that didn't come off. Uh oh we're good. So let me put the top on this one. Perfect. Now, what are we going to do? What's the vision? I'm going to kind of first off do that just so don't panic. It's fine. It's, it's going to be fine. Uh, I just kind of want to get this together and figure out what I want to do. I'm going to basically do exactly what's on the picture, I guess, and just do the, the the drip on the sides but I'm gonna do the drip first hopefully this works out like I think it's gonna work out oh I left my light on whoops all right let's uh maybe I let it sit for a minute because it needs to all come out now all of these whipped creams I'll probably end up using there's two four six eight whipped creams I could do six 
Anyway, let's do the drips. I wanna whoop that one's that one's a big drip. But yeah, I wanna I wanna just do some drips down the sides here. Let's see if I can uh, I wanna cure those, but I can't cure those because I gotta have these ones drip down first. Oh goodness. It's not going as I had land it's fine it's great this one just needs a little help and I mean really it's not that bad I could start curing it right sure let's just go for it all right so let's get these drips cured and then we will uh, cover the top and then add on the cherries and then we should be good to go I'm gonna get these drips all ready. Good. I think that might be good enough just to, you know, stop them from dripping. Uh, I just dropped my little recipe card. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't want to do too much either because then it'll go crazy on the dripping. And I don't want to go crazy on the dripping because I've already done the drips that I wanted to do. Okay, and then I got bubbles. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Here we go, let's go down here and then off to the side. I'll kind of maybe fix up, oh gosh, the parchment paper is leaving. Kind of want to fix up the drips later, as in just add more to it later. Uh, but for now, this drip's going crazy, but that's okay. Whoop. We need a little crazy drip action. I think we'll go with this, honestly and add on the little whipped creams. So one, two, I know I should be using my tongs, but you know how those tongs are. Three, I kinda wanna just do four. Four, eh, maybe it's a little, not enough. Four, five, should I do this? Here, wait, I have a better idea. I'm gonna do not all of them. Okay, hold on. I might need to just pick this one up and move it over, okay? And then this one. I think that's like a really good amount. That's the six, right? I think so. I'm trying to get these to not fall too close together. Alright, good enough. Good enough for me. So let's go with that. We will cure that, and then maybe I'll go back and add a little drippage. I'm gonna put the little whipped creams away. I had two left over. I could have fit all of them on there, but I didn't want it to be too crowded. The last one, what was it, the strawberry one? Nah, that one looked pretty good. I just didn't want it to be too crowded. All right, it's good for right this second. Let's do a quick overview here. So we wanna do a little drippage here. It's not even drippage, really, it's just, just adding on, make sure it looks a little extra chocolatey, you know. Add that on, and then even over here. I hope it's in focus. <laughs> I can't look at the camera and look at this at the same time. Alright, and then over here is good. Look at this. Yummy, yummy cake. This looks good. Like, I would eat this. I'd probably take off the cherries, but I would eat this. Alright, and there we have it. That my friends, is the cake of the, of your dreams. Not really. <laughs> but we just made a cake and it looks delicious. Honestly, I'm super proud of most of the creations we've done so far in this series. Um, let me, I'm cleaning up a little bit as we go so we can just jump right into the next one. We do have, obviously, the little stand we can put our cake on. I'm just waiting for it to cure a little bit more here on the sides before I grab it. And then we'll go ahead and put it on there. And then, voila! It's on its lovely little stand. Alright, let's just take a look at it. We'll look at this beauty. The thing of beauty. It is dark. I will say. Let me see if I can light it up a little bit. There we go. Alright, sorry about that. It was a little dark. But it looks great now, and we're moving on to the next one. Oh man, 
I'm just baking cakes all day. Oh, I want to put that fork over there with that one. All right, let's see here. What are we working with? This is kind of already open. We've got salted caramel ice cream scoops. Okay, yes, please. And then we have the pie filling. Okay, we got pie filling and ice cream scoops. Okay, let's see where this is going. I feel like, oops, I feel like it is gonna be a Sunday type situation. But let us see. Oh no, it's actually, it is a pie. Maybe, the, oh, maybe this is an ice cream? I thought it was ice cream. We got a pie tin. This one has red on it, I really like that. And we got a pie crust. So I'm getting apple pie vibes, perhaps. Um, can't wait to see what's in the, maybe, I mean, I guess people have apple ice cream with their apple pie, right? I never do. I don't think, I never really, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that until I met my husband. Did I see him do that once? Anyway, here we go, apple slices. So we've, we're gonna do the same thing as the cherry pie way back when in the previous series and we've got oh, just look at this pie crust though tell me it's not the coolest thing ever all right i'm not gonna put it in the tin because that's a whole thing right now we're gonna start off with the filling and ooh, this looks really good and then the apple slices so we're gonna mix them together now, like I was saying, you could use your capsule. I think I might try that this time. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of liked mixing it in the pie, though, because then I was able to tell how much actually fit. Well, look at these little apple slices. Let's just go ahead and mix it in here. It'll be fine. I'm going to just put a big glob of the, basically, the sugar sauce. <laughs> All right, come on. I would wish this would stop focusing on my hands and focus on the creation at hand. It's so beautiful. All right, I need to chill on that because I don't know how much, how much more this is gonna take. All right, hold on. Let's go with that. And then I got my trusty little uh, mixer, popsicle stick. I just wanna coat all of the apples here and then maybe add a few more basically. And we want it to kind of stick up more than the cherry one did because the cherry one, while awesome, I feel like it wasn't full enough. So let's go ahead and add that more, that more, <laughs> these on here and maybe kind of just kind of coat them. I mean, we don't need to mix them in. That might be something we could do. We could just go ahead and add some on and then add on a layer of the resin so that this pie top will actually stick on <laughs> all right there we go i think that's pretty good um let me see what do we want to do we want to get the pie filling which is kind of already set back in there but we're gonna get it out maybe i use my popsicle stick to get some out yeah this is gonna be the way to do it okay and then we kind of just like go over all of these just so they all have some coating on them and then we'll be able to stick the top on and cure it i don't know though should i cure it without the top i feel like it's not going to cure right because it's in the maybe we cure it without the top first i feel like that's the right thing to do i know because then we can always stick it on glue it on whatever we want to do later all right, so let's just do that. That way it really gets cured. I don't know, did I show you the apple pie card? I don't think I did. But here's our apple pie card. It does, in fact, have an ice cream scoop on the top. It looks like it has some drizzle of the apple pie filling as well on the top, so that's something we can do. All right, I'm curious to see what the little ice creams look like. Ooh, they're like orange. I thought they'd be vanilla, honestly. And we've got a whole bunch of them too. I don't think we need all these ice creams. So this is what the scoop looks like. It's this, this um, basically looks like orange sherbet to, sherbet to me. We got a bunch of them. We, I'm just gonna literally use one. I honestly don't even wanna use one. <laughs> I kinda just want the apple pie. 
but we can go ahead and stick this on. I mean, it's oh, it's all on there for the most part, but we can just I'm just gonna set this on, but I'll glue that on a little later. Looks great, and then we can stick it in the pie tin, and then this is what you do essentially but you would also you could drizzle some stuff on top of there I don't know do we want to do that do we want to I don't know it looks cool but maybe I'd glue that on I think I like that better it really just looks good I feel like I'm, I might have made it too high though it's all right it's whatever I had a couple extra pieces of apple that we're gonna save and then I'll close up this in case I change my mind later so not too shabby. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, I turned my light off, I had to make sure. All right, and let's see what we're working with in this go around. Oh, maybe another cake or something. Uh, let's see, let's get the checklist out of here. What's this? Okay, yes, we've got one of these like lady finger cakes. Those are cool. Actually get that out, look at this. And I like re saving these and reusing them just to put the finished cake in so then you could like have a little grocery store and it's like it's in its wrapping. I don't know. That looks cool to me. Anyway, let's get the table put together and then we'll open up these here. We've got a box. I don't know. I don't know what that's necessarily for. Uh, let's see we've got raspberries we got tons of raspberries you guys this is this is quite a few raspberries I think I got the the recipe card by the way oh I also think I forgot to cut this recipe card off <laughs> but we've got the berry charlotte here look at that so it I guess oh it's just the ribbon that we got so we tie the ribbon around it I see I see Okay, and then last one is the vanilla frosting stuff. I honestly wonder if I could just use the rest of this vanilla. I mean, it's probably the same, right? Right? I already opened this one, so. <laughs> Should I? I don't know, now I'm torn. I feel like I need to use, use this one up. I'm gonna use this one. So this one, since so I'll have a brand new one for future creations. But I don't wanna put it on the official stand just yet. Let's go ahead and open up our raspberries. Woo, this thing is full of raspberries. Look at that, it's so cute. Oops, losing raspberries. And then we'll go ahead and open this up. I do think I'm gonna need whatever device is in here. Okay, we have this. Um, honestly, no. <laughs> honestly, I don't think so. That's not what I need. I'm gonna get my popsicle stick back. Okay, we're gonna use this. So basically, I'm going to want to just fill up this middle here because we are going to cover it, as you can see, with the berries. You're not even going to see much of the frosting or whatever. Um, at least that's what we're going for here on this channel right here, right now. Everybody can make this differently, honestly. It's, there's just The possibilities are endless with so many of these and it's really awesome and I love it. Alright, so I think that's good. Like right there. Oh, wait. There's a couple little gaps. I feel like I need something better than my little tongs to <laughs> put the uh, little itty bitty raspberries on there, but we're gonna try, we're, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be okay. Here's my little cake server. I lost my tongs, where are they? Oh, okay, you're there. All right, so lots of little raspberries to place. Honestly, it's kind of crazy, like these itty bitty Little raspberries are gonna have to go. Oh gosh, I'm just gonna dump these out. All right, you guys, here it is. This bow, terrible, doesn't fit. I have tried so hard to get this around here, but it just misses. I mean, if I really work at it, maybe, but like, eh, it's not that important to me. So I'm just gonna go with this as it is. But here it is, I already cured it, and it looks great. So we'll go ahead and put it on here, and that is our final creation. Oh gosh, final creation. Oh gosh, this raspberry isn't even in there. What the heck happened? All right, anyway, that's enough of that. Let's move on to the next one and see what we have here. We've got 
glaze. All right, glaze for something. Glaze for days. And this feels like another stand. It feels like, yeah, is that the exact stand? It feels like the same stand. Um, we've got our papers. We've got this table stand. And whoop, we've got, what is it? Chocolate chips. And then, I don't know what we've got. Oh, it's the red velvet bunt cake. Oh, snap. Oh my gosh, this is cool. All right, so here's our re recipe card. It's basically just glazed with chocolate chips on the top. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. Finally, we need a break from complex. Our last one was very complex. All right, I need my parchment. This is a very red, red velvet bunt cake. And then we have the glaze. So I'll go ahead and open this up to start. Oh, we've got this on here. And then we're going to put the cap on, the squirty cap. I'm gonna set that on the side. Actually, I'll set it upright like that. And then we're gonna open up the chocolate chips here. All right. And then, should I, I should take out some chocolate chips actually to be prepared to sprinkle on. I got, oh, you can't see, got chocolate chips in my hands and we're ready. Let's just jump into this here and I'm gonna, should I do, should I do drizzles? I think I'll just do like a, a swirly, right? And then it'll drip on its own and hopefully it looks good. <laughs> oh gosh, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. All right. We got this, and then we'll do a thicker layer at the top, obviously, for the chocolate chips. Okay, it's starting to drip in the center there. I feel like I definitely need to get some of these chocolate chips on here. I'm just going to sprinkle them, and then we're going to get the light. Oh, I think it might be too little, late for the center. Oh my gosh, I think I went a little too heavy on it. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Oh gosh. Let's see. I mean, it looks pretty good otherwise than that like big drip going down the center. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to maybe set the glaze over here. And we'll just wait for this to secure a little bit longer. And then we'll be ready to check it out fully. Yeah, with the glaze, like, really collecting in the center there. Whoopsies, my bad. I tried. I tried to, like, let it drip on its own, but alas, did not want to do that. Yeah, so we're going to need to probably cure it here at the bottom because it's really, it really went down in there. But, you know, that happens. It really does happen with these, these cakes. I've seen it. I kind of want to also... Put some like I have a little leak on there that I'm curing. So anyway, that is our red velvet bunt cake. Pretty, pretty fun. I had a good time with that one. I'm curious to see what we're gonna be opening up next. I feel like we've been on we, when we started. We were on a savory streak, but then we're like right on a on a sweet streak. We haven't had a savory item in a while. It's the pizza. It was the ramen and the pizza, and then it was. A pie, ice cream, a cake, another cake, another pie, another cake, and now another cake. So I'm ready. I'm ready for something savory. But I also, I don't want this to like stick to anything. But we'll put this on the tray. And ta-da, here it is. I think it looks pretty good. All, all Really from the sides, it looks amazing. Just the middle went a little funky, but honestly, who cares? Let's open up our next one. We're just rolling right through these ones. This is really fun. All right. And then let's put that over there. Let's open up our first item. And dare I say it, we haven't had duplicates. Ah, yes, we've got red pepper flakes. That means we've got a savory item. Unless you're putting red pepper flakes on cake, which could happen. We got cheese, lovely cheese. And then we've got our checklist and things. And then we've got a table. I have a table. All right. So we've got. Ooh, look at this. We've got mushrooms and green onions. 
or not green onions, sorry, green peppers. That's awesome. I love those. And then we have, oh, we have a pizza paddle. Nice. And then I'm guessing the pizza crust. Yes, oh, finally. I was just saying how I needed one of these, or like a savory item anyway. All right, and then we have a little pizza cutter. All right, let's open this up. Oh, I'm so excited to finally have a pizza. Like super stoked. Okay, so I'm gonna save the paddle in case something weird happens. And then I'm gonna open up the cheese. Whoop. We're gonna kind of do the same thing that I did in the last one where we kind of do layers. We've got the red pepper flakes. We've got these veggies. Honestly, I don't know. We'll have to, I'm, mm, I was gonna say, I feel like there should be more veggies, but <laughs> if it's a veggie pizza, we have to look at the recipe card though. I don't wanna jump to conclusions, but these are so cute, these little peppers. Oh, I cannot stand it. It's the most adorable thing ever. But yeah, we've got the veggie pizza. So here is the recipe card. It looks great. Also, what are those? I guess those are the red pepper flakes in there. I would have loved to have seen olives, like three veggies. I think that would've been really good. Olives, mushrooms, and onion. Oh my gosh, peppers. I keep calling them onions. But they're really awesome, and I can't wait to do this one. All right, so should I do the what I did last time with the little whatchamacallit? I didn't clean this off, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and get a little bit here and spread it on. And the goal will be to like just cure this one in the middle. And then we'll go around and do another layer. Perfect. Let me get to my light. And then we'll just cure that for like couple seconds, nothing too crazy. I also just dropped my recipe card, so I gotta get that back. All right, and then let's maybe get some more cheese up here. Yeah, look at this, lovely. Kind of want to get the cheese to, um, or sorry, the bottle of resin cheese to lay on its side, so I can get most of it out without getting it all the way to the bottom of my popsicle stick. But we did get a good clump there. Let's see. Kinda wanna spread it out a little bit more than the center this time. And that cheese is coming out of the resin bottle so I kinda gotta work a little faster. Right. And then the next one will be the topping layer, I think. Okay, that is about to fall out of that bottle back there. You can't see it, but I'm panicking. All right, let's get this scoop. And I think it'll be good to kind of spread this one all around so that we can add on the toppings. But I really want to get it in these um, cracks between the crust and the cheese because we don't have any sauce there whatsoever. So we definitely want to get some in there, even if it's just a little bit. Okay, and then just the side over here. And voila, I think that's it. I think. Okay, I just dropped the same recipe card again. I need to stop. <laughs> now I need my tongs. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do mushrooms first. Like, look at this thing. Okay, one. Two, three, Let's start with three, then we'll do some green peppers. Oh my goodness. Well, there's two. Oh gosh, no. One, two, three, four. Should we do more mushrooms probably? Uh, I don't know where to put another mushroom. Uh, I dropped a bunch of green peppers, so I'm trying to trying to make it work. I feel like a third topping really would have really would have helped us out here. Uh, I'm gonna put a green pepper here because I feel like I can't squeeze more mushrooms on here but maybe I can. 
see if I can get more green peppers. I feel like a mushroom could go here, potentially. I'll put one here. And then, let me see, mushroom, you can go here with this green pepper. Okay. And then one more green pepper maybe here in the middle-ish. Like that. And I think that's pretty fair. I'm trying to fix that green pepper. That looks pretty good. It feels a little bare right here, but I think if I push that up and push this down. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so red pepper flakes. I'm going to dump some out. This is what they look like. Let me just put some on. I honestly don't like them. I like the like Parmesan, the grated cheese way better than these. Because these are just like little confetti, like flat baked confetti pieces. And they just look big and obvious. And I'm not a huge fan of them, honestly. Like I'd rather bring back the grated cheese that I had a minute ago. So I'm going to cure this. And then I am going to go over it again with more cheese. Just because I'm extra like that. <laughs> and I gotta pack away the extra peppers and not, yeah, peppers. I almost, I thought I said onions again. Peppers and mushrooms. And then I will, like I said, go over it again with the cheese. So let's close up this red pepper flakes. It's just too much. All right, and then let's see if I can grab some cheese. This might be a little too much, but honestly, I think the red pepper flakes really ruined it not that it ruined it it just doesn't look right with them call me crazy okay there's a start got some more here don't want to completely cover these toppings but also i kind of want to sort of cover them but i definitely want to cover the red pepper flakes gonna try to scrape some off of these toppings but this looks pretty good and then I just like kind of let it sit for a second so that it will move around it off of the toppings hopefully and then we'll go ahead and cure it but yeah and then we have the little pizza paddle and you could go ahead and put it on the that's so cute oh my gosh I love it all right time to cure our pizza! I'm so excited. Pizza is my favorite food. Comment below if pizza is your favorite food also. <laughs> and that's not everybody's favorite food, but I mean, I feel like it's a favorite across a lot of people. Okay, so there is our pizza officially. I think it looks really good. We could have moved a little bit more off of this this pepper or this mushroom here, but it looks really good. I like adding that little thin layer back over it. All right, so we finally broke our sweet streak. <laughs> Can we keep up with it? I'm just kidding. There's really not that many savory items, so I'm not worried if we don't have another savory item. Uh, there's like two more. There's a ravioli, there's a pizza, another pizza. Anyway, ooh, we've got a double layer party cake here. Strawberry. Do they? The layers are actually already stuck together, which is kind of nice. But also, it would be cool to stick those together, but also you can't really cure them, in, like you can't cure them properly. You need to glue them. I mean, maybe you could though. All right, so let's put the table together and then we'll start opening up our ingredients here. So we've got, of course, some pink sprinkles. I feel like you can't have party strawberry cake without, strawberry party cake without some sprinkles. We've got the glaze. This is a chocolate glaze, I think, just from judging by the packaging. And we've got, oh, we've got some whipped cream, but this is actually in a pink jar. So that leads me to believe that this is, in fact, a pink whipped, pink whipped cream. Ooh, it is, ha ha. All right, and then, what is this? It already broke through the packaging. We've got the plate, the serving platter. And then I'm sure, oh gosh, I just had the spillage over there. Yep, we've got a little cake server spoon. All right, so let's get the recipe card. This is what we've got, the choco strawberry cake. Honestly, kind of want to do what they did. They did a layer of sprinkles on that first layer and then the whipped cream on the second layer. So let's go for it. I'm gonna, should I bring back my parchment paper? I feel like I still have that. It's mostly cured on there, that, that little bit that ran off. 
All right, so let's get the glaze going, moving and going. Oh, and I spilt the cake. That would be, you'd have to rebake that entire cake. <laughs> uh, good thing it's not real. So let's put this back up and put this back on the table. And I think we'll do one layer at a time. Also, I'm confused with these, like the, the, the little holes at the top. Like there's no decorations or anything, so I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna get the little whipped creams out. I actually should probably get the sprinkles out as well, or open anyway. All right, and then we're gonna try to do this. I'm gonna at least cover most of this down here. Okay. Do I spread it? I could spread it with the cake spreader. Let's just kind of spread it with the tip of this. I think that'll that's the best way to utilize this. And then we'll just sprinkle a bunch of sprinkles on it and call it a day. It's gonna be great. Alright, should I do some drips? I feel like I need to do some drips. Well, let's just see where this gets us. Got some pink sprinkles in my hand here. I feel like this is a little tricky getting it on that specific layer without getting it all over me. Might. Let me get those off of there so I could try to reuse those sprinkles. Like that. Definitely could use the tongs here. Where did the sprinkle thing go? So let me try this. Just sprinkle them on directly. Yes. I don't want to spill them everywhere and make a giant mess, but you know what? We're having fun today. <laughs> Why not, you know? All right, there we go. I think that'll do it. Oh gosh, I really went crazy on that. All right, so we have lots of these sprinkles. I'm going to... What do I do? <laughs> so many sprinkles everywhere. I kind of want to have drips, but also, I don't know, maybe I should have just did sprinkles on the outside edge. It's fine, we'll figure it out. Um, let me see if I can get some drips. Not any like serious drips either. I'm just literally gonna try to do, I can't get anything out of this bottle. I feel like maybe I should just go ahead and cure what I have. And it might make it easier to do drips. Oh gosh. There goes a drip. There goes a drip. Look at that. All right. And then, oh, oh gosh. All right. That didn't go as planned, but we're going to try to <laughs> make that work. I don't know. Okay. Let's at least cure this, and that might be good enough for now. Let's try to get a drip over here. Like, this is really hard to squeeze out. And then when it comes out, it drips pretty fast. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, and then the drips are a little too thick, honestly. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna make it work, we're making it work. We could also just cover the outside and cover it in sprinkles. That's always an option too. All right, I think it's time to work on the top. Let's get these sprinkles off of there. And I think we'll just do, I don't know. I don't know, I don't have a plan anymore. <laughs> Let's, uh, we could do just like a big giant glob up here. That'd be fine by me. All right, that looks good. And then the little whipped creams I want to put on here. One, two, three, kind of together. I'm not proud of this one. <laughs> Honestly, not proud of this one. But we're going to we're going to try to fix it up just just a little bit. I think that's it for the whipped creams. I don't really want to put more on there. I feel like we could definitely put some sprinkles or something on there, at least on the sides. So we shall see what we get up to here. So I gotta wait for this to kind of like drip down. There we go. Okay, we've got a little bit on the side there. 
I'm gonna continue that. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to get out. Okay, and let's just kind of color it in because I don't think we have enough in here for some reason. Also, the cake looks lopsided. I don't know what's going on. All right, and then I'm thinking sprinkles. And I'm just gonna sprinkle them on the top and wherever they stick, they stick. Cause I know I just cured the top. I have so many sprinkles everywhere, it's kinda crazy. I should've probably put something down. <laughs> and then did this. All right, here we go. I think that looks good. I wish they would all stick. I don't think they will though, cause it's not all cured, I don't think, anyway. Okay, maybe we go with this. I don't know. It's definitely my least favorite so far. Like, total out of everything. Uh, <laughs> it's just not. I definitely should have went with my own thing instead of doing what the, the packaging looked like. I would have done, like, sprinkles on the outside edges instead. Mm. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> It's alright. Well, it's gonna look way better when it's on its little display thing. We'll get the sprinkles off of here, and this is it. This is the final piece. Definitely not. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. But it's okay. I definitely gotta do a little cleanup before we move on, though. Okay. What am I going to open in this one? Let's see. We've got something, well, we've got cheese. We've got cheese, everybody. I guess that is new. Unless it's another pizza, but we didn't get a cheese bottle that looked like that, did we? Maybe we did, I don't know. Uh, let's see what this is. We've got another paddle, which I guess the other paddle may have came with this uh, tissue paper and I didn't notice, whoopsies. And then this will be our pizza crust. So I think this one's a new pizza because that pizza with the paddle had a different look to it. So let's see what we have here. Oh, we got tomato. That looks so good. And I guess a basil, little leaves. And then we got our oh, utensil, which is gonna probably have a pizza cutter in it. Yes, there it is. Lovely. All right, so let's get our pizza open. And then I will grab the recipe card so we can take a little look-see at it. We're gonna kinda just do the same, same deal. So yeah, actually I've almost got all the savory items. We have the ravioli left to find, which is my favorite. I've opened that before, it's amazing. I actually had a dream about it last night. <laughs> It's just so cute, but here's the margarita pizza. Looks good. I kind of would have liked to have seen um, half tomatoes. I mean, I could always literally get a little uh, X-Acto knife and cut the tomatoes in half. Whoops. But for this 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 opening, we're just going to use whole tomatoes or whole tomato slices, I should say. And then we've got the leaves, which I'm just going to dump out here. So we have it. Um, I lost here. There. Nope. That's not them. Where's my tongs? Here they are. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? I mean, I guess I could get my trusty little, uh, whatchamacallit here. All right, so we've got, this is leftover. I, I cured what was left over on it, so don't worry. We're not gonna mix cheeses. So this is definitely more of a white. I think the other ones were more yellow. So we've got a nice mozzarella. So let's get this heavy on the cheese. This is also way thicker. So this is definitely, well, is it thicker? Yeah, it's definitely thicker. See, this is, I would want resin that's this thick or thicker for the base of my pizza, honestly. Okay. Let's get this mostly covered here and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cure it and then we'll come back and do one more layer. I kind of don't want it to be spiky. I want it to be kind of smooth. Where'd my... I'm always losing this light. Ooh, we don't want to... I almost accidentally cured... I always almost accidentally cure the bottle of resin, which is not good. We don't want to do that. Alright. So that's probably good for now. 
and then we'll do one more go mostly around the center slash I mean it'll still be around the edges but honestly I kind of want to go with that and then cure that one more time just so we have that thickness of the cheese I don't want to see the sauce in the middle I just don't all right that was just a really quick curing there so let's go and do this is like our uh sticky round so this is where we stick all of our i keep wanting to call them pepperonis because they look like pepperonis um, our tomatoes on this looks so good i'm gonna kind of cover that up a little bit and then get a little cheese on there all right this is looking really good so we set the cheese off to the side i don't really well we might cover it a little bit with the cheese we'll see so the tomatoes here they are so let's get these on here i'm just gonna do what they did in the picture and kind of lay them out in a circle and then do a, a leaf in the middle they did two four six though i have four now might have to move them around a little bit just so we can get that last one on there and voila still want to kind of move them around just a tiny bit so we're a little bit even slightly that looks pretty good and then we have the leaves so we have this one single double leaf i'll go ahead and put that in the center and then we have all these little single leaves which i don't know i mean i kind of want to neatly lay them around but also at the same time i don't uh we can go ahead and just do the same deal i think kind of just lay them on the outer edge i only have four of these ones so we can't do one in each section actually i think we can i think we can hold on Oh no, we'll, have, we'll be one short. Oh no, we won't. We won't. We're good. I just can't count. So do something like that. We have one leaf left over. So I'm going to cure this. And then we'll kind of go over it like we did with the other pizzas. Just slightly. I don't want to completely cover up. Especially the tomatoes. But we definitely want it to look like it's been bubbly and cooking. Honestly, I don't know. I might leave it as is. It looks really good. And I don't want to ruin it. But it, it did make the other two pizzas look really awesome. So, I'm torn. This is what it is before. I think I've got to. I've got to add a little bit on here. I've got to. Alright. But, if I regret it, it's fine. We'll just have to redeem ourselves some other time. Because the thing is, this, this, this one is thick. This cheese is thick. And we don't, yeah, I think I might be regretting this. <laughs> Worst case, I could wipe it off as best I can. Oh my gosh, I regret it. I should have known, like, the, the cheese we were using before is thinner, so it would have looked a little better. But honestly, if I scrape it off of this um, middle piece, it's actually not too bad. Oh, almost dropped it. Be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just get it around these tomato slices. I, I have a method to my madness here. I think I know how to fix this. I think we're gonna still do what we're doing is we want it to give the illusion that it was baking like this and that it, nothing's gonna sit perfect. And then I'm gonna scrape a little away from the tomatoes so you could still see that they are tomatoes like that and then my biggest one here is in the middle because I wanna I wanna show off this leaf in the middle but also it's yeah maybe maybe let's see if this will work if I go and grab the last leaf we had left over which we could probably put right in the center like that so it's kind of like a redo kind of sort of I don't know I kind of like it I'm gonna actually get this though and I'm gonna just put a little bit of cheese on it so it doesn't look completely out of place all right we're going with that I learned my lesson <laughs> we only want to do that with the runny cheese so 
I will uh, be putting the cheese away. We don't want to make any more messes with that. And then we ended up using whoop, all of the little leaves. So we have the paddle and the pizza cutter left over. Let me uh, get those ready. All right, I think that's good enough. So here is the final product. Honestly, it kind of looks good still. I would have not gone over that as heavily, but it looks good. I like it, I like it. All right, let's put that on the paddle. And then we have the pizza cutter. It looks good, especially from afar. All right, so moving on to the next one. How many more of these ones do we have? Let me uh, count two, four, six, eight, including this one. Let's see, we've got another one of the waffle bowls. I'm gonna actually leave that in there till we figure out if this is a duplicate waffle bowl or not. There are a lot of waffle bowl ones to collect. So I'm gonna say, we've got a new one. All right, we've got the chocolate syrup. We haven't done this one yet. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. And then, we only did the unicorn bowl so far. We've got chocolate bars. And of course, our utensils. So I'm gonna just grab this spoon. And we've got the, oh, we've got mini marshmallows. Okay. Okay, is this like a s'mores one? We've got Rocky Road. Okay, so it's the Rocky Road ice cream bowl, I guess. Um, let's look. Rocky Road Sunday. Ooh, yummy. All right, let's get this started. So we're gonna pull our table over here. We're gonna pop off the top of our Rocky Road ice cream. And we're going to get open our box of waffle bowls. Come on, I'm just ripping this. Come on. <laughs> Can't get in. There we go. We've got the bowl. And we'll put that there. Let's see. I just like, punched the camera on my back. But we'll just use the three scoops like we did last time. I just think it's too much if we use more than three scoops. So like this. This is what I did last time. Oh no, I put one in the middle and then I did the two on the side like that. I think that's the best look and just personally, especially if you want to add toppings. Um, so I guess now's the time to actually put the ice cream or sorry, the, the chocolate syrup on. So that actually, do I have a leftover? I have the chocolate glaze. I don't want to use, I could use the little top though. I'm gonna switch off the tops here because why not? This will help us. Like, honestly, I really think we should get the tops with those. Ooh, here we go. Ready? Oh yeah, see, this looks so much better. And then I could cure it like this. And then we could probably do, we'll figure it out. All right, I'm gonna cure it like that. And then we'll come back and add on some more to add our little details, but this looks so good. See, this makes a huge difference. I really do think you, we all need to keep the nozzles around so that we can make this detail on the Sundays. The unicorn Sunday looks great back there with it all smished all over the place, but also like, I don't even watch it that way. <laughs> all right, let's get these chocolate bars and mini marshmallows open. I think that's everything, so here, are the mini marshmallows. So tiny and so cute. Do I, I wanna put the chocolate bar in first, I think. I probably got three like I did last time. Um, I could probably definitely use two. And I'll wanna put some, some resin down in there. So let's do that. So we got some in there. And that way our chocolate bars will kinda have something to hang on to. Should I do two? I feel like I should just do one, but I don't know. There's two. It's not too bad. I like it, but this one doesn't really have any resin on it. I mean, it kind of does. There we go. So we've got two chocolate bars in there. And then here's where it's going to get a little tricky because I want to put the mini marshmallows on here, but I also don't want it to be overwhelming so I'm gonna try to go over the same glaze that I did 
possibly this will work. Ah, like that, and then, oops, maybe we cure that and see <laughs> if that'll stay, and then we'll kind of go over and do some of the other side. I like it, I'm liking it so far. The marshmallows look really good. They look amazing, I love the little minis. Honestly, I might even consider this like done. I'm um, gonna do one more little marshmallow over here if I can get it just to make it a look a little bit more even. So we'll do like there. Maybe, whoop, trying to get it to go like here. There we go, like that. So I think I'll call it at that. I have a lot of marshmallows laying around. I think <laughs> probably uh, have those marshmallows just floating for the rest of the video, or at least until I do a cleanup. I probably should clean them up. But for now, I'm gonna kind of just scoot them off to the side and then we'll move on to the next one. But I can't believe it, we are already done with this Sunday. It looks so good. All right, that's it. Here it is. The final product, it looks good. I love these ice cream ones and they're so much fun to be had because you can mix and match and do all kinds of fun things with them. Oh gosh, I just spilled the, the stuff over there. But anyway, <laughs> we're good. We'll go ahead and put this in the back and we'll pull out the next one. Oh yeah, the syrup. I should probably put that over here out of the way. And let's open these up and see what we have so we've got another ice cream it looks like this one is a choco waffle bowl so let's get this out because why not look at that deliciousness all right i already know which one we've got because i think this is the only choco waffle bowl the mint choco chip sundae all right i'm here for it <laughs> let's get our table assembled so we can put our sundae on there and let's open up these ingredients. So we've got the mint choco chip ice creams. There they are. We've got lots of ingredients. We've got, ooh, white chocolate chips. Ooh, I didn't expect that actually. We've got the little mint cookie slices. And then this will be our chocolate syrup, which actually I could just reuse the chocolate syrup we just had. It's the same exact one and I already have the top on it. So let's just go with that. Uh, try to, I'm actually going to use this for holding my resins. Um, let's get this back in frame and not knock it over. Now there's going to be a spoon in here too, by the way. Let's see if I can get it out without getting out the tongs. All right. So we are ready. We've got, let's see, I guess the ice cream, we're gonna do the same thing. So we've got four scoops. We're gonna keep one scoop. Put one in the middle and then two on top. Lovely, it looks wonderful. I'm gonna put the ice cream away so it doesn't melt. <laughs> and uh, now would be a good time to like do the swirl on it. But I wanna, I gotta think this through. Like, how do I wanna do it? Because honestly, on the picture, on the the little recipe card, they kinda went a little crazy and just did a little scattering of everything. I don't know, I might wanna be a little bit more strategic with mine. I'll definitely do the syrup and then sprinkle on the chocolate chips. So they're the white chocolate chips. I don't really need a ton of them, but here they are. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the last one. We're gonna do a quick little swirl and I'm gonna try my best to sprinkle on the chocolate chips as quick as I can and then we'll come back, but we'll, um, we'll cure it and then come back and add on the cookie pieces. Yes, perfect, okay. Let's try to sprinkle on some chocolate chips here. Yeah, this is definitely the move here. I wanna get some in the back, but they're not sticking. All right, good, good. Oh no, my light. So let's get that to cure quickly. And then we'll come back and use the chocolate chip syrup and add the little cookie pieces. I don't know where I'm gonna add them though. I mean, I guess we'll just have to stuff them in there because they're not big. I like the chocolate bars and the cookies from the previous ones we've done just because they were big and something in the back. 
So maybe this would have been a situation where it would have been really good to use all of the scoops. I'm not sure. So let's put the chocolate chips away. And then we've got our little cookie pieces. So I'm thinking we can definitely maybe just make whole cookies too. I'm going to fill this with chocolate syrup back here. And we're going to see what we can do about this. So we can definitely do this, but they're going to sink. But that's okay if we do... Well, maybe I could do like a fanning situation. You know? I think I like that idea. It might be a little weird because of the shape of the bowl. But, ultimately, it should look pretty good. I mean, I think that looks delicious. And then we go ahead and we do the same thing on this side. So it's kind of like, it kind of looks like a banana split a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, but just, but just not, you know? All right, I'm gonna, I guess, do it the same way. Got one, two, and three. Perfect, look at that. Looks pretty good, actually. I don't know if I want to do one on the top, but let's cure this and see what it looks like. We have two cookies left over. Part of me wants to go ahead and do something on the top, but also I think it looks good. I think we're good. I think that's what I want to go with. So this one might need a little extra curing, just in my opinion. I don't know, just because we have all that syrup down at the bottom. And we want to make sure that reaches. I also don't know if the top two scoops of ice cream are secure. <laughs> you know? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. I mean, that's good enough for now. And this is the final, the final product. Lovely. All right. Let's move on to the next one. What shall we make today? I mean, we're making everything today, but, you know. Oh, we've got a duplicate, and I know this for a fact because I, well, I believe there's only one ramen. So I'm going to just put this right back, and we're going to close it up and move on to the next one. So that was our, was that our first duplicate for this, this go around? I don't know. I've lost, I've lost control. I don't remember. All right, let's see what else we have. This one's kind of already open. Oh no! And there goes our resin. It is high filling. It has banana on it though. So I'm thinking we've got something new. So let's continue to open and see. We've got a whipped cream. And then we've got the checklist. Let's get the table assembled. Because I'm very hopeful that this is something new. Alright, and then we have bananas. I kind of expected that. We've got a pie tin. This one's a cute one. It has yellow. I love the pie tins this time around. We had blue, we had red, and this one is yellow. And then, of course, probably a pie crust. Yes, a pie, a graham cracker crust, specifically. And then we'll have a nice fork or something oh it's a, a cake serving spoon thing all right so i do in fact have it here we have the banana cream pie and that's probably exactly what i'm gonna go for i'm gonna go for the whipped cream in the middle and the bananas around the edges we're not gonna worry about the pie tin right now it'll just get in the way because which one were we doing and that was just like spinning around on me i didn't like it all right We've got the crust. The crust is just like the other crusts. Um, let's start by filling it up with our banana cream. There we go. I'm gonna just turn it upside down. And I gotta put my, my uh, lid somewhere. All right, and then let's see, what are we gonna do now? We need to open up the cream, the the whipped cream. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll have that nice big dollop of whipped cream ready for the pie. And then we gotta get the bananas open as well. There we go. 
Perfect. Oh gosh, bananas everywhere. I still have some marshmallows around here too. <laughs> Should have cleaned those up. All right. I got my tongs as well, so we're good to go. Let's start squishing out this filling because we're gonna, well, we could do same deal where we like, actually, because I learned my lesson those few times, uh, we need to cure it before we do the final top layer. You know? All right, let me actually stop this from coming out real quick. And then I'm gonna cure this just ever so slightly. Oh gosh, I don't want this to pour out. But it's like, I don't want it to go back to the bottom. Um, just moving it around. All right, that should be good. And then we'll go ahead and put the rest of it on the top. Doo -doo. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a delicious pie for sure. I wanna get, there we go, there's a nice big glob of it. I don't need to get all of it out, but I would like to get a good bit so I can start decorating. All right, I think that's good, and I'll just let it kind of sit. Because once we add the ingredients on top, it'll all start kind of sinking and moving around. So we've got the whipped cream. I'm going to just put that on with my hands. Got to put that right in the center. I usually wouldn't put that in the center first because I want to put the bananas around, but. I'm doing the whipped cream first today. Also, that just seems like such a big thing of whipped cream. Uh, I kind of want to stand these up. Is that weird? I don't know if we can like pull that off. I don't think so. <laughs> that would be cool though. I don't think it's gonna work. Could we though? Maybe. I mean, if I cure it, but then I'm gonna have to like cure all of them. It's gonna be fine. I'm trying it apparently. I'm going for it. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> this is gonna end in disaster. All right, we're not doing that. That's just gonna be too much for right now. So let's just do a simple fanning of the bananas. I'm gonna have to pull these out of here and reposition them. Oh goodness, it's a little messy now, but you know, it was worth a shot. I think maybe if you cure them one at a time, you know, put a little bit of resin on the bottom and cure it, it'll be better. Might work out, who knows. All right, so I definitely got a mess on my hands with all these banana slices, but you know, this whole project has been a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna have resin left over on my hands for days. Okay, here we go. We're getting toward the end. See, it's looking a lot better now that these ones aren't completely laying down. <laughs> so we just need to look at this pie from a certain angle. You know, it looks so good back here, but I don't know if I could fix this. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to, oh, there, actually, actually, can I make it work? I think I can fan it. Eh, it's spilling over. I'm gonna take an L on this one. <laughs> I don't think it's working out. It's pretty bad, honestly. It's not, it's not, it's like all back here. I just made a big mess, so. We only have two banana slices left and I don't wanna take all of those off and replace them because I just don't, I just don't. All right, so we're gonna go with that. Not my best work. Is it the worst one? Probably not the worst one yet. Because that strawberry cake one we just did like four of these ago was really bad. That was definitely the worst one. This might be up there, but it's not the worst one. Uh, surprisingly. But I do want to give you guys a close-up here. This is what we're looking at. See how it kind of all spilled out on this side. That's where we went wrong. I should have I should have just not did my um, ambitious project and I should have just started fanning them like that and it would have looked a lot better. But we've got this cute little pie tin. So once it's in the pie tin, makes it look a little better, I guess. All right, I think it's time to move on. Oh wait, we have this little, little knife. Let's see what we got here. We've got a sponge cake, so we've had a sponge cake before, right? What was it? It was that, that strawberry one. We've got a stand. I think this is a different stand, so therefore 
we've got a different thing going on. Got the table. Let's see what resin we've got. We've got some golden syrup. Okay, this is definitely new. We've got cherries. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if this is what I think it is. The pineapple upside down cake, maybe? Oh, yes, it is. I'm so excited for this one. Little pineapple slices. And then this will be our... Oh, we got a spoon for this one. They surprise me every time. I don't really know what the... Like, they either get a cake server or a spoon. I don't know. All right. We're going to definitely want to bring our parchment paper over for this one. Let me set the spoon off to the side. So... That's our lovely sponge cake. And then this is what we're going for. Now, whew, this is gonna be something. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna just put the golden syrup on the top and then we'll put the, the, what are these called? <laughs> the pineapple slices on there. And then hopefully put the cherries on top in time. I don't know, we'll see how this all goes. I'm getting some of these out just to prepare. Um, so let's go ahead and get the golden syrup open. Actually, wait a minute. Does this actually work? It just looks like it'll open. No way. This whole time? Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Is this a squeezy top? There's not. It, uh, no. Hold on. Sorry. Technical difficulties. But like for real, is it? It looks like it would be. Hold on, I'm gonna use tools and try to get it open. Man, it really looks like it would be. Maybe it, it is not? Hold on. It really looks like it is. I guess it's just really good at faking it out. Okay. <laughs> Thought for a whole second there. It really, really, really looks like it'll pop off, but Alas, they tricked me. All right, so let's get some of this golden syrup. So it really looks great. It looks like the maple syrup from, did we do any maple syrup stuff? No, it's from the first series with the waffles and the French toast. So I'm gonna get a base layer on here. Oh gosh, we're getting close to the edge, which is fine. If we do, we do. And we just have to deal with it then. All right. Base layer is on. All right, I think that's good. And then we'll go ahead and add on our pineapple slices. Where's my tongs? I still didn't wipe off the banana from the tongs. All right, so we're gonna go this, this. Can we fit four, five, four, whatever? There. It's definitely gonna drip down the sides, it's just me adding all of this on. But that's okay, we want that, we want that. I'd like to be in control, but it's okay if I'm not. Should I put one in the middle? I guess I'll wait to put one in the middle. Cause we wanna get these cherries on. Yeah. All right, oh! Okay, I can't get these gosh dang cherries on. See, I'm just dropping them on so I can like kind of position them later. Oh, come here, little cherry. There we go. All right, we're doing something. We're doing something. I don't want these to fall off, but they're like definitely sliding. Also, try to want to. I want to try to pop these bubbles. But yeah, that's looking good. Should I do one in the middle? I'm going to. Cause I'm risking it. Guys, I had a crazy fiasco as I was pouring the syrup, my camera shut off and <laughs> things went awry. It was bad, but I kind of like the way it turned out. So we're here. I love the look. I went ahead and did syrup over top of everything and it looks amazing. I am a little sad that this pineapple specifically like separated from the group, but it's okay. I tried to keep pushing them back. If I ever get a redo of this one, I will redo. This is officially on the table forever now, but this is what we ended up with. I'm sorry you missed the, the chaos. It was, it was, it was a lot, but I love all the drips we've got. <laughs> I had a lot of drips, a lot of mess. So we're gonna, I ended up cleaning up a lot already, but we're just gonna keep rolling with it. We've got three more left. 
of this series, of this, this specific series, and then we'll be moving on to a whole nother, whole nother game, a whole nother series, not a whole nother, like we have the cafe, and we have the cafe, the diner, and the lifestyle. So we have a whole lot to explore. So we've got a chocolate bowl here. So I'm thinking maybe possibly a duplicate. I don't know if there's another. Yeah, we got a duplicate mid chocolate chip bowl. So I am gonna just put this back and close that up. All right, and grabbing the next one. Let's see. Oops. Sounds rattly. Okay, we've got meringue this is new for us and we've got this little this display piece hold on i don't know where the other part of the display piece is there should be a bottom um but it might be in one of these yeah. we've got oh my goodness they're little tarts oh that's too cute and we've got whoop whoop oh no oh no oh no we've got a little tip there and we've got lemon cream okay and then there's the bottom to that display piece. We've got little lemons. Makes sense. And then we've got the uh, utensil. What do we have in here? A spoon. Makes sense. All right. So I'm going to say this is the one we have. The little lemon tartlets. They're so stinking cute. So we can design these however we want. Well, we can do that with everything really, but... We get a lot of different options here because we have quite a few. Now I am, can I bring this back? I feel like it might still be sticky from the incident. I need, I need to get a new piece of paper, but for now we'll stick with it. So I am going to want to crack open this lemon glaze. Let's go ahead and get this open. All right. And then we'll put the little squeeze top on it. That way we can funnel it into our tart shells pretty easily. All right, let's get our tart shells out. We've got six, two, four, six of them. I love these, they're so cute. All right, so we gotta pop all of them out. And then the cool thing is like, well, if you don't make them too tall, you can repackage them in here and then put them in your little mini grocery store and pretend that you're having for sale. Anyway, I'm gonna put all of these out here like so really we're gonna end up filling all of them right off the bat right so let's maybe at least get a little bit in each one. Oh goodness i want to try not to make a big giant mess i like these a lot especially more than the, than the big pie because it's just easier to fill five six, sorry six little ones than it is one big one all right Let's get more in this shell and then a little more in this shell, maybe a little splash in the next shell here. And then we'll kind of let them sit there for a second and let them kind of settle. Ooh, okay. Or, ah, or make a mess. That is also an option. Now I'm going to try not to, I'm going to clean off my hands before I touch anything. All right. So we've got our little tart shells. Honestly, they look pretty good. These ones do, these two are a little messed up now. But I'm gonna start by curing these. This makes sense, don't worry. You guys are probably like, wait, you gotta decorate them. Not just yet, we gotta fill them up, make the base so that our ingredients do not sink. We've been through this. We, we have a system now, you guys. All right, let's open up our little meringue pieces. And we're also going to need to open up our little lemon pieces. Let's see here. They're all little half lemon slices. These meringues are so cute. They're all different sizes. Well, there's two different sizes. I also had to ditch my tongs. I have to get new ones because of the pineapple fiasco. <laughs> it was rough. All right. So, oh, I need to put some more fresh cream on these tart shells. So we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna kind of put one in the center, oh gosh, of each one so that we have something to stick to. And then we will whoop, try not to make a big mess. 
I kind of like them plain. Is that weird? It's probably weird. I'm sorry. I like them plain. They're super cute. All right. So we'll leave it at that and then hopefully we'll spread out a little bit more as we decorate them. So we're going to put this one on here. Maybe off to the side a little. I kind of like it off to the side. And then we'll try to put a little lemon wedge in next to that one. We also should have done this one at a time because if I got to cure one of these, I'm going to need to move it off to the side. Um, do I like it? No. Ah! Yeah, I should have done one of these one at a time. It's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. We're going to get through this. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Let's pour these meringue out. We do have little ones. So, you know, we can just kind of put those on here. And you can go over here. And then maybe we can do same deal and do like a lemon slice on this one. Because that is a small meringue. I kind of want to do them standing up, but also, I don't know about that. I don't think it's going to work out like I think it is. Alright, let's maybe just do one. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. No, oh, don't fall. She fell. I was trying to get her to stand up there. But it's fine. It's fine. We don't need to don't need to do that. I do have one more shot though. Let's get this lemon in here. And I'm gonna just kind of put that together. And then one more shot to have it standing up. So let's just do this. Because now everything is safe to cure. If I would have done it one at a time, it would have went a lot smoother. But it's fine. Look at them. They're cute. They all have unique personalities. <laughs> oh gosh, don't put me in charge of that again. We have one lemon, lemon wedge left over. We also have probably a lot of lemon cream. It feels like there's a lot of lemon cream in there. I'm just going to kind of set it off to the side and probably use that in the future. I actually just like a preface to what we're going to do with the lifestyle. Some of the plant ones, if we get any of the plant ones, I'm probably going to mix resin into the dirt so that we can actually make it more permanent. Because that was like my main complaint about the lifestyle plant ones is like they just fell apart so easily. So. I need all the resin I can get. Now these are our finished products and we can go ahead and assemble them on our little plate here. Actually like how the heck? It looks so full on the picture but you can't really fit all of them. Like you fit all of them there's extra space. But it'll be fine. You can put extra little desserts up there. Super cute. Let's just take a look, a closer look at one of them. I don't think they turned out too bad. I think it's really cute. And then this one with the, the double lemon on it. I like it. I would have had them stand up more. It would have been a little better, but it's fine. It's fine. Not going to worry about it. Now, this is our very last one for this series. Series two. And we've got another tart type situation here. So let's put this together. So unfortunately we didn't get the ravioli, which is sad, but it's okay. I've gotten the ravioli before, so I still have those and I love them. Uh, but let's see. We almost got all of the, almost got all of the savory ones. I'm glad we got all the pizzas though. The pizzas I'm really excited about. All right, so we've got, I think we might've got a duplicate, a lemon cream. So there's only other one tartlet it's a fruit tartlet they also get lemon cream so let's see this is going to be the shell what's going to be the, the tell all this one i think the little ingredient oh okay we got the other tarts all right so we're going to be making more tarts guys i've learned my lesson with the lemon tarts so i know the berry tarts are going to turn out even better it's going to be great i'm so excited all right here we go let's open this up and since i have lemon cream already open. I'm going to pull that over here because we use the same same resin and that's what we're going to use. All right, so let's get our little tart shells out. This is exciting. I'm happy about this. 
And the cool thing is, is that you have your lemon tarts right over there on that display case. You can also like mix them up, like get, you can you can put them on the same little thing so it's a little bit more full, you know what I mean? All right, let's do, we're gonna do one at a time. That's just what we're gonna do. Although I feel like I should at least put the base in, you know what I mean? Like we'll, we'll put the base in all of them and then we'll come back and do one at a time. I might need to bust open the other lemon. Actually, it might be fun to do a different different thing. I have some some of this this glaze. Why not, you know? Why not? Although now it's a little weird. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take back some of this. <laughs> and I'm going to whoop, fill this one up. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I might have filled it up too much. It's fine. We're gonna fill it, figure it out. We got strawberries, we've got blueberries, we've got raspberries. These are gonna sink like crazy. I am concerned I filled them up a little too much, but they do look great. <laughs> so we're just gonna cure them because I think they look great. And we just need to put dab a little bit of the tart juice on or the, the filling on and then we'll be able to just stick our little berries on there. We don't need to do like a full glob of, of tart stuff. You know what I mean? All right, so we've got three with lemon, three without. Uh, where did my tongs go? Here they are. So I'm thinking we do lemon, blueberry, oops. All right, first I gotta get some more. I gotta remember we're doing one at a time. <laughs> All right, well, there's not very much. Hello, there we go. There's what I'm looking for. All right, so I'll just cover the top here with what I need. And this is gonna be great because lemon and blueberry go well, so well together. All right, let's just, uh, I don't know if I'm, sp I didn't bring it over the picture, hold on. I just wanna take a little look, see at the tarts and their example. So yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much going to do that. I'm just going to do all blueberries for the lemon one, at least. And then we'll mix it up maybe for the other ones. Oop, oh, there goes a blueberry. Oh, goodness. Tiny little blueberries. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, gosh. It's fine. It's fine. We got it. I think I might have like used up all the resin. That's fine. That that looks great, right? We use that. And then I gotta do the same. Ugh, that's too much. Oh gosh, I got it on the table. <laughs> oh man, it never it never ends. I'm just forever making messes. Alright, let's uh do a little bit on here. And then we will wipe that up before we cure something, I hope, anyway. All right, I'm gonna put one single one in the center. I really, really need to wash my hands now. It is super resiny. I don't wanna accidentally cure it on my skin. So I really like the simplicity of this. So I might just stick with that, like so. And then, of course we have, should I, I should probably clean up first and then we can work on the, the vanilla cream ones. I cleaned up a little bit. It's not great, but I cleaned up. All right, so we'll do the same thing with these vanilla ones, vanilla cream, vanilla tarts, which, by the way, is my own creation. Just decided it. <laughs> this one's a little overfilled, so I might just do a simple center dot for this one, and we'll just do a raspberry or something. Like so, like that. It's pretty tall, but it's okay. All right, so we're gonna wanna do, I kinda wanna lay these down. Actually, I kinda like the simplicity of laying it like that. Maybe a change in my mind here, and I do a tart on its side, whoop. Like that. I like that, and then I'll do one filled with raspberries. I did one filled with blueberries. 
So this is gonna be, I'm just gonna lay them like this. I was gonna do something fancy, but honestly, nah. We'll just do four raspberries on here. Hoping they fit like that. And then we're just gonna cure these and <laughs> that's gonna be it. Those are my fancy tarts. Oh, I forgot the strawberries. It's okay. We didn't need strawberries. Who wants a strawberry tart? I probably actually would want a strawberry tart. <laughs> I don't know, the blueberry lemon ones sound really good. I'm trying to put these blueberries away. They're rolling everywhere. Okay, so that is that. We finished, we finished. Those are all the ones we got. So I'll have to do a big reveal on all of the creations, but we're gonna wait for these to cure. And then I'm gonna put them on our little stand here. I'm gonna do the two, two full ones at the top and then we'll do the single ones at the bottom nice look at those tarts delicious I'll give you a closer look I mean you already saw this one up close but really really awesome oh my gosh I can't believe we're done with the, this series all right you guys these are all of the creations for this series I'm so excited for so many of these. Let me know your favorite in the comments below. I loved so many of the pizzas. The ramen was super cool. And I really did like a lot of these Sunday ones. But let me know your favorite. And we're about to move on to the next series. Here we are, you guys. We are moving on to the Cafe Series 1. So we're going back to the old resin bottles. Where we're going to have to struggle a little bit. But... I'm excited to get through these and hopefully get some cereal ones because I, when I opened these I rarely got the cereal ones and they're my favorite. But anyway, I'm pretty stoked. So let's go ahead and get this very first one open. Just like every one we've opened, every series we've opened so far, this is the only one we'll be fully opening. Everything else has been unwrapped just to make things easier. So, Cafe Series 1, what are you going to have in store for us? There are 18, it did say 18 to collect, right? Yeah, 18 to collect. We have 20 to open. So, as it stands right now, we have a chance of getting all brand new ones. Um, all The whole collection. But, <laughs> will that happen? That's the real question. Alright, our capsule is fully unwrapped. And we've got all of this good stuff in here. I'm just going to go ahead and empty those out. So these are much smaller and they don't come with a table. So we, we maybe I should pull a table from somewhere else. I'll think about it. But that's the difference between the Diner and the Cafe series. Let's take a look at the full checklist here. So, of course, like always on the one side, there is uh, the instruction recipe card. And then here we have... Our checklist. We have strawberry boba, blueberry boba, peach boba, ube boba, lime refresher, lemonade, berry refresher, pineapple smoothie, mocha. We have a tropical salad, berry salad, chocolate donuts, pink donuts, vanilla donuts, cinnamon rolls, milkshakes, milkshake O's, uh, rainbow rings and cafe latte so these are all the ones we can collect across this cafe series one and <laughs> we've been doing a lot of desserts and savory stuff so it looks like we're in in for some drinks this time around huh <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and get started and see which one we have today we've got ice ice is our first ingredient here are the tongs just gonna make a pile of tongs. I have so many tongs now. All right, let's see what's in here. We've got our resin. This is, it has a raspberry on it, so I'm thinking maybe we're looking at a raspberry beverage. And then this will be our straw, or utensil, but since I think it's a beverage, it's a straw. And we've got, I forgot these are the bags that I don't like. They don't open as easily as the paper ones. We've got the drink. All right, and then I'm guessing like a fruit or something in this one. Yes, we've got little blackberries. Ooh, this is so exciting. All right, 
So which one do we have? We have the this one, the Berry Refresher. And I would like to mix it up like that. So let's take this top off here. I feel like since we don't have a table, I don't know, should we get a table? Maybe we should. I have one here actually, randomly. I don't know where it came from because this is, I moved all the other ones off to the side. <laughs> we'll try to keep this table um, for our making station. So we got the lid off and then we're gonna open up our resin and I'm going to kind of cut a slit in it like we do typically. You also get this in there, but not as important. <laughs> we're gonna wanna definitely open up the straw. Um, I don't know if I wanna work fast for this one and just make sure nothing sinks too bad because I gotta get the straw in there and it has to be centered. So we'll, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. It has to be centered because of the straw hole on the lid. But we will get it done, don't worry. I love the little bags of ice. They are the cutest stinking things. All right, let's cut open this bag of ice and I'm gonna just pour it out on the table. It's just easier for me to work. All right, so we've got all of our supplies here and I think we're ready to fill this up. We don't need to fill it up all the way to, uh, to start. Um, we've got that, so we're gonna wanna put just a couple ice cubes and then some berries, and then we'll go do another round. We'll do more ice and more berries. I might just mix it up myself, you know? I was gonna do layer by layer, but I honestly think it's pretty good where it's at. And then if I do finish it off, with some, some ice here, just at the top like so. And then we do maybe one more berry over there. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good look. Um, we could push some of this down. I feel like I definitely need to push some down to the bottom. Um, might end up adding more ice and stuff just because we wanna get some of this stuff moved around. That's the beauty of the drinks is it comes with this straw and I could I can move stuff around a lot easier. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're looking at for our beverage. I wanna just make sure the, the straw lines up well, so we'll keep it there. I'm gonna take this back off and then maybe we throw in some more ice and then double check it. Should I do more berries? Maybe one more berry up there. And then I'm gonna throw this back on, make sure it'll sit right. And then I'm gonna take it off again. Oh goodness. All right, and then let me get my light and we shall cure our beverage. This is awesome. I got leftover ice. I think I'm gonna need to get a little bag for my leftover ice products. <laughs> okay. So we've used all the resin that we need to use. I'll set that off to the side. And we've got the straw, so we're, we're good. I think we're just waiting for this to cure. The drinks take a, I think they take a little longer to cure just because they're so deep. But we definitely just wanna make sure at least the top is cured so that we can put the lid on here. Hold on, might have a, a, a mistake. Yep, we definitely do. <laughs> I should have put this on before, gosh dang it, because the resin's too high so it cured. It's fine, we don't need to worry about it, we'll just do a little pretending, it's it's all good. I did make a little bit of a mess, so I gotta clean up the resin from the lid, but alas, this is what we have and it looks really great. I'm very happy with this one. I think I'm gonna try to cure the lid here while I clean up and we'll put the drink way in the back and we'll get ready for the next one. I'm ready for the next one. Let's see what we're going to get today. All right, so we've got a utensil. I'm gonna guess straw. Our probability of having drinks is high. Ooh, no, it's a spoon. Oh my gosh, is it the cereal? Could it be? Could we be so lucky? Well, we've got, oh, I think this might be one of those fruit salads. We've got orange slices. What else we have? We've got, yep, we've got pineapple chunks and slices. We have this, which is our glass, our little cup. Looks so good. And then 
or maybe not. I can't get this one open. I'm gonna just need to get scissors for all of these plastic ones. Uh, oh, we've got kiwis. We got all the fruit for this one. And then, of course, we have the tongs. Oh my goodness, I can't get this one open either. We've got our our glaze. It's actually considered glaze. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put my capsule over there. And we have our table, so let's start assembling here. I'm gonna get rid of this thing here. So actually, funny enough, the first page of the checklist is the tropical salad, and this is the one we've got, and I'm actually very excited because I've wanted this one for a while. So basically we're just gonna throw a ton of everything in here and kind of mix it all together and see what it looks like. All right, these little packages. Come on, there we go. All right, we've got the pineapple open. We have the kiwi to get open. Goodness, there we go. Got the kiwi open. Kiwis look really cool. Look at this. Look at that. Ha! Ah. And the orange slices are probably my favorite. They look stunning. I'll show you the orange slice up close too. All right, so we want the glaze open, and same deal. We're gonna. I'm just going to cut into it because I feel like it. And then I'm going to kind of set it upside down like that. And then we'll kind of just sprinkle and go. I don't think I'm going to put the spoon in there with it. Um, oh, it's like, it's see-through. Okay, cool. So let's maybe put a couple pineapple chunks in here to start. I might end up using the spoon just to mix things together. All right, and then we definitely want to put we'll put a kiwi kind of on the side so that everybody can see it. And then we'll do the, the I almost said the lime, the orange. And then, I mean, we could definitely do, we probably could do more oranges on top here. Like that, and then I probably want to get more, more of this in here. All right, and then let's see. I'm trying to get some decorations on the side, but also on the top. I kind of just want to throw things in here and then mix it together. I do have my little thing here. I can at least push that down to the, the bottom, and then that's what we're looking at. We still have some on the sides. I want to get some resin behind this kiwi here. Yes, I'm liking it so far. All right, I feel like we need more glaze, but I don't know how much is left in here. I think that might be it. Uh, we definitely want to get a little bit of glaze and we want to put it on the pineapple wedge here so that we can stick this on the side like so, right? Be a little fancy. And I don't know if we have any more of this in here. Be a little bit put some more pineapples on it and then I think another orange slice Oop, I touched it my bad but let's try to get some more of this out definitely want to get hmm, should I put another kiwi in there I mean if I can get more glaze out I'll definitely do that there we go yeah let's get another kiwi in there and then Maybe a couple more pineapples. Makes sense, right? We got pineapples on deck. We have slices, we've got chunks, we've got everything. But this looks really good. It's a little bare on this side, but honestly, I think I'm gonna go with it. Look at that. All right, so I think it is time, it's just time to cure our salad here. Oh, should I put another? One more slice of fruit on top. Yes, I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, so we've got, we still have lots of leftover fruit slices, which is cool. I'm definitely gonna use those for future projects. So let me get these out of the way and we will finish curing this. I could put the spoon in, but I just like it without. So we definitely wanna, I want, I'm trying to cure the outside a little bit more because we have that you know so we could we're, we're able to stick that pineapple on the glass well plastic <laughs> but here it is here is the finished product i could use a little more glaze on the top of that orange but i think it looks good as is 
and you can see it is pretty packed there and that's that little gap I was talking about but not worried about it all right I don't know what to do with the spoon I'm gonna just set it off to the side and we shall move on to the next one Whoop, I just throw on the table okay let's see what we've got this time. we've got a cake stand okay all right I'm not sure which one that is maybe like the donuts or something oh my goodness Plastic containers are really tough to get into. Yep, we've got some donuts. Okay, let's get this open. We've got chocolate chips. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's going to be like chocolatey donuts. And we've got a, do we have a, yeah, we have a little tip here, which actually, I wonder if it's the same as this open chocolate syrup that I have. I kind of want to just use the chocolate syrup that's open that I have. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Oh gosh, I'm throwing things. Uh, but anyway, let's see what. Well, let's move that off to the side. We're gonna not put that up there yet. Let's see what donuts we have. Let's go. Oh gosh, I can't get this box open. There we go. We got two donuts. I actually think I'm gonna get parchment paper. I had a piece, but it got destroyed in one of my fiascos. So I'm gonna get another little square of parchment paper for this got it that is on there and then we have chocolate chips so really this should be pretty simple we've got chocolate donuts so it's going to be a glaze well it looks like it's a clear glaze actually so i don't know if i should use a chocolate syrup should i i kind of just want to use this though because then it'll be extra chocolatey donuts i don't know it, it, you know what it's my my project i'm gonna do it <laughs> I should probably get the uh, get the uh, the chocolate chips out first, at least some, so I'm ready to sprinkle them on. Whoops! All right, I got them out, and I'm trying to get this chocolate syrup to come out. Come on now! Oh, oh, oh! That went a little too fast. All right, I am just going for it here I'm gonna do both donuts okay yeah I think this was the move so now we have extra chocolatey chocolate donuts because it looks like clear glaze probably much like what we got with the fruit salad one all right so I'm gonna try to sprinkle on some extra chocolate chips here I think I got plenty out here. It's, they're all on the ground, but got some to stick over here because this one really needs. Where is my my tongs? Keep leaving. We're just gonna move some of these chocolate chips because they just don't want to stay. All right, and ta-da! I did it. <laughs> Honestly, it looks pretty tasty to me. I would eat these. I probably could add a little more chocolate syrup. This one looks the best. It has more chocolate chips. Um, but we want to try to get maybe some more. I don't know. I think that's good. It's good. So, like I said, it was going to be probably glazed before, but now it's chocolate syrup. So, ta-da. Let's go ahead and cure this. And then we'll put them on their stand. And then they should be good to go. I might need to cure both sides of this though because if the chocolate syrup ran down the middle, we'll see. We'll see how it pans out here. But I'm excited! Here's the recipe card one more time so you can see that it would have been regular glaze. Just like a glazed donut with some chocolate chips on it. But like, come on, I just, I just made that much better, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, so it should be almost all the way cured. We do have this lovely stand. Oh, it's still a little sticky. Hold on. We're gonna wait it out. But we do have the little stand. I'm gonna try to cure it from the bottom too. Just so we have it. And we can uh, stick it on the stand. Oop. Oh goodness. Don't want to fully touch it because it's not ready. Alright, so let me move my thing out of the way. But this is, this is the final look here. Tasty though, right? All right, let's see what else we can make. Ooh, I'm on a roll. We haven't had a drink in a minute. 
not complaining because there are a lot of drinks and I know it'll come to it and we'll have lots of drinks to make, but all right, we've got raspberries. We've seen these before, so it could be a duplicate technically. Oh man, we gotta get this open. I think we've got a different fruit or something here. Yeah, we've got blueberries. Okay. And we've got strawberries as well. We've got all the berries. Okay. Oh, this might be the other berry salad. Yes. I'm actually really excited because I really did enjoy making that berry salad. Or sorry, the tropical fruit salad. So this one's going to be equally as awesome. If not better, it's not going to be better. I'm a huge tropical fruit gal. Oh gosh, this leaked everywhere. Oh gosh. Oh no, I'm going to have a big mess. Okay, I hope there's some left in it. I'm going to say there probably is. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but let's try to get this in the bowl quickly. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep it wrapped up. That definitely leaked everywhere inside this bag. Um, so, let's make this. Remove the parchment and then we'll get the glass. So it's very similar to the last one. I want to pull out the recipe card for it though, just to see if there's any fun little tricks like the pineapple on the side that we can do. Kind of just looks like we should mix all the berries together. <laughs> so let's maybe get all of the berries open and we can um, start putting them in there even. And then I can get that open and the, the resin and spill all of it in there. And then I can go wash up because it is literally every, <laughs> everywhere. It's all over the bottle. It's now on my table. And I, also, I don't want to run the, um, the flashlight because I don't, or sorry, the UV light flashlight because I don't want it to cure. Um, so anyway, let me just throw some berries in here to start. We're going to do, honestly, we'll just do a couple of each. That. And then we'll see what that looks like. So I'm going to keep holding this in here. This isn't going to be the best. So clearly this isn't on right, but let me see if I can, hmm. I don't know how it managed to leak so much because it's really not on there all, or I mean, it's not coming off all that easy. All right. So we'll go ahead and squish some of this out. Okay, it's a good start. And then I'm gonna do some blueberries on the top. I'm kind of bring this closer to you guys. Well, blueberries look great. I wanna definitely get them closer to the sides so that you can see them a little better. Use a lot of the strawberries in the center. Let me do that and get some raspberries on the side this time. I don't want to cure that. Let me maybe put a couple more berries in here. One more on the edge. Like that. And I'm going to cure this specifically. And then we'll do one more layer. Just so that our berries aren't just falling over everywhere. Look at that. It looks so good. Honestly, I can always do without the strawberries. Like, in real life, I love strawberries. Can't live without them. But, I'm just saying, like... The, bear, the other berries are so detailed and the strawberries are just like meh to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But let me definitely get some of these, these raspberries and blueberries on the sides because they have the most awesome detail if you ask me. All right, so should I do more raspberries? I guess I'll do some more raspberries as a topper. Probably just dump all of these out that that looks good and then maybe a couple more blueberries like so and then we'll kind of finish it off with whatever glaze we have left and then like I said I'm gonna probably just go wash up before we continue just so that all of this will settle because that's I obviously cured the first layer so it won't be going anywhere <laughs> and uh, it'll be good all right so I think well, there's a little bit left. I think that'll be it. I'm gonna clean up and then I'll be back. Here is the finished product. It looks really good. Again, I'm just not a huge fan of these strawberries for some reason, but they look great in here. It looks just like a yummy jelly, <laughs> like a fruit cup. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put that back there and we'll pull out the next one to this table. <laughs> He's getting him away. All right, what's this? We've got some donuts. What kind of donuts is the question. We've got a nice little stand for our donuts. We've got the papers. Let's see what this is. Let's tell us okay, we've got rainbow sprinkles. So I think we've got some rainbow sprinkled donuts. All right, so we've got the glaze. Ooh, love it. All right, let's get our, where's our parchment? Let's get the parchment out. My dogs are here, by the way, in case you hear something, some weird snorting or snoring or anything. We've got two of the vanilla donuts. Let me go ahead and open up the glaze. I actually should, I should open up the sprinkles first because we're gonna need those almost immediately after we start that. Um, let me open this glaze up. Oh gosh, it's pink glaze. All right, hold on. Gotta get the cap on. I, for some reason, thought it would be regular transparent glaze, just like, I guess, the last ones we've seen. Let me uh, get the card here. So it's the pink donuts. Lovely. All right, I think we're about ready. So we're just gonna go ahead and do, well, I guess that one dripped off already. Let's try this one. Yeah, that one's like perfect. Oh, I love it. Looks really good. Ooh, that's looking really good. I wanna get some sprinkles on, okay. Well, <laughs> went a little heavy on the sprinkles there. I meant to not do that, but I thought sprinkling it would work a lot better. All right, let's uh, do that. And then I gotta continue with this one over here before it drips too much. Where's the sprinkles? Lost the sprinkles. Oh gosh, too many blue ones. And I gotta do this individually so it doesn't look too crazy. I don't like this sprinkle. I wanna get that off of there. All right, well, let me uh, get the light. And we'll be good to cure that. That first one though is like picturesque. It's so beautiful. All right, I don't know how to do all these sprinkles everywhere. I think I'm just gonna have to, <laughs> gonna have to um, live with sprinkles on the table for the next, I don't know, the foreseeable future. We'll be opening up like the lifestyle ones and there'll still be sprinkles. I feel that way with a lot, with a lot of the little tiny things like the chocolate chips and the marshmallows I've had just floating around, goodness. All right, let's maybe try to do this a little bit more. So we do have the little stand, just like the chocolate donuts, and we'll get those over there. Just wanna make sure I'm getting all of the sides here. It doesn't look like it dripped down the middle or anything, so I think we're pretty good. Um, yep, I think we're solid to move this now. I'm gonna move one over and move the, whoops, this one's stuck to the parchment a little bit. Oh gosh. Yeah, I made a big mess with the sprinkles, but here we go. Look how delicious these look. Yes, please. I really want some donuts right now. All right, let me put that back there and clean up these sprinkles and we'll be back with the next one. I'm ready for some cereal. <laughs> also, I lost the little donut recipe card. Where the heck did it go? Oh well. Uh, we've got a cup. Is there a lid in here? I think I might just do the cup. Okay. And let's see what's in this one. We've got whipped cream. Okay, that's why there's no lid. There's gonna be... I'm gonna just go ahead and open up the whipped cream. So we have it ready to go. And then we've got the papers. We've got... The, ooh, we got pineapple. Okay, I'm not sure what it is yet, but it's, it's sounding good. All right, let's move that off to the side. And then we got, I guess, pineapple juice. All right, so what is this? This is gonna be, oh, I know. The pineapple smoothie. Nice, this is gonna look really good. I'm excited for this one. Okay. Let's maybe get the pineapple open, the juice, 
That way I can start getting it in the cup. So let me tilt it upside down, put it in the cup, and let it sit while I open up the rest of the ingredients. So we've got our whipped cream. And then we've got, honestly, should I use, I should use this whipped cream container to put my extra ingredients in. They keep flying everywhere. All right, and then we have the pineapple. So we just have two slices. I feel like I only need one. Um, so we'll just, we'll just get one out. I feel like I only need one. And then, what shall I do? Oh, I have the straw. I was gonna say, I don't, I didn't see the straw anywhere. Let's get that out, perfect. Actually open it up all the way. So we've got this nice straw. All right, so I think it's time. Um, this is gonna be, uh, will this fit with the straw? It should fit with the straw. I know we had that problem in the series one of the diner opening. I think that was it, but that straw was just too big. But um, I think this will be all right. Now I do really wanna do like a base layer and then stick these things on, but I think we're just gonna, well, I don't know about the whipped cream. We might wait to put the whipped cream on until after I put the straw in and the pineapple in. So I'm gonna wanna save a little bit of this smoothie. It is taking forever to come out though. Come on now. We don't have a lot, if I'm quite honest. Um, I could definitely put this on and let it sit for a second while we kind of position our pineapple. That looks good. See, I just don't think the whipped cream is gonna fit on there with the pineapple. It's just not. I mean, maybe. There's just not, unless we do it way down below, uh, we'll have to see. Let me uh, put some more smoothie in here. Don't got a ton, but it's slowly collecting. I'm thinking though, maybe, whoops, maybe we do this kind of raised up a little bit and then we could put the pineapple or the, the whipped cream on there. I don't know. Cause how the heck is the straw also gonna fit? I don't know. I don't know, somebody tell me what to do. <laughs> All right, um, I think we're gonna just try to squeeze it all in here. I'm gonna take the pineapple off for a second. We're gonna put the whipped cream on. Yeah, it's just not, it's not gonna fit with the straw. Like what? And then there's no way we're gonna get this pineapple on too. I mean, I guess it can gently sit there, but it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. We gotta, we gotta bail on the whipped cream. It's either the, the pineapple or the whipped cream. It's one or the other. So let's just go with what we were originally gonna go with, we'll go with the little pineapple. And I'm gonna see if I could fill this up as much as I can to kind of make up for the lack of whipped cream. I mean, I think that's pretty good. That's a, that's a really good amount there. It's not full to the top, but oh well. Okay, so let's go with that. A little sad about the whipped cream, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, I think that's where I want the pineapple. I think that's good enough. And then we'll just go ahead and cure this. And that's gonna be it for the, the pineapple smoothie. Oh my, I can't believe that whipped cream. That happened last time. Like what the heck, why can't we have smaller whipped cream? Like what's going on? I almost kinda wanna do, I should do like one of these with a spill or something, that'd be really fun. But anyway. This is uh, pretty much cured. The pineapple's already on there. Well, it's not fully cured, but mostly cured. Uh, but this is the final look of our non-whipped cream pineapple smoothie. Great. Let's open up the next one. I still can't believe that. What the heck? All right. Now we know. We were on to it. We kind of knew, you know? We were like, well, this is it. This is our last Okay, let's get these out of the way. And then we have the tongs. This one, this is the rainbow sprinkles, okay. And then, let's see, this might be the vanilla donuts. Yeah, okay, we have some glaze. All right, so we've got glaze, and this means we've got those vanilla donuts with the rainbow sprinkles, which is kind of what I thought last time what we had. But we had the pink ones instead. 
Uh, we have this nice little squirt top. I love these. I'm going to kind of just set this in here like that so we can get that to run down to the top. And I'll get this back here with our parchment paper and we'll open up the donuts. Got a nice little tissue paper with these donuts. And there we go. Those are our donuts. We're going to open up the sprinkles. And I have the tray, which we'll put the tissue paper on, but that's for final displaying. Let me grab the recipe card. Here it is, the vanilla donuts. I'm actually looking. Oh no, those are cinnamon rolls. I thought those were other chocolate donuts. All right, we have the vanilla donuts. And let's do this. This is pretty much gonna be like all the other donuts, nothing too fancy. I'm gonna try to make them just like the pink ones. I'm gonna do one at a time just so I can make them like the pink ones. All right, so I'm gonna do a little less on the sprinkles though. Not less on the sprinkles, but you know what I mean, hopefully. All right, I think that dripped way too fast. That's okay. I'm gonna try to stop it from dripping. I still have sprinkles in my hands wanted to kind of stop there. It definitely went a little too much over on this back side, but that's all right. You know, it's creativity. All right, let's get this next one done and we might be able to add more onto this side too. All right, let's go. Seems like when I add a lot, it isn't enough. Well, when I add a lot, it's too much. And then most of the time it isn't enough. It's just, it's, it's a lot. All right, let's Try to sprinkle this one up. And, ah, stop, don't run. Don't run away from me. I'm going to try to just add some frosting slash glaze onto this side over here. I don't wanna like add any thing or whatever. I'm just gonna add that on. Also don't need that to touch, no! Thought that was a little more cured than it was. That is fine. It actually didn't end up too bad. Let's go go with that. Oh, did I turn that off? All right. So we're gonna let this cure. <laughs> Gosh, I'm getting messy now. I've been doing too many of these, I guess. But for real, these look really tasty. I have been, I know I said it a bunch of times, but I really do want a lot of like donuts. I'm starving um, and they, nobody around here sells vegan donuts. So I gotta make them myself, and I don't think I have ingredients for them. So tasty. All right, is that gonna be it? I think that's about it, but I'm gonna just do a little extra to be sure. Okay, let's take these off of the parchment and then on to our display piece. Okay. Uh, I probably should've, Never mind. it's fine. Cause they're like, they went through, so I gotta cure them at the bottom too. It's going to be all right. I will go back and do that if I need to. So let's take a look at the fin finished product here. Like tasty. I probably could have done more sprinkles on this one, but I panicked because I didn't want to drip a lot like that one. <laughs> Lovely. All right. I got to clean up all these rainbow sprinkles. We didn't have as much of a fiasco this time though. So we're good to move on. Let's see what's in this one. Got, we've got a drink. A boba, I think this is the shape of the boba glasses. We got the ice, which I have leftover ice, so I'm gonna just pull from the ice. Hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> and we've got boba. And then a straw, I would assume. Yep. Then, of course, papers. And then we've got the actual tea. Maybe. Oh, there we go. I forgot to put my rainbow rainbow sprinkles away, by the way. Also, I lost the cap, so lovely. Okay, so we've got the, um, I don't know, it looks purple. So I don't know yet which one it is. I'm going to say maybe the Ube. It's just the color scheme kind of seems like it, so we'll see. Uh, this one's going to be pretty easy, I would think. <laughs> and I will show you why. So we're going to take this. I'm gonna put our, hello, put our bobas in here. There's some coming out. Our little tapioca balls. 
I should have, I thought I cut this opening bigger, but it's fine. Should we use all of them? I feel like we shouldn't use all of them. It might be too much. I think that's a good amount. And then, hold on. Oh yeah, we have ice. Okay, we gotta get the ice. Oh, well, there goes the ice. <laughs> Let's open this up. And we're just gonna put the ice on the top, I think. We also wanna position the straw in here. We have to do the, get it at the top. Also, I can just, let me, I can't get it in the bottom. It's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. I'm gonna just do this, I'm gonna add some in here. And I'm gonna let it kind of go in there and, and get down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna put the top on and maybe some ice cubes at the top. Because I don't have all that many because, well, let me reach for the ones I lost. Let's see, it looks like it filled up quite a bit. It still has some, some room down here. Oops, I don't wanna accidentally go all the way down there. But I can't like, I can do this one in layers, but I definitely need to do it quickly just overall so that I can Whoa! Stuck to my parchment paper. So that I can have the ice at the top and we want the straw in place. Okay, there goes the straw. Oh, I just turned that off. Silly. I think our ice sank, but at least we got it. We got it. I'm excited. Let's make sure we get the top. And the straw is a little a little hard. So it's starting to it's starting to set. This is our creation. All right, our final creation. I need to UV light it a little bit more, but, and we could use more boba balls on this side, but that's okay, I was scrambling. We just gotta look at it from this side. Okay, got the papers. Oh, let's get the checklist. I'm trying to separate the checklist from the, the instructions. All right, and let's see what's in our first bag. Here we got ice. And I do still have some leftover ice. I don't have a ton, so it's going to depend on which one we get, whether or not I want to actually use the ice. Um, we've got a lemon, so did, we didn't get lemon yet, because the other one was a pineapple smoothie. Um, let's open this one. So we've got, oh, this is going to be the lemonade, isn't it? Oh my goodness. No way. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be lemon slices. Yeah, actually only three, really? Huh. I feel like we should've got more, but that's okay. We're gonna use all three of these. I'm just opening it, because why not? All right, so we got three lemon slices. Oh, this'll probably be a straw. Perhaps, perhaps. There it is. Can't get it. It's like stuck in this plastic in here. All right, there we go, we've got it. All right, so let's get the straw out of there and then we will get, or I will get the recipe card for y'all to look at. So we have the lemonade. I'm gonna do that, just the two lemons down at the bottom and then I'm gonna try to save one for the top. But yeah, I'm actually, I'm I'm surprised we only got two lemons, but also it's, it's good, we're good. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. Now I do need to look, evaluate my ice situation. Now I do have some leftover ice, like I said. Kind of think I'm just gonna prioritize the, well, no, you know what? Let's open up another ice. It doesn't hurt to have another ice. For some reason I thought I had an extra ice, didn't I? I definitely had an extra ice. I must've dropped it somewhere. I'm just gonna cut the top off of this ice. All right, here we go. So. I'm gonna try to use that ice for sure. And let's just start filling this up. I'm gonna basically, I think do this mostly all at once except for like a little bit of the top. So I'm gonna wait till, well I'll add in the two bottom lemons in the straw, maybe some ice and kind of go from there and then we'll do the top half. All right, so we'll do that now. Let's do the lemon. For the two lemons, I'm gonna try to do, where's the straw? Try to use those and send them down the sides like so. All right, so we can still see them. And then we do some ice. 
whoops, I didn't mean to get it on the side there. Yeah, we just do some ice and I kind of scoot that down there. And then we put the straw there. And then I'm gonna cure this. Yes, yes, it's actually looking really good. And then I will add some ice on the top with the lemon that is remaining in just a moment once I kind of get this generally cured. Okay, let's see. It's getting a little tougher, so just a couple more seconds. I'm waiting for this to kind of this this resin to kind of settle at the bottom anyway. All right, that's good enough for right now. And then we just add more. And this is going to be the layer where we add more ice and the lemon. So let's get more ice in here. Oh, I don't want to do too much. And then I probably spill the whole thing in there. <laughs> All right, so there's a couple cubes. Oh, there's some dog hair on there. Don't mind that. And then I'll just put that in there like that and again like good thing I did that like I did because it would have sunk really quickly because it already sunk pretty badly anyway that's it I did the lemonade oh it's so good this one I'm very proud of definitely much better than the pineapple smoothie a little um, mad now that I'm seeing the two lemons are together on the side but that's okay we just look at it from the side it's all good so here is the final close up like that top looks really good I love it tasty all right let me set that back there and we will grab our next capsule i need to put the ice off to the side though I have ice going everywhere let's see what this one's gonna be we've got lemons three lemons specifically so now i'm thinking maybe we just got another lemonade let's see yeah i think this is the same exact one so the only other one is the lime refresher so I'm gonna I'm gonna say gonna say this is a duplicate. I'm just double checking in case I'm missing something. But we're gonna say this is a duplicate. I'm gonna take these instructions out of here. And then we'll open up the next one. Oh, I almost put the table in there. What am I doing? I put the lemon don't not the limes, the lemons in there. And all of that stuff. So that was our first duplicate, I believe of this this go around was it maybe not i think it i think it was let's see what's in this one all right we've got a boba it might be a duplicate boba it might be a new boba we shall see we've got our ice but i have an open ice so we'll just bring that into the picture and then of course we have the papers we have the tongs and then let's see and these are the boba tapioca balls here and then I need to see what kind of boba this is also there's definitely a pack missing because like what oh no maybe not it's just gonna be the color I was thinking there needed to be a fruit or something never mind there's nothing missing my bad all right we've got strawberry this time so let's bring in the boba there we go the strawberry boba so first things first I'm gonna open up our boba because I mean we got to get it all out and I'm going to set it in here upside down on our table. Let me get this out of the way. Stay there and then we'll get our boba tapioca balls ready. All right. And this is usually pretty easy. These boba, wait, straw. Almost forgot the straw. That's a very important part of this experience. So let's open this up and then we're gonna do the boba balls in there first. I'm just using all of them this time. And then we'll add in some of the strawberry there. And I kind of want to make sure it gets in there. So we're gonna, oh, I forgot about putting the straw in there again. So we wanna get it down to the bottom. Is that, is that a little, no. <laughs> there we go, gosh. All right, let's see. Kind of want to, yeah, there we go. I wanted to get it down to the bottom, but also I don't want to get those all the way to the top. I don't know. We're just going with it. Kind of want it to sink down. So I don't know. I might not really do much other than add some ice here at the top. 
Not too much, maybe, perhaps? It did come with ice, right? Yeah. <laughs> Panicked for a second. I was like, did it come with ice? Yeah. All right, so there is our boba. Oh, no, I forgot the boba. Ah, the thing needs to be upright, right? Like this. Yeah, that definitely needs to be the case. All right, it looks good. I think I'm going to cure it as is. I'm excited for our strawberry boba. This is awesome. So it actually looks very, 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 very similar to the ube one. Um, maybe not. I mean, it's a lighter pink. It, I don't know. It's very similar. Very, very, very similar. So we're just going to cure that. And here is our final look. It does have some bubbles. Could have, could have. Didn't, done without the bubbles, but that's okay. I think our ube one looks a lot better still, but we'll get them next time. Okay, let's see what we got in this one. We have the ice bag once again. Let's see, we have a boba. Oh, yeah. No, wait. No. This isn't a boba one. The boba ones have little ears. But do all the bubble ones? All the bubble ones might not have a little ears. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it is a boba. Okay. I guess they don't all have ears. So we have those boba materials. We've got the straw. And then this last bit here will be our resin. Let me just clear some of the stuff out of here. Right. What flavor do we have? It is blueberry, blueberry. All right, cool. So here's our blueberry boba. I'm actually really excited for this one. Blue is my favorite color. All right, let's take the top off here. And hopefully since we just did a boba, I actually do this one correctly. All right, I'm putting the straw in first. Done. Now I put the boba in. All right. Good enough. I'm gonna keep the straw. I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit and maybe like reposition the straw a little bit so that yeah, that well, I don't know. Good enough. Then I should have done the this the resin thing first where I tilt it upside down, but I am trying to remember to do <laughs> these other things first. So this doesn't look as blue as I thought it would be. It's a very, very light color. But we'll let it kind of sink in there with all the boba bubbles, the tapioca bubbles. And then I will add in some ice, which I could put the new ice bag away because I still have some ice in this one. So go ahead and put more resin in here. And then it's looking like it's filling up slowly down there. Let's just keep it, keep filling it up. All right, I think that's good. And then I do need to adjust the straw a little bit to just be upright and we just need it to seep down on this side and then we'll be good. <laughs> I'm gonna like just sprinkle some of this ice here on the top. Come on now. Come on. Should I, should I, is that enough ice? That seems like enough ice but I only have two cubes left so I may as well use them. Oh yeah I forgot I need to reposition the straw again this. All right. It's looking good. It's starting to slowly fill up. We have one more little section. I'm going to put the cap on here. So this is what it's looking like. We're filling that up and then I'm going to cure it. I'm not going to do it when it, oh gosh, the boba balls. There were more boba balls in there. They're ro rolling around. Um, I don't want to rush that. I want it to kind of fill out. Hopefully it, it fills out. I'm going to try to tap it a little bit see if I can hurry it along. <laughs> But this is essentially the final look. You can see the ice on the top too. There is a little bit of a bubble. No, oh, the bubble popped when I opened that. All right, it looks pretty good. I don't know if we're gonna get rid of that bubble, but I'm gonna start curing the top here. And then that will be our blueberry boba. <laughs> Holy cow, so many drinks. We've got almost all the bobas. I think there's just one boba left, which is the peach boba, which is probably gonna be my favorite. I don't know though, the ube one looks so good. All right, I think, oh, I think that bubble ended up going away too. Nice. All right, so we'll just cure this for a moment longer. 
There, so we have the next one queued up for us here. Maybe start opening this up. <laughs> get ahead of the game. And you know, get rid of these papers so we're ready to go. Whoops, when this is ready. And then there's a random boba ball back there, so I gotta get that out of there. But I think that'll do it. I'm gonna set the flashlight there and put that boba back there. All right, let's see what's in this one. We've got, nope, I almost said lemons and I almost said limes at the same time. Oranges, this kind of looks like the fruit salad one we already did, yes, okay. So this is in fact a duplicate for us. We will go ahead and put it back. <laughs> Let me actually put the checklist back in it so I don't get it confused with another series. So that's our second duplicate. This next one open. All right. Open up this first. It seems large. We've got donuts. Oh no, maybe there's, oh, this might be the cinnamon roll. No way it would be. Oh my gosh. I hope so. I have not seen those in roll in person yet. Okay, we got chocolate chips, which probably would never ever put chocolate chips on my cinnamon roll, but I, that's, I, that's me being close-minded. I feel like I could definitely try it out sometime, but I wouldn't want to put it on all my cinnamon rolls. I just don't know if that, that's like, is that a thing that people commonly do? Anyway, let's get this spoon out. Spoon, oh no, sorry, it's a fork. I was going to say, a spoon's a weird choice. All right, so let's get our cinnamon rolls out of the box. Oh my, they are in here. Jeez. Oh, but they look so good. They look better than on the checklist for sure. All right, let's see. Here is the checklist picture of them, the cinnamon rolls. Honestly, don't hate me. I don't want to put chocolate chips on them. I just want them to be regular old cinnamon rolls. But here's the look. It looks really delicious. Cinnamon rolls are my weakness. If I'm at a at a festival or something and they have cinnamon rolls, I'm there. All right, so I also have another glaze that's already open. I don't know how much is left in here. Okay, there's actually some left in here. Let me uh, kind of, I want to do this strategically. Do I, do I just like do from the top and let it all seep down and that kind of thing. Do I do a swirl? I feel like I gotta just do this and let it kind of run down itself. You know? I feel like that makes sense. That makes the most sense anyway. All right, so that's what we're, we're looking at here. I feel like they're gonna definitely <laughs> run into each other. Oh gosh. Oh man. I don't know if that was a good idea. Let me uh, use this and try to maybe redirect some of it. I don't know though. It looks really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, and then we're gonna hope that we have some leftover in our little bottle, and then kind of finish it off on the other side. So it looks really good. You can still see the brown, and I love more glaze on my cinnamon roll than I like cinnamon roll. <laughs> my cinnamon roll has to be sopping with glaze. That's for sure. But yeah, I don't want to put the chocolate chips on. I mean, it'd be cute, but also like not my cup of tea. So I'm just gonna do plain old cinnamon rolls uh, just for this this opening here. All right, let me, uh, I just want to make sure I cover all of this. Yep. And then I just want to cover this side here as well as over here. Yeah, like that. I think that looks tasty. I'm gonna kind of move this around with my a tool. This isn't really a tool, but you know what I mean. All right, and then oh, there goes the cinnamon roll wrapper. I'm gonna cure this like so. It does have a few air bubbles in it, but it's that's okay. It's just like somebody was in a rush with glazing it and got air bubbles in it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put the little tissue paper down. We have the fork, um, and then of course I'll put the recipe card to the side. But we have so much cinnamon roll love right here. I just gotta have this all cured. I do have some cinnamon roll glaze on my fingers still from when I was trying to move them around. So I need to wipe that off before we move on to the next one. But I'm excited for these. Let's see, I probably need to do the bottom. 
because, well, it's a little, a little sticky. And it's definitely wet on the bottom. So we will cure that. And we need to cure this one too. Ooh, almost dropped it. So it's looking good. It's looking good. I don't mind it. It's a little, big globs on the side, but honestly, like, that's what we need. Okay, so here is the finished product. Not too shabby. Let me uh, put it on our display over here. Oops. Yes, look at that. Now you're telling me you put chocolate chips on this beauty? I would not. <laughs> it might be delicious though, who knows? Look at that, oh, so good. All right, right, let's. I'm gonna clean up and we're gonna come back. Okay, what do we got this time? We've got a glass. Okay, a glass. Might be, what is this, whipped cream, but it's brown, in a brown container. Interesting. Don't know what this could be. Oh, maybe, ooh, maybe it's one of the coffee ones, like the mocha latte thingy. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's a mocha. We've got the straw, I guess, in here. Yes. Okay, perfect. Does it not have a top? I definitely looked and, okay, yeah, no, because it has the whipped cream. It's this one, the mocha with just the, the regular whipped cream on the top. So it ha it's brown because it has, I guess, like chocolate syrup or something on it. Goodness, come on, let's go. There we go. Perfect. And here is our mocha whipped cream. It looks great. I'm glad I don't have to decorate it. That's way too much pressure. <laughs> All right, so let's get this iced coffee, warm coffee. I don't know. I know nothing about coffee. I just drink it sometimes. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I'm going to put it in here upside down just for a second while we prepare. We've got straw. We've got the whipped cream. This one's pretty much easy, I think. I say that. Famous last words. Um, but we'll do same deal. We're going to fill it up as much as we can and then we'll cure it so that we can set the whipped cream on there without it sinking. That's going to be the move. Oh wait, I got to get... Do I put a straw in here? Yeah. I don't want a straw in it actually. I like it as is. Sometimes, sometimes I choose to do something different <laughs> and that today is the day. Uh, I definitely could put a straw on here, but I think it'll look better without it. Uh, it's just, I don't know, maybe it's because the straw doesn't match. The straw is just a blue straw and I'm like, yeah. All right, let me uh, get more in here. Delicious, delicious. It looks really good. I think it just might be the way the, re the resins kind of mixed. Um, it's not fully mixed or something, but it has like lines and it. it looks really good. I can't get it to focus on it But I don't know it Looks really cool Try to pop that bubble All right, I honestly think that might be good and then I'll cure this whoops and then we will use the teeny tiny bit left in here to attach said whipped cream This is awesome Oh my gosh, here we go. Alright, ready? And just a tiny bit left. And we'll go ahead and plop the whipped cream on there. Perfect. I'm gonna try to at least try to center it. I think this looks great. Better without the straw. It also could pass as a hot cocoa. The glass, maybe not so much, but it it itself could pass as hot cocoa. Look at that. Tasty. I'm so excited. But I am curious if you guys can see what I'm talking about on camera. Maybe if I shine the light on it this way. See those swirls in there? Like I don't know if that's intentional or if it's because the resin wasn't mixed up right. I don't know. But this is the finished product. It looks amazing. Probably the best one, but I didn't do much to it. So that might also be why. Okay, let's see what else we have. We got a tray. This is like donuts again. Maybe it's. Okay, we've got the cinnamon rolls again. This is, in fact, 
a duplicate for us, but I could have her redo it the cinnamon rolls. <laughs> so that's a duplicate. We'll set that off to the side. And I still have not gotten many cereal ones, you guys. Those are the ones that were my favorite when this series first came out. I surely I'm gonna get one, right? We've got another, I think, donut. I'm not sure which one. Do we? Did we do all the donuts? I think we may have done all of the donuts. I'm gonna refer to the checklist really quickly, but I'm pretty sure this is the wrong checklist. Um, <laughs> just to be sure, I'm gonna open up the topping this year, and we've got chocolate chips. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've done this. So this is. I'm gonna mark this up as a duplicate and we're going to pack this away. So now we're rolling in the duplicates. We were doing really well without duplicates, but I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. We did really well so far. I just really want a cereal, at least one. All right, we've got berries. This could be the fruit salad. It could not be the fruit salad. Okay, okay, all right, we've got, no, wait. No, wait, this is a duplicate, isn't it? This is that berry refresher that we did at the very beginning. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I thought for sure it was like something new. I don't know. All right, let's see what else we've got because we we really only need drinks and cereals, I think. Also, it's storming right now, so you probably hear my dog I'm freaking out a little bit. Let's see. Also, you may hear the storm. <laughs> let's see, we've got strawberries. Um, we've got up. Uh, Another duplicate. So this is the sal. How are we? How did we save all of the duplicates for last? Somebody, somebody, answer me that. <laughs> I did not plan that at all. Um, so this is actually our very last one, you guys. Very last one. Well, not very, very last. Very last of the series one, and then we're we'll moving on to the series two, which is exciting because the resin bottles will be much better. <laughs> oh, it's cereal! Oh my gosh! Yes. I was gonna say if I don't get a single cereal, I'm I'm gonna be quite upset. All right, let's see. We've got our bowl. We've got rainbow rings. I'm going to pull out the rest of the card in just a second, but I'm so excited. I have a cereal bowl one, but it was from, what was it? It was from a pack that had like a visible cereal thing that you could make. So this was due. All right, we have the milk. It's beautiful. It's lovely. I love it. This is so exciting. I'm sorry there's dog hair. It's life. Um, <laughs> so what I did the last time, I think I did in layers. So we have the amazing milk. Oh yeah. I gotta get the cereal thing. I need to find this last cereal. It's the milkshake O's. We have the rainbow rings. I'm excited for the rainbow rings though. Oh, okay. Let's get this. This one I'm most excited for from this particular series for sure. All right. We're going to open up the milk and I'm going to try to do this in layers. Uh, kind of, sort of. Um, we're going to do... Well, let's, should I just, I'll just lay it there for a second while I get the rainbow rings out. And, oh, look at them, they're so cute. And then I'm gonna need, hold on, my dogs are, are going crazy. I'm gonna use, I think I'll use this spoon to help me out a little bit here. So we're gonna do just a little bit of milk. Cause I don't think I want the cereal to completely sink, right? So we'll just do some milk there. Should I, I'll just leave the bubble. And that's gonna be our base because the cereal will be floating for the most part. Like in real life, it floats. Unless, you know, it gets super soggy and then it disintegrates. And anyway, I this is what I wanna do. I'm just gonna do a teeny tiny base layer of the milk, like so, looks great. And now we start adding in some O's. This is actually hard to get out of here. But we're gonna slowly work at it. This this container, oh, look how good it looks already. Okay, sorry, I'm freaking out. I love the cereal. <laughs> the cereal's just amazing. I wish they made way more cereals, honestly. Like 35 of these cereals, just a whole cereal series. I'm not even a big cereal person. I don't really eat cereal. I mean, I actually have in the last few months just because we were moving and everything and it was like the easy, <laughs> easy breakfast idea, but I don't typically eat cereal. I don't typically eat breakfast. I usually wait for my like lunch smoothie. Um, but anyway, maybe that's enough. I'm gonna actually put this cap on so I might 
be able to get more milk out of that. So let's, uh, should I do a little sprinkle here? I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. Um, and we definitely want some of this to sink too. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. All right, it's looking great. I definitely want to make room for a spoon. So like here-ish, right? That'll be good. And this would be good to get duplicates of so you can make like one of those scooping pour thingies, you know? You know, with the, the spoon we could like cure it up here with it scooping up the, yeah, you know what I mean. All right, I'm gonna actually kind of move some of this around just a little bit so that we can get everything kind of covered and where we need it to be. I might also put a little bit of milk over top of some of these things. I'm going to try to get these bubbles, but they're tiny bubbles, so I don't know if I'll be able to get them. I'm just so excited for the cereal. Alright, look at that. Oh, it looks so tasty. Alright, and then um, I feel like I could put some O's in here. Just And I'll come back and change it up. Add a couple different ones if I need to with the milk on top of it or whatever. So we're just gonna do this for now. And I think that's good. I think we could go ahead and put the cereal spoon right there and cure it. Maybe possibly, should I get it deeper in there? Something like that. I like it. It's definitely not so chaotic. I feel like I should have did a little bit more chaotically-ish. Um, but what I can do is now I'm gonna come back with the milk one more time. And I'm just gonna do a really light layer and do some just sitting on top, I think. I don't know, it kind of makes sense for some to just be sitting on top. Well, look at that side view though. Ooh, looks so good. All right, so let's get the last of the milk. I don't wanna do a whole nother layer, but we'll see what happens. All right, so let's kind of spread this around just a tiny bit like that. Yes. And then I'm going to try to do maybe one of each color. So a purple, an orange, a red. We have a blue. And do you want a green? Is that it? I think those are the only colors. Yellow, what about yellow? We don't have a yellow. I was gonna say red, orange, yellow green, blue, purple. So we have all of them. I'm just gonna try to scoot them around. Sorry, I'm being a perfectionist about this one because this is like one of the ones I was looking most forward to. to. All right, so we're gonna do another round of colors. We'll do red, we need an orange one. Orange, let's do orange over here. Orange, yellow, here and then green oops let's get green over here and then we want blue oh where'd the blue go oh gosh blue and one more purple and where should that go actually like maybe over here something like that i don't know do i need more milk <laughs> i think if i scoot these over like this and do something like this, maybe. I don't know, I like it, I like it. But now I feel like I need more milk in it. Just on the sides. Let's just see if I can make it look okay. Definitely got some air bubbles now, even though I wasn't, was hoping for no air bubbles. But it's okay, can't win them all. All right, I'm just trying to like kind of get this moved around a little bit. Yes, this is great. This is good. Yes, look at this. Okay, I think we can officially call it at this. All right, let's do it. All right, I got a little too, too into that one, but hey. Can you blame me? I've been, that's one's been on my wish list for a while. I was this and the pizzas and I'm just really excited. All right, 
So since that's the last one for this series, uh, we're going to be moving on to series two next. The only ones we were unable to find in this one were the milkshake, O's, the cafe, latte, the lime refresher, which I really wanted, and the peach boba. But we had a really good haul for sure. I'm very excited and I can't wait to see what the next series has in store for us. But this is our final look. It looks very tasty. Here are all of the finished creations from series one. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. The cereal is going to be mine. But let's get started with series two. So here it is, you guys, the series two of the Cafe Miniverse. Look at this little popcorn on the front. I'm so excited. But we're about to open, what, 20 of these, which is crazy. I'm excited, though, especially for the, for the resin bottles that I actually open. I don't need to cut open. But anyway, as usual, I feel like I need to preface this every time. This first one that we do open is, in fact, going to be the first one that, and only one that we actually unbox or unwrap, unravel, whatever we want to call it. I have unwrapped all of the other ones with the help of my husband. Shout out to him. Because <laughs> it did take us quite a, quite a while to unbox everything. All right, so like I said, it is storming. I said this, I think when we were opening the last one, the storm was a brewing. Now the storm is hitting. So <laughs> if you hear some thunder or some dogs being worried, that's what that is. Anywho. We have the checklist, and of course it's the same on the back. It just tells you how to make everything. So let's go through everything one at a time here. We've got grape soda, orange soda, cherry slushy, blue raz slushy, creamsicle float, root beer float. That's one I definitely really want. Cherry vanilla float, alphabet soup, definitely top, top tier list for me of once. Mac and cheese, also top tier list for me. Um, unicorn popcorn, caramel popcorn. I need to see those. They look so cute. And we've got the pretzels. And then moving down to the second row, we've got the vanilla petty fours, choco raspberry petty fours, classic macarons, royal macarons. What's the difference there? They're just different colors, I guess. Uh, then we have choco dipped strawberries and white choco dipped strawberries. Ooh la la. I'm so excited for those. Choco churros, birthday churros, hot dog with mustard, hot dog with ketchup, yellow corn nachos, I must find those, and then the blue corn nachos, must also find those. I There are so many cool ones in this series, I'm just so excited. All right, let's see what we've got today in this, in this batch. So we've got, oh, it looks like we might have some churros today. Four churros to be exact in there and then whoo, we've got a little cup that's cool and we've got a tray i don't know if we actually have something for the cup like i don't know if there's resin for the cup i guess we could like if it's chocolate i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see all right we've got this chocolate for our churro so we could technically put some in the cup and it'll kind of look like coffee or like a, a drink of some sort that we can dip i wonder if i have a vanilla i don't think i have an open vanilla glaze or anything we can use for like a I don't know, a milkshake, who knows. All right, we got tongs. I'm gonna actually need to use these because I had to sacrifice my last one. All right, and then we've got, what? Rainbow sprinkles, heck yes. All right, let me turn the lights up here so we can see it a little better. All right, I'm gonna pull in the table. Whoops, the table that we were using. So the tables have been coming in the diner series. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. It's my favorite, like the tub version. Oh my gosh, yes. So it's a chocolate on it. I'm not sure I would consider this chocolate, but that's fine. Um, I do need my parchment paper. I should have got a new piece of parchment paper, but that's fine. So we're gonna, what are we gonna do? Let's maybe, let's maybe, um, get some of the instructions for the ones we want and it'll help us out. All right, I got it. So we have the birthday churros. These are the ones we're gonna make. So you can fill your cup with the resin as well. Where's my spoon? Did I, did I, maybe I, is this the spoon? Did I throw it off to the side? Oh, yep, I did, okay. So I don't know how we're gonna do this. I guess we could dip them in and then cure them as we go. So let's see. I'm gonna get my sprinkles out and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the sprinkles on my parchment paper. Hear me out, okay, it's gonna be messy. But 
what isn't messy anymore. Um, let's see how I can get into these churros. Let's see, here we go. Oh, there's some tissue paper in here. So this will be good for like laying out on our tray when we're done. But here are the churros. They're so cute. They're textured like this, the white on them's textured. So it's like the cinnamon sugar. It's so cute. Oh, all right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, they laid them out there and dumped it on top, but I'm gonna do like a little dipping thing. I gotta be very careful though. Hold on, how are we gonna do this? Let's bring it closer to the camera. So we'll dip like half of it, right? So something like this. And then I'm gonna use my parchment paper here. Hopefully that's enough sprinkles. <laughs> but we're gonna use that and cover this with sprinkles like this. And we're going to cure it like so. Sorry, it's not all in camera. I just don't want to accidentally cure the big tub of resin because that would be awkward. <laughs> but this actually isn't turning out how I thought it would. I thought it would be cooler. I don't know. It just looks weird. Um, but maybe drizzling it on will be better. Maybe I just need to add more sprinkles. I don't think, I think it's too late to add sprinkles. I think it's mostly cured. Maybe not though. I'm gonna try. Gotta try. <laughs> All right, so we have it. Well, I can do all the sides, right? It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I think it's all cured, so I don't think it's gonna work anyway. But we've got our first churro. So this is kind of what I was going with, just like dipped a dipped look to it. Um, do I keep some regular ones? I don't know. Do I dip all of them? I don't know. I feel like I need to fill my cup with some pink resin as well but I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that I guess I could just do this oh we could do something like that I don't know does that seem right <laughs> all right let's uh I'm gonna continue to do it this way to fill this cup up and I don't know I don't know I don't know there we go we've got our cup our drink so maybe I just need to like, I could add the sprinkles in the resin. Let's try that. This is like no going back though. So if I do this, dun, 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 you know what I mean? But like, look, that looks much better to me. So let's get that curing over here. And then maybe I'm just gonna set that there. Where'd the other churros go? Oh, here's one. So I'm gonna dip this one in next. Oh gosh, I'm making a huge mess. But I think this is the move. Just just dipping your sprinkles in there. I don't know. Call me crazy. I think it's the move. Alright, let me uh, kind of swish this around so I can get more sprinkles on there. I mean, definitely could get more. <laughs> I don't know. I'm winging it. I'm going with what I can do here. Alright. I think that'll do it. Oh, should I do that last one? I probably should do the last one. Okay, hold on. Let me set that down. Oh my goodness, the storm is really hitting now. I hope I don't lose electricity while I'm in the middle of this. <laughs> oh gosh. But anyway, almost here. This one's probably my favorite one. It's not super thick on the churro. Um, it just kind of looks the best. All right, so let's do the same deal here, and we're gonna. I don't know. Do something. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> All right, and then I think I'm gonna do the sprinkles on top again. So I like having the sprinkles in there, but also like having the sprinkles on top. All right, I think we I think we nailed it. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't consider that nailed it, but um, we definitely did something. So I don't know what to do with my sprinkly resin. I feel like I can, I'll just have to save it for later and maybe we can come up with something else. But I definitely need to clean up my sprinkles here. But let me move this resin off the table and then we'll bring up our churros so you guys can see them a little bit better. And then I'll definitely give you a closer look at them. Let's just take a look. So that first one, not my favorite. It just looks like a club or something. Uh, these last two, which I think are these two, will look the best. I love them. So there we go. And then we have this. I got to cure this. It's just a random 
pink drink. I don't know. I should have waited for like a chocolate syrup or a chocolate resin so I could have used it for like coffee. Anyway, that's our first one. I'm gonna have to clean up and then we'll get back to it. Opening. We've got, oh, ho, ho. We've got a bag of tortilla chips. Okay. <laughs> We've got our little plate and our little salsa bowl. Oh gosh, this is great. This is fantastic. I'm so excited. I wonder, I guess they might be the regular ones. I can't, I don't know. Um, got a spoon, which we might need. And, but yeah, I don't know if they're going to be the blue ones. I feel like it would say it was. It was they were blue tortilla chips if we needed to, or if we needed to, if it were the case. Pico de gallo. And salsa? Cheese. We not have cheese, salsa? Cheese, salsa? I don't know. Um, I am grabbing the, what I think it is, this one right here, the yellow corn nachos. So this is what they've done. They did, they have salsa. Like, why is theirs red? Or maybe they just did pico de gallo in there and no cheese. I'm a little confused at, at what that is. Um, so, what are we gonna do? This is this is gonna be messy. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like I'm just gonna be making tons of messes here. All right, so we've got our chips in there, right? I kind of want to do something crazy. Um, I'm gonna dump some chips in here. This could potentially make everything even more messy, but we're doing it, because why not? I'm going to, where's my, ah, I do have my popsicle stick here. Um, so we're gonna take some cheese. We're going to mix it with our nachos. This isn't going as I thought it would. But one thing about me is when I'm making nachos, I like all of my stuff to be evenly distributed. There's nothing worse than having like loads of cheese on the top and then getting to the bottom and there's just like, there's just nothing but plain chips, you know? So I need to make sure my chips are cheesy. All right, this is actually turning out very, very good. I like it, I like what's happening. This is a very useful tool for your capsules, by the way. Alright, let's uh, I'm gonna start dishing these out. I'm just gonna put them on the plate. So the bad thing is, it's like, can't really lay them out exactly how we want on the plate because they have resin all over them and I didn't want to make a big mess. I feel like I should kind of cure it as I go, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Let's just just keep going and see how this turns out. So far, so good. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the salsa thing slash pico de gallo. I could do a little um, splash of the cheese resin in there and then put like lots of pico de gallo on the top. That could be a potential thing to do. All right. I feel like there's tons of chips here. I want to be able to fit the bowl on there still too. We've got a few chips left. Let's go ahead and put them in this gap. All right, we're looking a little sparse on this back side, so I'm gonna put some in there. Honestly, it's looking pretty good. This might be a little much, so I think that's good where we're at. We have a couple chips left over we might use. But, hear me out, so I think they sprinkled some pico de gallo on the chips as well, but I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. I am torn at this point. I'm not sure. Oh, no. And there goes all of our pico de gallo. Um, great. It's fine. We'll just have to do a quick cleanup. So, kind of want to sprinkle it, kind of don't. Um, let me, I'm not going to. I'm going to fill up this little bowl here with some cheese though because I have a plan. Oh gosh, the cheese. Alright, let's be careful. It would be better if I used a little spoon, I feel like. Alright, we've got some in there. Let's get the rest. Alright, I think that's a pretty good 
start because now um, I don't know what to do with my popsicle stick. Now I do this, right? Hold on. I'm making a big mess, but it's like way too far gone at this point. Honestly, give me this little spoon. I'm going to probably ruin this little spoon, but we need to do it. We're going to mix it up, right? Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> I'm making it work. We could keep this spoon in there. Okay. I realize that this is the biggest mess in the world right now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. Let me at least get all of this back in the bowl. I might, I'm just... <laughs> I'm going to need some serious cleanup. Oh gosh. Alright. So I'm not getting the heaping pile of pico de gallo that I wanted. Because it is literally spilling out. I feel like we need to cure this in order for it to really work for us. Um, what do I do with the spoon? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know at this point. I'm using my hands. Don't ever do this because you could accidentally cure the resin to your fingers if you don't clean it up. And I've done it before and it's very painful. <laughs> All right, we're going with this. I'm setting it down and I'm going to clean up and come back. All right, we had some serious pico de gallo everywhere, but I kind of got it where it needs to be at this point. I still need to cure it. Um, we have a little pico de gallo piece in there, but I'm not even worried at this point. <laughs> like, forget it. Uh, I kind of do want to put a little bit more cheese or maybe a few more nachos on here. I don't know. Let's just try it here. Add on, like, right here specifically. I feel like it needs some nachos. Because we have these ones with resin already all over them, so I may as well. I also thought about drizzling some extra cheese on here, but <laughs> I don't know. I might have had enough adventure. But also, like, maybe. I mean, I already have the cheese open, so, like, why not? Just, just dab a little bit of cheese on some of these just to really give the illusion. Also, maybe, maybe. Oh. I say maybe I should cure this and then do that. It's probably a, a good call. Uh, but also, I really, I really had a fun time with this one, other than the Pico de Gallo fiasco. And also, it'd be really cool now that I know what I'm doing, kind of sort of, to you know have a chip being dipped in the Pico de Gallo. I wonder. Hmm. Eh, I don't know if I want to take that on just yet, but. I think that would be really cool. Uh, I'm just gonna keep using this cheese because I think it looks really great putting it over top of it. These are some cheesy nachos and these are exactly what I would want from nachos. Alright, great, perfect. We are looking fantastic. I probably should cure this one last time and then we'll do an official reveal. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what what a fiasco, Pico de Gallo. Alright, ready? Here it is. It looks good, it looks delicious. There needs to be a little bit more in the middle of the Pico de Gallo, but honestly, delicious. Look at that, it's stunning. Alright, next one. Okay, we've got macarons, alright. Nice. <laughs> I've made macarons before. I think when I first got these blind capsules, my very first opening, I believe, was this exact macaron set. So, it's been a minute since I made some macarons and I'm excited. I feel like I learned a lot. Um, I'm just getting a lot of overall experience, really, uh, with the macarons and the or not just the macarons, but just all of everything, you know? You know what I mean? Getting a lot of general, just make it mini, mini verse experience. And I think we are learning as we go, but also we're, we're really, we're really achieving a lot. All right, so, what do we, how do we want to do this? I don't know. What I should have done, what I should have done, is utilize this plastic, but we're not, we're already half done here, so we may as well keep going. Now we've got the vanilla. I feel like I should bring out the recipe card so that you guys can get a little sneak peek. These are pretty simple. 
famous last words, but simple. We got a nice vanilla frosting in a jar here. And let's see, where am I gonna put it? I'll put it here. We have our little spatula and we have macarons. I'm gonna bring out my parchment paper for this though. And I feel like I should move that macaron box, but these are pretty like simple. Like I said, we also don't wanna overfill these. I did the first time and it was bad. Um, also, you know, it's just like less handling is better. It's just uh, the handling of these, it's very tiny. I feel like I need to have my tongs to hold on to these. But if you press down too much with the, too much frosting, then it's, it just it spills out. And that's no good. All right, honestly, these look pretty good and I haven't finished them yet. I haven't finished all of them, but I'm gonna cure these. I have two more to make, but I don't wanna move them until they're cured. <laughs> Just cause they're so gentle and I don't want to mess them up. All right, let's put that one there. And then I think I should be able to touch those and move them a little bit. So we'll scoop them back. All right, and then I just have two more to make here and kind of trying to get as get them just enough on there but it's it's tricky and then a cool thing you can do to customize the or like change this up is you can you know put a yellow shell on top of a pink one and mix it up that way oh goodness ah. all right we're gonna need to fix that yellow one come on yellow one that's good enough, right? Well, yeah, so that yellow one's a little messed up because it has some coming out of the side. It's not necessarily messed up. It's still gray. It's still usable, but messed up in my eyes. <laughs> um, I'm just going to clean up a little bit, and then we have this nice, awesome tray that we could put them on. But they got to cure, and then we're going to be moving on already. Lots of good ones. I definitely can't wait to find more savory ones. I'm still obsessed with those nachos back there. And then you can use this box to uh, store them in as well. I'm just kind of going to put one in there for now. And then these ones I'm going to kind of put on the tray. And then I really feel like I need to bring out my oven, my little mini verse oven, just for the extra help in curing. I know it's kind of like too late at this point, but. Yeah, I definitely think we could have got more frosting or filling in there. Eh, aren't my best work, but still fun. I uh, will try better next time. Maybe we'll get a little bit more filling in there. All right, moving on to the next one. Ooh, what's this? Buns? Ooh, we've got buns. We've got... Oh, this is a hot dog one. Oh my gosh, because we have the little hot dog boat. So we do have a little tissue paper here we can use to help. But I'm just going to use the hot dog boat here. And then, oh, I'm so excited. We've got our tongs. Also, speaking of tongs, oh, they're over there. I was going to say, I don't know where my tongs are. <laughs> Story of my life. All right, and then we've got mustard Ooh, it's the mustard dog which is great because mustard is like my fave i love mustard i have mustard on like everything from from my veggie dogs to my veggie burgers um also we get one boat two buns and four dogs um it's a weird count but i like having extra i think that's really nice so here is the hot dog with mustard recipe card how are we going to do this? I think let's, of course, start with opening up the mustard. Ooh, opened it up a little too quickly there. We've got a nice little mustard squeeze top. Yes, perfect. I kind of, like, I don't want to get it on the bun. Like, I just want to get it on the dog. But also, I don't know. I feel like whenever I put mustard on dogs, it gets everywhere anyway. All right, so here are our little dogs. Let's get our buns out as well. I'm just gonna make one though, so we can put it in our little boat. I don't wanna make both dog, both hot dog dog dogs. 
And then maybe if I get the ketchup one, I can make one with ketchup and mustard because that is pretty bomb. That's pretty bomb too. I love ketchup and mustard on the dog. All right, so we have the bun, we have the dog. We can go ahead and set it on like that. I kind of just want to finally do it on the dog, but this might be a little ambitious. But you know what? We're deep in this right now and we are, boy, are we ambitious. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try, whoo, whoo. I'm going to try my best to do this. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I think I'm going to mess it up. Hey, I did really well with the, why is this, this is just taking forever, oh, oops. Um, I did really well with, oh gosh, this is not going as planned. Oh gosh. Well, honestly, it's not bad. Oh gosh, I'm struggling. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. I didn't use near enough of the mustard. Like, there's hardly any that I use. So, I have a lot left over for that. But, I think I like it. I like the little swirl that I got. It is a little translucent for me for mustard. But I think I mentioned at some point in this video, in this, in this, in this whole opening, this 100 opening, that... You can add some paint to these, like as a little DIY, but anyway, here's the dog with the mustard, and then we can go ahead and place it in the bun. Actually, let's give him the other bun, because the other bun was more wide open for some reason. And there it is. Look at that. Tasty. And then we go ahead and we put this in the boat, like so. And then if you want the dog to stay in there, which I honestly think it'd be fun to make a bunch of different dogs like that and like even sprinkle some pico de gallo on it or or use some of your leftover ingredients to make something different and then you can interchange the dogs. I think that'd be really cool. But anyway, this is our look. I think it looks fantastic. That's probably the best looking one so far. We have a little bit of clean up here, but we do have some like leftover, lots of leftovers for this one. I'm gonna put the big jar of mustard over there. Like I said, I'm gonna probably use that for the, um, well, the upcoming, I'm gonna use any leftover resin for when we open up the lifestyle ones so that we have lots of resin for the plants. All right, what else do we got? We've got churros. Okay, this one I think might be the other churro. I think there's only, is there only two churros? Now I'm questioning that, but it's churros. And we've got, yeah, it's the other one because we've got a blue cup, white tray, same deal as the last time. This, I'm gonna leave the tongs and utensils in there because we haven't used any utensils. All right, so we've got the churro dip. Do we not have anything? It's just gonna be chocolate dip, I guess. I guess, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about this. But I do want to try to find the little recipe card, which I don't know where that is. Oh, I think I just found it. Nope, I didn't find it. Where is the little recipe card? It's gone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got it. Oh, that's the strawberry one. <laughs> Hold on. I have it, I promise. Yeah, it's just the Choco Churros. It's literally just that. See, this is why I should have saved that, made that cup empty. I think maybe I should just put some chocolate on top of that other cup. I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, this should be whoo, fun. Also, I didn't, did I get tissue paper? I didn't get tissue paper with that one. Maybe I did and I like looked over it. I'm double checking all my bags. I don't see it. So it's fine. We'll use the hot dog tissue paper. <laughs> and we're going to put it on the plate like we did the other churros. I'm gonna open up our chocolate, tub of chocolate here. Yummy, look at this. Big tub of chocolate. All right, what do I do with that? <laughs> um, we'll do the same kind of situation, minus the sprinkles, obviously, because we don't have those. Oh, the tissue paper's in here. Okay, that would've been, maybe I'll, I'll leave the hot dog one, because I probably should use the hot dog one for the hot dog. Put that there. We have the four delicious looking churros. All right. 
and then we'll start dipping just like we did with the other ones. I don't want there to be as much on here like there was the other ones so we'll just kind of lightly dip them like so and cure them. Kind of gonna, well, I think that was a little much like that. I like it. I don't want to do too much because it'll look over, it'll be overpowering um, the churro. We don't want that. But this is great. Oh my goodness. They look great. They're fantastic. I'm excited. They look a lot better than the pink ones. I think since we didn't have anything that we needed to stick to them, it ended up being a lot better. So this, I'm just trying to get these all on here. And this is the final look. It looks delicious, honestly. I would definitely have some of those. All right, we're gonna slide this to the back and kind of scoot this off to the side so we can see whoo, what our next one is. That is rolling away. Okay, we've got herbs. That's always a good sign, honestly. Herbs, what, what on earth do we have that has herbs? Oh, tell me it's not the pack of cheese. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold the phone. I think we just got the back of cheese and I'm literally about to cry of excitement. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a little bag of macaroni! Oh my stinking gosh! What the heck? <gasps> You're kidding. This is it. This is it for me. This is... <laughs> this is it. This is it. Um, what do I do? I'm panicking in like a good way. Alright, we've got all of our supplies. I'm going to open up the cheese. I think since I don't want to waste space, I could, I could use other um, resin. I do have a leftover resin, right? Whoops. And I'm making a mess, but like I have this brand of cotton candy resin or sorry. Yeah. Cotton candy syrup resin. So I'm going to actually do this. Haha. -ha. I have a plan. Don't worry guys. But I wanted to use that up. But this is my plan. I'm going to put more resin here so we have extra cheese and everything. I wonder if I have more. I mean, I know I have the mustard resin, but that's, I think I'll just go with that. Um, where's my popsicle stick? We want to pop that bubble. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cure this. I would have liked to have had more, more, um, more extra resin, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and open up this stinking little teeny tiny pasta. Oh, definitely thought there was more pasta in here with the size of that box. But look, oh, all right. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the nachos. I'm actually gonna mix them around in here. Oh, oh guys, look at this. Look at this. When I used to make, fun fact, because you didn't know, I used to make miniature food jewelry. It was one of my businesses. Um, a long time ago, I've since shut it down. But, oh my gosh, I used to hand make each one of these little macaronis for our macaroni and cheese. It was crazy. So anyway, um, I'm going to get my handy dandy popsicle stick, which probably still has some cheese resin on it, which is fine because we need the cheese. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing some of this together. I gotta be careful because this does have holes in it, the little capsule thing. But this is such a good idea. I saw someone do this on TikTok, um, mix their mini brands in the capsule it came with because you can't use like a reusable bowl or anything unless you have a proper way to wash it out, but you can't wash this resin down your drain. So you can't just like use your kitchen, kitchen stuff and, and wash it. Um, so anyway, Instead of like, you know, wasting or using a paper plate or whatever, which you can do, you just reuse your capsules if you're not going to use them. Yeah, so I'm a little afraid I'm going to run out of this resin, but I want my cheese, mac and cheese to be cheesy, you know? But do I have extra cheese stuff? I don't think I do. Let's see, how much is, there's not tons left in there. Alright, so this is cured. <sighs> what do I do? I think I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to go with what we've got and we're going to 
dump all of this cheese out and I'm going to continue to mix this. I'm probably going to need to add more noodles, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully there's enough, enough in here that it will fill up the whole entire pot. <laughs> I definitely would love to get a duplicate of this so later I can, I can make a, like a, you know, fork grabbing it and spooning it out. Anyway, uh, let me get this off of my popsicle stick so I can actually, oh gosh, come on little macaroni. <laughs> I can actually help spoon this cheese out because there's so much in here. Well, there's not so much in here, but you know, um, it's just going to have to be like a not a heaping pot of mac and cheese. It's gonna be like one that's already been <laughs> been served. It's just the leftovers. You know how you have to go back and and get all your leftovers and put them in a dish and put them in the fridge? Yeah. So that's what this is gonna be. I don't think that we're gonna have much luck with it really anymore. So we're gonna have to just go with this. I do have some more macaronis left, but I don't think I don't think we have enough cheese to really cover it. I could no, I can't. So I could get it out, but there's only a little bit of cheese left. It's kind of crazy. We don't have enough cheese. It's fine. I'm gonna fill up. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna put the cap back on this. And then I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to fill this with whatever macaronis we have. Now it's not going to fill it up, I don't think. Actually, it might be better than I thought. Shouldn't use the pink at the bottom. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this sparse. Uh, but it's fine, it's fine. It's all going to work out. It's going to work out, I promise. Uh, let's get these macaronis and put them on this side. Yeah, I think I'll be able to cover up the pink pretty successfully. Especially with any like leftover cheese that I could drizzle over. So there's like one big spot. We have a couple macaronis left here. I'll go ahead and put those on. I kind of want to cure it and then come back and put more on, but well no, it's not it's not I don't think that's the move. Alright, we just gotta kind of shift some things around. So it definitely looks like there's not any pink pieces left out. There is a little gap there, but I think we can get like enough resin to make a little glob of cheese there. Or maybe I could push that around. I think this is what we're going to go for. Alright, and so it does still have some cheese around the edges of the bowl as well, the, the pot. That way, it really does look like these are the leftovers, but it does need more cheese, I'm telling you. I need to, <laughs> I need to pull out more cheese. Oh gosh, but I'm going to take whatever's left in that upside down pot or thing, the jar of cheese, and we're going to drizzle it on top. And hopefully that'll make it look a lot cheesier. I think it will. Okay, honestly I think that's good for right now. Oh, we have the herbs. Oh gosh, I almost forgot the herbs. I never put herbs on mac and cheese, but my husband is a huge like seasoning fan. <laughs> I like seasoning, don't get me wrong, but... I don't put as many seasonings on my mac and cheese as he does. He definitely loves to do that. Alright, let me get some of this out of here. And I think if we move this around enough, we'll definitely make it look super cheesy. And I definitely gotta, uh, I don't have to work fast, but I want to so that it doesn't all settle. I want it to be nice and plump and cheesy <laughs> like that Ooh, looks so good looks really good all right let me uh, get these herbs out and I'm gonna I guess sprinkle some on so they're just light and dark green herbs I kind of just want to like ever so slightly it kind of looks like soup now <laughs> hold on let's uh let's cure this definitely giving me the soup vibes now but that's okay that's what I wanted. I wanted that soupy mac and cheese look and I think that's what we've achieved. We do have some leftover macaroni so even if you don't use 
the like I could have mixed the pink mac or, or sorry the pink resin with the rest of the macaronis and made it like a little taller but really I'm cool with this this looks delicious like look at that I'm so happy we got this one so so stinking excited and I really want to get extras of those because I feel like I can make so many cool macaroni type desserts desserts not desserts meals all right we're gonna stick that in the back and we're gonna grab our next capsule let's see what we've got here I gotta actually move the macaronis over the extra the spare macaronis all right we've got macarons again this is the other oh I never showed you guys the macaroni recipe card let's flash flash back real quick look at that delicious but we already made it but now, since I'm at the recipe cards, I'm going to pull out the one we just got, the Royal Macarons. So it's the same exact thing, it's just different colors. These ones are more, I don't know, uh, how, how do you say, just like a, a softer, no, a cool, cool tone, the cool tones. Because we had like the warm tones with the pink, orange, and yellow, now we have purple, blue, and green. So we can make sure that we all have like nice rainbow macarons. It'd be great. I don't need the utensils. Wait, do I? No, because I actually still have utensils from the last macaron. I actually don't even think I'll need this this frosting because we still have. Hold on, hold on, stand by. This. <laughs> I literally have it open and everything. All right, so let's get this open here. Okay, that's all taped, so I'm just gonna cut it. There we go, and then we're gonna. Pull these or pop these macaron shells out, and hopefully, oh, I missed the opportunity again. This is what I was thinking. Okay, I still have some opportunity to do this, but if you go and use this, um, uh, plastic, I don't know, the resin might actually end up bonding to it. I don't know, <laughs> but it's an idea that I have, right. Stand by for my idea. All right, so I've got some on there. Let me take the purple shell. Let me put it on. And then this actually might not work. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> but then we cure it while it's still in there. So then maybe it'll it'll pop out. It might actually have a weird. It will turn out weird. I realize that now. It's fine. I took I took a chance and. It was not the chance I should have took. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me see if it's good enough to pop out yet. It's, oh no. We might need to um, sacrifice that one. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to leave it in the light back here. And we'll see if it'll do anything. Stay. Alright. And then we'll try to, try to get our act together here. I was just trying to think of an easier way to do it. You know. Let me. Where are my tongs? Where my tongs at? All right, let's hold the the shell in our hands, and then do a glob there. Put it up here. It's not even on the table. Okay, and then we'll pop this on, and that did not happen how I wanted it to. <laughs> I really do struggle with the macarons. Like they are a struggle for me, but. This one actually looks pretty decent if you don't look at it from the other side. It just, just look at it from the one side only. It looks fantastic. I'm going to still keep the, uh, the, the flashlight back here. We're going to take this and put it down here. Alright, so we're just going to stick to the classic way to do this. You know, we're going to do a dollop on here. Actually the first one I made last time was pretty good. And I kind of like really strategically put it all together. Okay, don't move. Alright, I'm definitely going to get this all over my hands, but what can you do? Just make sure you don't end up curing your hands and then it'll <laughs> be terrible to get off. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to think about that. I should be wearing gloves. For opening this many and doing this many projects for with uh, resin, I should be wearing gloves. Definitely. But, I'm not 
And I mean, it's not too late. I'm, I still have a whole series to go. Actually, I think I got the hang of this now. I think I was just afraid before. Now, now I'm good. I'm just kidding. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Alright, and then this is the last one. Yeah, because we can't do the other purple one because I ruined it. Might be able to fix it, but... Alright, so now we cure these. I'm going to move the frosting off to the side. And probably should wipe off my tongs because I did get frosting on them. I should also wipe off my hands. But, let's, uh, should I get them all on the, the whatchamacallit? The, the baking sheet. Oh, that one was not cured at all. Gotta be super careful. Especially with these ones that like, the resin isn't super exposed. They're sandwiches essentially. So, I don't know, it's just not, not great. <laughs> Let me see if I can pull this one out though. I think it would have, the resin would have, uh, yeah, cured to the, the thing. It's fine. We're sacrificing this one. It was not a good a good experiment. But you but you know what I mean? Like you can't see the middle of these and the resin can't see the light. <laughs> so it's not curing properly. But just the outer edges will at least cure. So here they are. Whoops. Here they are. Much better, I would say, than the last ones that we just did. Where's my box? Here it is. So it's the same box, just teal. Looks really good. I like this color scheme. I wish I wanted to ruin that one purple one, but it's okay. Maybe we'll get a duplicate and we'll be we'll be golden. All right, next one. Well, let's try another one. Whoop! What was that? Hot dog buns. Okay. So unless this is the ketchup, ooh, it is. It is. It's gonna be the ketchup one, I think. Well, at least it's different. So we got that going for us. I don't know if it's necessarily the ketchup. But. All right, we've got the dogs, which I guess I should have kept the dogs, the hot dog package, the leftovers from the last one. I don't. I did keep it. I just put it in a pile. I think I have it on top though. Oh, here is the ketchup. We gotta get the ketchup top. All right, we're gonna. Will this? The question is, will this go as smoothly as it did with the mustard? I'm nervous. But let's put this on, put the cap on. I'm gonna actually pull this back because I wanna kinda sit this, oh, that's not gonna work. Stay. All right, I do have the old hot dogs and instead of opening a brand new package, I'm just gonna utilize these hot dogs. So let's pull one out and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna decorate one um, because we have one boat. We do, oh wait, where's the other buns too? Hold on, hold on. Yes. Yeah. See, we didn't even need to open up a new pack of buns. <laughs> All right. What do we got now? Let's do the same thing. I got my light. I got to make sure it's ready. I'm turning it on. Just getting ready. And then we're going to do the same thing. Oh, no. Okay, this is very transparent. Oh gosh, I have to be super focused. All right, that's good, that's good. I like it, I like it. There's a bubble in it though, it's fine. Oh, I turned it off. But this, that bubble, it's fine. We're not gonna worry about it because we got like that perfect squiggle that we were, that we were trying to achieve. We did it. I'm so proud of us. So we're just going to cure this and then we'll have our ketchup hot dog. I'm excited for our ketchup hot dog. We got both the mustard and the ketchup. We got a nice little set. I gotta get the recipe card so we can take a look at it. I keep forgetting to do the recipe cards. All right, so there it is. I kinda wanna try going over the bubble a little bit. Let's see if I can cover it. But here's the hot dog with ketchup. They did it over the bun too, Woo! which you definitely can do if you want. I just don't want to do that. All right, I'm not gonna be able to cover up that that spot, and that's okay. It's fine. I just need to re-cure this, and then we'll put it in the bun. So the bun 
is, wait a minute, there's multiple grill marks on here. I just noticed that. I was like, wait, I did put them on the grill marks, but they're on the other side. But anyway, bun is the same. And then we just go ahead and, oh, 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 oh. Yes, I didn't cure that enough. <laughs> so I'll put her in the boat and there she goes. This ketchup is way too translucent for me. <laughs> I will say that I definitely didn't mind the uh, mustard one, but the ketchup one's definitely a little too transparent. All right, looks like we got different colors in this one. We've got berries. All right, we haven't gotten one with berries yet, so that's cool. Let's see what else. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna have the Petty Fours. Um, this one is the, oops, got a little water on that. We got the Choco Raspberry Petty Fours. This is exciting, these look really good actually. All right, we have the tongs, and of course the papers. And then we've got the little display piece. All right, let's see here. Like that it has the gold on it, looks great. Get rid of those, and then we'll have the resin. Ooh, we have a nice little squirt top on this one. It's the chocolate glaze. We'll go ahead and get started on that so that we're ready. Perfect. I'm gonna set that on its side, and we're going to open this up. Let's see, I'm gonna just cut it. I gotta move the ketchup. I have the ketchup just hanging out over here. All right. Here we go. So we've got a nice tray of the cakes. They have some raspberry filling on the inside, so we don't need to do that. We just need to decorate the top, which basically on the recipe card, they put one to two raspberries on the top of each one. Pretty much think I'll do the same thing. All right, here we go. All right, I'm ready. Let's do the first one. So we're gonna do, whoop. They have theirs like spilling over, which looks really good. And I kind of want to do something like that. Maybe I get this and then, oh gosh, this isn't going well so far. Oh, no, okay. Well, I guess we're doing that. We're doing a sideways raspberry. All right, so, but the goal, just got resin on myself, is to kind of let it spill on itself, maybe, potentially. I think it'll look good. Just do a little extra, you know how it goes. And then I'm gonna try, ah, these raspberries are not giving me a good time. So like that. And then we'll put that over here. Oh no, that's not going well. The raspberry is falling off of the dessert. <laughs> oh goodness, it's, it's, it's going about how you would expect it to go. I'm gonna cure those two, because again, this might be another one of those situations where it's better to come back and add drips if we really wanna add drips. But uh, drips aren't working for us right now. All right, so let's just cover the tops of these and kinda of just do something basic. You know, we don't need to go too crazy and overboard, just like a nice even layer on the top. And then I'm going to place the raspberry right there. And then we have a couple more. Whoop! Okay. We got, we, got, we got a little drippage happening there. It's actually a really nice drip, might I say. I'm going to actually try to cure this before, before it gets too out of hand. That's actually a really nice drip. I don't mind it. <laughs> We want to make sure we get the coverage though. Alright, should be good. And then we have two more. So let's do this one. I'm just doing like a glob on the top there and one raspberry there. So now we can see like it's better to do it this way. When I have control over the situation. There we go. And then one more. I didn't do multiple raspberries on any of them. I'm sorry. It just didn't happen that way. Uh, ran out of raspberries. I gotta grab one from here. 
do another sideways raspberry. All right, and now it is time to cure the petit fours, choco raspberry petit fours. Honestly, me personally, not a choco lit, choco lit raspberry, chocolate and any fruit fan at all. Um, I despise it actually. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's got to be like some combo that I kind of like, but normally this is not my cup of tea. So these are really cool. I like them, but I probably wouldn't eat them. <laughs> so we shall maybe start organizing them onto the tray. Perhaps. I think that'll be safe to do. Alright, I got two. Four more will fit, so I think we'll just do the two and four on the top. Four on the bottom, two on the top situation. Go ahead and just like curing these and placing them at the same time. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. All right, one and two. All right, let me get this off of the table. There we go. Still still working on finishing up curing these, but it looks good. Honestly, they kind of look weird on camera, but they look pretty good. I think it's a little dark, that's why. But that's it. That's the final product. I'm happy with it for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, aside from the fiascos, I'm just kidding. There wasn't really any fiasco that time. Alright, what do we got next? We've got, oh, we've got orange juice. This will be new for us. Whatever it is. We've got a drink cup. We've got, there were quite a few drinks, huh? We haven't got a single drink yet. We've got ice, which I don't think I have an open bag of ice right now. And let me, uh, this will probably be a straw or something. Yep, a straw. All right, so what do we have is the question. I think this is it. It's just a simple orange soda. So we can handle this. We can handle this one. I think after a few complex ones, you know, it's much due, much overdue. Um, I'm definitely going to, well, we got to get this open. While I don't love, ooh, I could put extra orange res resin on the mac and cheese and it'd be like a double cheese mac and cheese. Ooh, that'd be good. But basically, <laughs> we're going to start with one little bit in there. And then I'm going to get the straw out. Okay. And I'm going to pop these bubbles there are quite a few. Now I kind of want to cure this and then I'll come back and we'll put in the rest of the items. So we're gonna have ice but I definitely don't want all the ice to fall to the bottom. I probably put a little too much in but it's gonna look really good with all the ice I think it's starting to set pretty well. Whoops, just hit the camera. The straw's a little off, but it's fine. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. So, just gotta add the ice and more of the resin, and we should be pretty good to go here. Let me get that out of the way. Got so much stuff just laying around. I need to clean up a little bit. Alright, I think that'll be good. So we'll take this top off. You can see the straw is pretty sturdy. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of our ice. I guess I should have added in the resin first. Actually, that might be too much ice. I don't know if I'll be able to close this. Actually, I think I can close it, so we're good. All right, so let's try to get some orange soda in here. So we're definitely gonna need to wait for it to kind of drip down just because of the way I did it. So we might, maybe not even, whoop. Great, good job. Um, we might not even be able to cure it right away, just depending on how long it's going to take to settle. Okay, let's see. It's already starting to settle pretty quickly. It looks so good. I mean, if I move this around, 
Eh, it doesn't really help. <laughs> I was thinking it would help. Um, I'm done adding ice though, so I can set the ice off to the side and we're pretty good. Um, just need to wait for it to settle. I mean, I could just leave it as is and just put the top on and wait, but I want it to be as full as it can be. So it looks really good though. Really tasty. I'm going to set my extra orange soda off to the side so you can see there's like a few spaces that probably need some more. Actually, that's like the only one. Do I dare use my, I think I'll use my tongs because my popsicle stick's a little, little, uh, occupied right now. Actually, actually it looks great. And I love the bubbles. We should have added more bubbles because of, you know, carbonation. All right, let's go ahead and put this on. All right, and then we'll cure it. Because it is an orange soda. So we really needed more bubbles. <laughs> Figures. I didn't really think about that until just now, but it's fine. It's all right. I'm pretty excited for this one. This looks really good. You can see. I'll just give you a quick look at it before I finish curing it because it might take a minute. But that's it. That's the look. I like the ice. I like the bubbles. I think it looks fantastic. Well, we have that curing in the back. Let's get out our next item. This one seems pretty large. Oh. We've got the other Petty Force. <laughs> These ones are really cute. Um, I have opened them before. They have little flowers on them. Like you can put little flowers on them. I'm going to get the recipe card before I forget. You can see it's super cute. I did this super basic. I like to put... Oh, this mat's really cool. Um, I like to put just a dollop of the resin on it because I like the... Um, I don't want the, the, the resin to overpower what the little flowers have to offer so let me get this resin out and we'll try to do it a little differently from what i did last time if you guys saw that video but i'm gonna kind of try to follow somewhat similarness uh, let's go ahead and cut these out of here there we go and we've got all of our petty fours. So they are, I'll show you one second, they're like a pink and white cake. So like a vanilla and a strawberry maybe. And then we have all of these little like roses, daisies, little icing sugar flowers. Love it. Love it. All right, let me get this open somehow. This one is going to be a little tricky. There we go. So there we have it. I'm going to just do a little, should I get my table? Uh, probably should also get this. I need to cure this resin on here. I should just pick it off. Fun fact, you could work with parchment paper and it, it just peels right off after it cures. So we can just clean this piece of parchment paper off. <laughs> All right. So we can do like opposites or whatever, but I think I'm going to do the vanilla as the top, um, top cake just so it gives it that break since we have the like pink, what is this, pink glaze. Um, I'm gonna dump these flowers out. All right, we're gonna do basic single flowers on each one. So I'm not sure how I should do this because I want it to, to set, but also want to show you guys. Um, let's go ahead and do another. We'll do maybe the rose. I'm trying to do this so it's like not super thick on the top. Um, just thin enough so that we can stick something on there. Like that. And then it's not even focusing for us. There we go. Can it, yeah, there we go. It's starting to focus now. But you could just see the icing details on this. Like this was made with a the piping bag kind of thing, you know? Ugh, I love it so pretty let me put that up there and then oh i was gonna say we don't have three left we have four <laughs> couldn't find the fourth one all right let's do another one so i really like the daisies and the roses they're beautiful stunning goddesses but i don't like the um these ones with the orange i don't know they just don't fit the vibe in my opinion <laughs> 
Uh, but let's go ahead and get this next one done. Cool. And then this one can get a rose. Perfect. This rose, these roses are pretty thick though, so I feel like I need to cure those pretty quickly. All right, so I have one more white daisy without the orange daisy, and then one. Should I just do? I'm just gonna do two with the orange daisy, even though I don't love them. It's still nice to kind of do something different, you know. Especially since I kind of already have a set that's how I like it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's put this here. Lovely. I'm going to cure this. So we have two of each and that leaves us just leftover wise with one of the roses and one of the just plain daisies. All right, let me put this dollop on here and then we'll be good to put our last decoration on and cure it. All right, and then of course, like I said, we have the two left over put those in my leftover ingredients bag and we'll just let this cure. This shouldn't take too long since it's a pretty pretty uh, basic layer. Um, but we're almost, we're almost there. And then we'll put them on the display like we did with the, the Choco Raspberry ones which are looking way better back there in the light. You guys can't see them because the camera's facing down this way. but looking way better <laughs> all right so we should be pretty cured right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and put these along here hold on um, hold on I want to kind of do this somewhat in an organized fashion oh gosh here we go ready oh sorry my hands have resin on them, so I'm sticking to everything. But here we go. This is the look. They're so cute. I love them. I'm obsessed with all of these. All right. Ta-da. Oh, gosh. Let me bring this in also. Got all the papers. Let's see what we have. We've got... A big bottle of Raz. Oh, is this one of the squishies? I've been wanting to see these. These look cool. I haven't seen anybody make them or I haven't seen a preview of them. Like, I don't know if it's just ice or what, but it's a little slushy cup. Might just be, oh, okay. All right. I, I see you. I love these things. I used to make, no, I did kind of make a like I said, I made miniature food jewelry for as my as my primary business for a while back in the day, and I used those for snow cones. So, all right, we've got a straw. We've got the 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 ice, and we've got the blue fizz, which I probably should open first. Honestly, not blue fizz, but blue juice, blue blue stuff. All right. And then let me see if I can find it. I did. This is the recipe we're looking at. Blue Raz. Let me actually put this upside down and then we'll look at it. Blue Raz slushy. Cool. I'm so excited for this one. All right. I'm going to be very careful with this and I'm only going to cut like a little hole because these are so tiny and they do get everywhere. All right. So we're going to Pull this off of there, this over here, and I'm going to start squirting some of this in there. I'm going to set it on its side. Hopefully I don't forget about it. We're going to just pour a bunch of this in here. And then we'll mix it up with the, oh gosh, that was definitely way too much. Too much. Too much. But I'm still going to try working with it here. Oh gosh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. These these get everywhere and like, they're a little crazy but actually it didn't end up being too bad so I got it kind of mixed in down there and then I just need to add more on the top here and then we'll mix that around while we wait for more to kind of settle so yeah not too bad not too bad I did have a small a minor spillage that'll probably they'll probably all be there for the next 
like year, two years <laughs> all over my table and everything, but it's okay. It's all right, crafts. It's how we're having a fun time. All right, I'm gonna just add in those few more. I'm gonna set that over to the side and we'll still try to get it to mix up a little bit. I wonder if I should add more of this juice. I feel like I should, just a little bit anyway. Just all the way around. Like that, and then, oh gosh, that's too much. Oh, too much. Okay, so I would like to pop that bubble. There we go. This is good. And then we just put this top on. Is that on? I think so. All right, and then we cure. This was pretty pretty simple. I liked it. I definitely want to get it this to cure before I move it around too much. I feel like I need to straighten up the straw so I can't see it from the sides. Um, but that's really cool. I like how it says Sun Fizz Co. on the front. Definitely gives major slushy vibes. I'm super excited for this. But look at that. I like it better with the light shining through. <laughs> it looks really cool. But... Let's take a quick look at this. Here it is. You can see the slush in there. It just looks so good. I love it. I'm gonna actually set that back there and we're going to keep the light on it. All right, so time for the next one. All right, we've got ice, which I still have some leftover ice. So we should be able to reuse that. We've got the papers, we've got a drink, okay, and then, okay, something different, we've got grape, so this isn't the orange, this is the grape soda, um, let me grab the ice, and then we want to grab the straw from in here, possibly, potentially, there we are, I'll put that over there. And then we'll get the straw out of here so we're ready with it. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the last one where we kind of just go ahead and put some in the bottom and cure it and then come back and put the ice in. So something like this. That looks great to me. And then I'll just pull this over here. Oh wait. Whoa. That was a close one. That was a close one. Hold on. Hold on. We got to put the straw in. Um, let me try to get it centered like this. Good. Alright, so now we cure it. And we wait just a few moments for this to get a little solid. And then we'll add in the rest of the juice. Looks like it's already forming pretty well. Take that off. And uh, we'll add in the ice next. Actually, I don't think I have enough ice. I think I will need to open up the next bag of ice. Okay, let me get it. where to go. Got the next bag of ice. Let me get that open. And we shall sprinkle some in there. And then I'm actually going to do a layer here. Wait, it goes down faster. I'm like waiting around for that orange soda, you know? All right, we've got some going on in there, and then have some more ice on the top. And we definitely don't want to put too much because we want the uh, the lid to still go on. I think that might be good though. All right, let's see. Let's wait for this to drip down a little bit, and then see where we're at. Honestly, I love it without the top on it, but. I don't know. I also just don't know if I should always cure it with or without the top on it because it always gets on the side so it's, it just, I don't know. It's just a thing. It's, it's a thing. I'm going to try to, it's not really helping. I was going to say, I'm going to try to move that around. Uh, I'm just going to, do I have a little bit left? I don't really want to add more if I'm quite honest. So I'll just leave it at that. And then we'll let it kind of drip down because there's only this side that needs to drip down. Look at that. Tasty. Yeah, so just this side still has a big bubble in it. And then we're going to put the lid on like so. Look at that. It looks super tasty. I'm excited. I just need it to drip down that way, please. 
We'll just like let it sit. I'm not gonna cure it right now because it's not that important to cure. Um, but this is the goal, this is the look, minus the big bubble. And I'll just set that back there while I let that run. And then, pull out the next one. Oh, let me put the recipe card away. We've got, oh snap, this has got to be the chocolate covered strawberry one. This is going to be so epic. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be great, whatever it is. Uh, let's get the chocolate out. Do I have, I have a chocolate. I don't know if it's the same chocolate. I don't think it is. So I'm just going to open, reopen this chocolate. Oh, is it white chocolate? Okay. And we have a spoon, so that might help. It help. It might aid us in the application process. And then we have a tray. Do we have any like paper? No, I thought it would come with paper. We're definitely gonna have to either use this or something. All right, let's pull out which one it is. It's the red strawberries, so I believe it's this one, the choco dipped strawberries. So yeah, let's. Get the strawberries open. I'm gonna try to cut them here, and we'll take the top off. And it's in this. Oh no! I just dropped the strawberries. Um, they're in this cute, really cute crate. It's like, you know, it's plastic, but it's made to look like a wooden crate. It's brilliant. I love it. All right, let's get this open. All right. It is white chocolate. What? But that's so weird. I didn't think maybe these are the strawberries. I guess they just look lighter in strawberry color. Yeah, this makes more sense because it has the yellow thing. But we have the white colored, white, white choco dip strawberries. So this is what I'm doing. I'm literally just going to dip them like this and cure them like that. Oh gosh, I have the resin top stuck to my arm. Okay. But yeah, something like this. And I think this would be cool to do when you have both sets so you can do cute little designs on your strawberries. I actually have... Do I? Yeah, I have some chocolate syrup and stuff. So we could do something crazy. I don't know if that's what we should do. Oh gosh, crazy. I don't know. Should I do all of the strawberries? I feel like... I feel like I need to do all of the strawberries, but I don't want to do them all the same. Okay, let's see. Oh, I just dropped it literally in here, so I'm gonna redo that. How about that? Of all places to drop it, I drop it right back in the resin thing. But anyway, um, this I think is the best way to do it. Otherwise, you could like use a piece of parchment paper and do it that way. But this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. So I have this chocolate syrup, right? Oh no, this isn't gonna work. This isn't, this is not, this is not how I planned it. Oh gosh. Yeah, no, this is not. <laughs> I was gonna do cute little lines on it or something, but it's not, that's not what, nope. Mm -mm. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad though. But let's get that cured. I think I'm just gonna stick to the white chocolate dip and honestly, I think if you did multiple dips, like two coats or whatever, it would look even better. Now you can just set these down on your tray too, and then they they'll be they'll be there forever. Um, <laughs> they're gonna cure there. But let's see. Um, let's get this next one. Oh gosh. Also, like. Did I cure the resin accidentally? I think I did. Gosh dang it. <laughs> what do I do? How did I do that? Hold on. Let's, oh, I have cheese all over my popsicle stick. I'm having a hard time. Yeah, I got, a. Uh, I accidentally cured the resin. So that's why we gotta be careful with the tubs. Um, but luckily we should still be able to use this. Yeah, it's still good. All right, so next up. I lost the strawberry that I was just using. Where did I put that? <laughs> I literally lost it. Um, but spooning it on definitely seems better. Definitely seems more um, <laughs> like I'm in control. Uh, we definitely want to stay away from this tub of resin. Oh my gosh. 
How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to make all of these and then I'll come back because there are two, four, six, seven more. And I can't really show it on camera unless I put the tub of resin all the way at the back. But it's pretty much the same, so we'll just I'll just be back. All right, here's the deal, guys. I didn't do all of them. I have three left over. That's because I kind of want to do some designs and stuff on those. Just there's so many of them. So I just decided to do these six, two, four, six. Um, spooning it on definitely is better. I also tried just a chocolate one. I do realize that we may get the chocolate strawberry one and have chocolate, but I just wanted to do it for funsies. All right, that one, oh gosh, oh gosh, hold on. I had a spillage. All right, this guy is not, is not uh, fully cured, so, but that's okay. I did set her on the, the table. I did like a little test. I don't like it as much, but it does kind of look nice. Especially if you're just going to display it and not take them off because you can see it has that nice little puddle of, oh sorry, the little puddle of resin right there. So that's cool. Um, but I'm going to just set her off to the side. And then this is our final look. They look delicious. I'm excited for them. Also, we should go back and check on our grape soda. It looks like, yep, the, the hole has filled in. So it is time to cure her. But we'll just let that happen in the background and I need to clean up my resin mess. While all of that is curing back there or just really just the grape soda, we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, we've got Pico de Gallo. So this is either gonna be a new one or I don't know if the other nachos, whoop, oh gosh. I think this is definitely the other nacho. I didn't think it had Pico de Gallo for some reason. I thought it had something else, but <laughs> we, kind of know what we're doing maybe a little bit. We got cheese um, and then we've got the blue corn nacho chips. We honestly always get these. They're so delicious. Uh, but there they go. There they are. This one has a little cheese bowl in the center. I kind of like that idea. I think we're going to go with that. Do we mix the nachos like we did last time? I really liked it. So I think that's a move, but also I really want to utilize, like, show off the color of the chips. So, what's the move? What's the move? I think we will. Whoops, that's all of them. I don't want to use all of them in case I need some more. Um, we'll go with that to start. Do we have leftover cheese? No. I thought we had leftover cheese for a second. Oh, oh goodness. I do want to make the cheese bowl first, you know, in case something goes wrong and I don't have any more cheese or, you know, whatever the case may be. I do have my cheese stick here. I feel like it's a good, a good stick. It's, just, it's been used for cheese a lot today. Um, let's get this one. And I think that'll do it. Like, I think that's a really solid cheese bowl. Oh my gosh, there's a dog hair in it. And that's on having lots of animals. All right, I'm gonna put that in the center and do I cure it? Probably. Let me uh, not cure the cheese, but I'm just gonna maybe cure the top of it so that we don't have incidents later. Like, I don't know if I sprinkle the pico de gallo on it or something, it's just, I don't know. But anyway, just gonna make that good and somewhat solid. All right, so let's get some cheese for our chips here. So we're gonna do the same thing and mix them like we did with the other chips. I think this will make them look really good and obviously it helps with the stickage. <laughs> also, should I put, and I think I'll just sprinkle the pico de gallo on the top. I was thinking like, maybe I should, but nah, I think we're good. Um, I think this is pretty good too. I think just doing it very sloppily essentially and then we'll come back and put more cheese on and the pico de gallo like that oh yeah we're experts now guys experts oh no 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 <laughs> i spoke too soon oh gosh we are not experts okay sorry oh no <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm dropping it all right uh, we are not experts anymore. We are no longer experts. 
Oh my gosh, how did that, that just all go downhill so quickly? All right, we might need to add more chips in. Uh, we do have this little, whoop, little stack here. I kind of want to spread out a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's going to want to. So we have a little section left. We're going to want to get some more cheese and a couple more chips. We don't need anything too much. Like three is fine. And we'll go ahead and just start cheesing them up <laughs> like that. And I think they're good to set on here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Looks great. Now I do feel like I need to cure this. Is it the right move? I don't know. But, <laughs> oh gosh, I don't want to cure that onto my table. I have a big glob of resin on the table. Definitely recommend putting something down. I usually do and I haven't done that. And I think I'm going to actually bring in some paper towels now. It's better late than never. You know what I mean? I have made it this long without ruining my table and I don't think I know a way of getting resin off of things. I think once it cures, it cures. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset up a little bit. Just 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 give me a minute. This definitely makes me feel a lot better. Okay. So I'm done with the cheese bowl. I think this is somewhat cured a little bit and then we're just gonna go in and we're gonna add cheese on top of these I realize it's like a cheese dip platter but <laughs> we're gonna add the cheese on because we have some pico de gallo that we've got to add on and honestly I don't know how this is gonna go wait I have open pico de gallo aha this was the pico de gallo that spilled it <laughs> all right we're gonna sprinkle it on Lots, not lots. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. That perfect. That's on our pico de gallo. Like that. I feel like I might want to go over it with cheese again, but honestly, we're good. We're good. This is the final look. I have had enough with that. <laughs> we had enough of the craziness. Um, I have lots of leftover cheese now, so for my mac and cheese in the future. But I'm really excited for these nachos. I think I do like the other ones better though. I love blue corn chips, but just like looking at it, you don't get that nacho vibe right away, right off the bat, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Anyway, let's open up the next one. We've got a mason jar type deal. What is this going to be? I'm guessing a drink of some sort. Maybe, ooh, maybe the root beer float or something. <gasps> French vanilla ice cream. Please be the root beer float. I have been just aching to get that one. I need it so badly. And we've got, no, we got orange juice. What is this? I don't even know. Um, oh, okay. There's a creamsicle float. That's right. Okay. So we didn't get the root beer, but also okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just empty this into here. Bring back my table so you guys can see a little bit better. We gotta get the straw out. So we definitely don't want the ice cream to sink. <laughs> so I'm gonna do, uh, I don't know about the straw either. We always run into problems with the straws and the ice cream and the whipped cream and all of that stuff. We've got four scoops of ice cream. I really only think we'll need one. Um, just looking at the size of this. So we'll just keep one. And I'm going to probably put the straw in and then cure it and then go from there. So I'm just trying to get this all to come out right now. I'm going to need to leave this on upside down. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to pop some of these big resin bubbles. And then we'll go ahead and cure it with the straw in it. We gotta size it up with the ice cream scoop. I think, I think this should be okay if we did this. It should still fit. We are taking taking this risk. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I hope. Oh gosh, everybody, fingers crossed. But for real, it should be okay. Um, we'll just we'll just make do. We'll balance it weirdly on top if we need to. I mean, it's just one ice cream scoop. It's definitely skinnier than the whipped cream. So, all right, we're getting there slowly. 
Oh my, oh my. Hopefully we have enough to fill up this cup. Let's try it. I also probably don't want to go all the way up to the top just yet. Gosh, I hope we have enough that will bring us up. I mean, I could potentially bring in the cheese and we could, we could add in the cheese. Definitely be weird that way, but you know, hey, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. All right, so we're gonna let this ah, I'm gonna let this kind of sit on its on its top again. Um, I'm getting concerned that it's not gonna fill all the way. I don't think I have any other ones. Well, no, no, no. I have this orange juice. Does it have any in it though? Is the real question. This was from the orange soda, so we might ah yes, ha, perfect. All right, so that'll at least get us to mostly the top and then we can kind of do what we need to do. We could even put, since it's a creamsicle float, we can put some vanilla cream on the top. Ooh, I like that idea. Should we do it? I kind of want to do it. Should we do it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, guys. We're going to cure this first, though, and then we're going to bring out this vanilla cream that we were using for the the what was it the macarons uh, so we'll use that and this is gonna be really epic I'm gonna love it okay I hope <laughs> famous last words so this is definitely a modification everybody don't don't think this is, actually comes with it um, so we're gonna just plop some dollops of cream in here oh gosh this is this is it this is gonna make it so much better yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it's orange creamsicle. It makes sense. Alright, let's get some around the straw over here. Yes. Yes. And then I'm definitely going to put the, uh... Oh gosh, I forgot I cured this accidentally. Well, I cured everything accidentally, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, um... I wanted to kind of have the like a little bit of whipped cream texture all right so I think that's it I think this is actually empty too so maybe I should get rid of it um, but we're gonna stick our little ice cream on top now of course it doesn't stinking fit what I thought I measured it you know what that's fine I like it and that's it and that's on the orange creamsicle <laughs> ice cream thing float Orange creamsicle float. I really do think that white on the top really made it. It looks really delicious and I'm hungry. Might need to take a food break here. But let's take a look see at it. This is it. It looks really good. I do like it a lot. All right, so I'll put that back there. And what are we gonna have next? Oh gosh, we have four left, including this one I just popped open. And we've got Oh, the ABCs! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this. Oh my gosh, the resin's in a little soup can. I'm sorry, but what? This is so cute. All right. And then we have the bowl. All right, we gotta get our spoon. I'm gonna probably do this the same way I did the cereal and get a little obsessive over it, but that's okay. That's what we're here for, buddy. All right, let's put this up there. And we've got the bowl. And we've got, we gotta get the resin open. This is cool. I really like this resin top. This is neat. Um, so it is just a soup can shape. And then I'm gonna do same deal as before. As we're just gonna kind of pour some in here. Just like that. Not Nothing too much, you know? Just a simple, simple little pour. And we'll go ahead and cure that. And we do need to get our pastas out. I just, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. All right, hold on. Let's get, there we go. Get our little pastas open. Oh my goodness, no. What? Look at those. And then we could like customize it and spell something, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that great. I could, I could like put my name. Oh my gosh, no, we shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> Oh, but we should. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle some in here so that we have like our first little layer, right? 
and then I'll go ahead and pour some of this on. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. I love this. I'm obsessed. All right. Um, I think I should, should I tilt the camera down? No, it's fine. It's fine. Also my dog, I'm pretty sure is snoring slash dreaming. So if you, you see or hear her or hear any weird noises, that's what that is. All right. I'm loving this so far. I'm going to add in a few more letters and then I'm actually going to cure this layer because it's just looking really good. I think I'm just going to, I could spell something. I could, but I think I'm just going to not. <laughs> I think I'm going to just, just let it go. I do want to make sure I get the spoon in here though. So I'm a little concerned about that. I'm going to probably forget. So I really need to put that in front of my face. All right. Look at this. It's so good. Okay, um, let's get another layer on here. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Alright, so let's sprinkle some random letters in there. Okay. Get them on the sides. And over here, because we'll probably mix these ones up a little bit with the spoon just so we have get the spoon set in here and then I'll probably do the same thing as I did the cereal where I will um, cure this with the spoon and then come back and just do like a light I don't know though this looks really good as is I might not come back over it I might just add in a few more letters here that and that and one over here just kind of put them in the empty spaces I honestly like this this is pretty good this is this is pretty solid kind of want to put a B over here I haven't seen a T oh I got a T my initials um, and then maybe one more in this weird empty space all right I'm liking it I'm liking it so now where do I put my spoon I guess I can put it here oh no I like that. I feel like it needs to be deeper. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I didn't know if I like it. Um, let me put an, an M or W or whatever that is over here. I don't know. Do I put the spoon in? I kind of like it without the spoon. I think I'm going to do it without the spoon. I'm going to do it. I could even do a pour. Like a... a frozen moments thing. Oh, I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm torn. I have to make a decision though. Hmm. I think we'll just, we're just gonna, maybe, no, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in like here, like that. Yep. Done. This is it. This is the moment. This is it. <laughs> We're freezing it. And then I might, I could put a little more uh, soup on the spoon just so it looks a little more full because it didn't get to go down deep because I ended up curing it. That was my bad. I kind of knew that though going into it. All right, so I might go ahead and should I? It's it's a fine line. It's a fine line. If I had like a little spoon, I do have leftover spoons, so I'll just put a little bit on there. Let's just do that. I have this leftover spoon. We're gonna go ahead and grab a little bit. We're going to put some up here, like that, and cure that. And we'll see what it looks like. We could put a letter on it, too. It's fine. It's fine without the letter. Okay. I think we did it. I think that is it. Voila. There it is. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And then this was the recipe card, the alphabet soup. Uh -huh. Look, they did ABC on the spoon. It's so cute. This was really good. I like this one. I love the different resin container for this one. This looked amazing. And then I do have some exposed ones. I feel like I should maybe, maybe think about it and like go over it just slightly with some of the soup on this little mini spoon. I think that would be really good. Especially these ones that have holes. Like the bees, the the D's, the O's, the Q's, whatever. Just so we have like a nice glossy finish. 
I think it's a good move. Good that. All right, we did it. That was a nice final touch on that, and then we'll cure this for like a few seconds. And I gotta clean up my little alphabet letters, and then we can move on to the next one. So we only have three left in this series, and then we'll be moving on to the lifestyle ones. Okay, let's see. I really, really, really want to see one of the popcorns so badly. Oh, is this a root beer float? Is this a root beer float? <laughs> is this? Is this it? I mean, yes, that's one I want. All right, we have French vanilla. This is a different container than the creamsicle one, so I say yes? Question mark. We've got whipped cream, okay, and then what do we got in here? What is this? Cherry. It's cherry. Um, okay, again, not the root beer float. <laughs> Darn it, but it's the cherry vanilla float, so this looks fun. Uh, pretty much just like the other one we just did, though, so let's get our straw we got to be very careful with the straw placements on these things all right we're gonna start by filling up this but hopefully there's enough for this one unlike the orange one where there is definitely not enough um, we'll go ahead and pop out one ice cream because there's not gonna be enough for all the ice creams and straws and whipped cream <laughs> all right let's get the straw out and then the whipped cream we need to get that out of here. Okay, cool. Got it. And then we just need one. There's three in here, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pack this full. It's just simply not gonna work. Okay. So we're now going to empty our cherry stuff into this jar. And honestly, I kind of want to just wait for it to all come out because this is all I could squeeze out right now. <laughs> I swear, if this is all that's in here, I'm going to be mad because I don't have any red. We have the leftover for the ketchup, which could work. And we have the leftover from the tomato soup, or sorry, the alphabet soup. So there's those options. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a little different. We have our ingredients for there and the recipe. Oh, here's a letter for alphabet soup. I'm gonna open up another one, okay? And we're just gonna let that sit and we're gonna let it drain out and then we'll revisit it just because it might take a minute. <gasps> oh, is this the root beer float? No, it isn't, no, it isn't. Oh my gosh, we got old fashioned vanilla ice cream. Okay, I'm sorry, what? This is so exciting. So let's go and get get this out oh this is this is such a good day all right now if only the last one we have one more left after this if only this last one would be popcorn then i would have gotten all the ones i wanted although i didn't get the pretzels which would have been really nice to get too but it's okay we'll we'll open them another day hopefully fingers crossed all right so we're gonna do the same thing and let this sit and pull out this vanilla i think it's the same exact vanilla well, it looks a little whiter. All right, so we'll put the vanilla away. And let me get the recipe card. I'm very happy I got the, the root beer float, though. Oh, actually, actually, let's do this what they did. They stacked their vanilla ice creams in there. Maybe that's what everybody was doing, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so we'll do two more. I don't think four will fit, but maybe. If it does, then we'll have to pull it back out. Um, so let me start by placing one in there and oh gosh no it's not gonna go well is it let's try I'm trying to get it on its flat oh no come on um how can I do this um maybe I do something like this yeah that worked okay so now we'll go ahead and put in our first well we did have it all settled at the bottom but then plans change so let's get the straw out for this one that way we have it low-key don't even want to put a straw in it though I like them without the straws <laughs> all right we've got the straw out got everything let's maybe revisit this one this cherry one I think that's the issue here is like we were supposed to stack the ice creams in there 
thinking that's the problem here. So let's maybe get another ice cream. This is going to go in weird. Actually, that went in nicely. And then we'll stick it down at the bottom like so. Yes. So it's in there. And then we're going to get another one. Yeah, this is probably what we were supposed to do the whole time. Whoops. Um, let me maybe get the straw in here. Like that. And then, that's the wrong ice cream. Did I lose the ice cream? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> and then we'll have this one on top like that. All right, I probably should cure that before it sinks. Um, but yeah, there we go. We have the cherry one mostly. I gotta get the a little dollop of whipped cream on top, which do I have? I don't think I have a white cream. No, I lied, I do. I do. I have a leftover white cream here, so I'll just use that to get the dollop of whipped cream on the top. Let me get rid of this cherry stuff, and then we'll go ahead and do just like boop, 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 boop. And then I'll go ahead and put that on like that, and then we'll cure that. All right, perfect. Looking fantastic. Now I don't want, we'll, we'll do a, bit, a, re a reveal of that at the end, but I want to move on to this here this um, root beer float. So now that we have, oh, come on, is the ice cream really stuck? <laughs> the ice cream is stuck there. There's like none in here, what the heck? All right, well, let's put that at the bottom. This is not as transparent as it looks on the, on here. Why is it that everything has been transparent? Like the ketchup was transparent. This one doesn't even look transparent. Like what the heck is going on? what all right what i'm gonna do i guess is same thing i've done with most of them is just keep this sitting upside down while we kind of do something else <laughs> while we wait for it to sink down i'm gonna put this ice cream plop that down in there so we have that second one but uh, we're just waiting for more resin, honestly, at this point to kind of seep down. So let's take a look at this ice cream float, the cherry, cherry vanilla float. It looks really good. You can definitely see the ice creams in there, so that makes it a lot better. So now I feel bad for not doing that with the creamsicle one, but it's okay. We learned. We're going to move on and do better. Now we do have one last one. I'm just going to open it while we wait for that root beer float stuff to do its thing. Um, let's open this first. Oh my gosh, what have we got here? We got a cutting board? Maybe? It's a little teeny bowl. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's the pretzels. This is actually a really good last one for us to have. I mean, it's not the popcorn like I wanted because there were two options for popcorn. Um, literally we'll be missing. I'll just, I'll go through what we'd be missing in a minute. But we've got two pretzels. And I'm not sure what we're doing with these pretzels yet. We got a little itty bitty bowl. I'm guessing cheese, maybe? Mustard? What do people normally put on pretzels? I like to eat plain pretzels. Okay, we have mustard, which, fun fact, I have an open mustard. Nice. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tilt this upside down so that we can do something with it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm putting it on the must on the on the thing there's salt so i feel like uh, what i don't know what to do because how are we going to stick the salt on there and the only way i'd be able to stick the salt on is if i do the mustard but i don't want to do like mustard all over it i'm torn now but either way let's fill this bowl up with our mustard slash cheese looks like both all right and then i'm going to actually cure that and then we might want to revisit our root beer float. I have a lot going on, I know. It was it was ambitious. Um, it was better when I had multiple drinks going on. Now I have a whole activity. But yeah, I don't know what I want to do with the salt now. I kind of want to do like a glaze. Do we have a glaze that I could use? We have, I don't think we have anything transparent that I have that we could use. I just have vanillas, I have chocolates, I have the alphabet soup one, I have the ketchup. I have um, apple pie stuff. I have I have the ramen soup from from before. 
but I don't have any leftover glaze glaze. I'm going to set that over there. Hopefully I don't forget about it. I'm going to put this over there too so that we have it. Um, but let's bring this back. Oh no, no, no. Let's bring this back and see if I can get more root beer out of this thing. There's literally like none. This is kind of bad. <laughs> I'm doing something, something different. We don't have enough, but this, this chocolate could potentially be the wrong color. It is. It's definitely the wrong color, but we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're doing it because there is none left in this root beer bottle. There was just not enough. Um, I could probably squeeze out a little bit more. I mean, I'll probably still squeeze out a little bit more, but this actually might not be a bad deal to just have over top of the ice cream. I don't know. I don't even like this straw. <laughs> I mean, I was so excited for this root beer float, but it is just not it. It's not it. Like, it's, it's quite terrible, actually. <laughs> I'm not saying the root beer float itself is terrible. I'm just saying, like, I don't like it. Um, I guess I'll keep the straw in it. It just looks... I'm taking the straw out, actually. I don't want the straw. Um, and then I'm going to squeeze whatever I have left on top here which isn't much there that's all we've got I actually kind of like the two different browns it makes it look a little bit more like the picture so I'm not gonna cure this I'm actually gonna let this set simmer do its thing I'll cure it eventually but just not now um, so anyway pretzels uh, I haven't decided what I want to do with the pretzels uh, let's get my parchment out oh I still have the strawberry on my parchment um, uh, what do I do? I mean, like I said, I have the ramen stuff and I think that was kind of like see-through yellowish. I don't know. This is about to be super messy, whatever is going to happen. I actually have an idea. I have an idea. So we put a little of this in here, right? Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. This is actually going to work. I have like a big sun ray coming in. Don't, don't mind the sun ray. <laughs> but... Let me tilt this upside down and get this salt open. So we've got little itty bitty salt, like it literally looks like salt. It's really great. I'm gonna put it in here with this little itty bitty bit of ramen broth. Okay. And I'm actually gonna just use this spoon which has a little bit of alphabet soup on it. And we're gonna mix it together. So it is a brown, so it'll kind of look like it's meant to be, I think. I don't know. Oh gosh, that was like the whole entire salt jar. Oh man, I don't think we need that much salt. <laughs> My bad. That was probably way too much, so I'm going to need to add a little bit more ramen. Where did the... Where did... Where did I put the, the bottle of ramen? It's gone. Oh, got it. So yeah, I think I need to add a little bit more of this just because of what just happened. I dumped the whole entire salt bottle out because we don't need that much for pretzels. So we'll do that. Here we go. We got a little bit coming out. Yeah, I think this is the move because um, it's brown and it looks like it. Like I'm, I'm fine with dipping, dipping half my pretzel in the mustard slash cheese, but I just don't think covering the entire thing and like I won't be able to see the pretzel very well and I'm not happy about that. All right, so we're starting to get there. Maybe a couple more. Honestly, I could have just spread this on there too. It would have been fine. Well, anyway, let's uh see how this goes. Oh gosh. <laughs> that actually doesn't look bad. I like it. I like it. I like what we've got going on. And I'll definitely cure this. All right, let me uh, let me cure this so that I can um, do the other side. Oh my goodness! I've been working all day. I never film this late. That's why there's a big just big sunbeam coming in. But hey, it is what it is, and we're working with it. So got that side kind of done. This is actually genius. How did I come up with this? I don't know, but I love it. Look at that, that looks so good. Hold on, it's not showing. Looks great, it's fantastic. I'm gonna do the other 
the other pretzel. So we do have just a ton of salt <laughs> left over, but that was my bad. I didn't mean to make that much salt in the first place. Uh, but here are our pretzels. They just look so good. Okay, I think I, I don't remember if I cured them or not. But I also still have this random strawberry. I really need to do something with. <laughs> Gotta go put them all the strawberry tray back there. But here's the pretzel look. They look so good, you guys. Oh, all right. And then it's time to bring in the pretzels with the board. And we've got the little cheese sauce dip. Oh, look at that. Stunning. Love it. Brilliant. And then the last one, well, coming back to this one. <laughs> we It looks a little bit better. I'm not going to lie. Um, I like it without the straw. And I'm just going to go ahead and cure this. And we're going to call it. I like how it sank. And it has like a little bit of that dark color. You can see, I think that, that chocolate syrup I thought was a mistake, but it ended up being pretty nice. That, that was really good. That was a good move. All right. So we, we've solved all of the problems. Now, um, it's going to be lifestyle time soon. That's crazy to think about. We're on our last, last, <laughs> last series. We've made so many foods. This was technically, I guess this is it for the foods though. You know, the lifestyle ones are all gonna be candles, plants, and, and critters. And this was the, these were the last foods we made. I'm glad we went out with a bang with the pretzels and we got that alphabet soup. Everything just ended up going perfectly. Here is the final look for the float. I really like, I'm glad I took the straw out, honestly. I wish this would have been a little less up here, but it's fine, it's okay. I think it looks good. Just as a recap, these are the ones we did not find, the chocolate dipped strawberries, caramel popcorn, unicorn popcorn, or the cherry slushy. Here are all of our creations from series two. Let me know your favorite in the comments down below. I'm going to say the, oh gosh, the alphabet soup, the pretzels, the nachos, they were all so good. But let me know your favorite. We're about to move on to the lifestyle series, so let's go. All right, you guys, we have made it. We've made it, save the best for last. We have the Make It Mini Lifestyle Series 1 to open up. We have 20 of these, I believe 20. I am so excited. I am after all of the little critter ones. There's fish and I think there's turtles. I don't think there's any other creatures, but we'll take a look at the checklist. There's also plants and candles, which are also awesome, but I'm definitely after more so the critters. But let's go ahead and get the this open. This is, of course, just like the rest of them, this is our only one that we are going to be unboxing. The rest of them are open. And then, of course, we're facing like different capsules. Um, <laughs> these ones are little shelves, so we should be able to display our little creations in those, but we don't have a table to build them on, so I might, might, might pull in the table from the previous series, but we'll see. We shall see. Let's see what's in our first one. Well, actually, let's take a look at the checklist first. Looks like we've got a plant one to start, but we've got the papers and the checklist, so let's look at this first, of course. Um, of course, we have the recipes on the back. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to do both rows at a time. We have the garden rose candles and the lemon tree candles, the fresh eucalyptus candles and birthday cake candles, the pumpkin spice candles, and the lavender fields candles. Then we have the red eared slider and the blue tang, the clownfish and the goldfish, the yellow bellied slider and the pink beta, the purple beta and the butterfly fish. Ooh. And then we have the plants. We have the succulent crepe, the paddle cactus, um, hens and chicks, the barrel cactus, aloe vera. Ooh, there's an aloe vera. Cactus twins, succulent pair number two, tall cactus, succulent pair number one, and hanging terrariums. So many fun ones. I can't, I honestly just want to get the full collection. All right, so for the shelf, you actually put this little stand on like so, and you gotta readjust the little actual shelf part, I believe. Hold on, let's see. We have tongs. 
We'll set the tongs off to the side. This shelf is really in there, but let's get this out. And then there's our shelf. So cool. You could take the back off too and just have one of those shelves, which I think I'm gonna do. Oops. All right. Let's see which one we have. We've got pebbles and potting mix. So of course we knew we were getting a plant. And let's see what we have here. We have this beautiful dish and we have this. Is this the aloe? Oh my gosh, I think this is the aloe vera, you guys. I'm so excited for this one. All right, let me get the little recipe card for her. Look at this. Oh yeah, so. Um, for the aloe, it's, it's the pebbles and then the potting soil on top. I did say I really, really wanted to mix, actually. No, I'll use this to mix. I want to try, I'm going to do a little experiment. So I don't need to do it to the pebbles, I don't believe. So these are all basically kinetic sand type situations. Like that's the equivalent to what I can describe it. Uh, we've got pebbles, but we're able to kind of mush it down and you know compact it so it's just like it's just like kinetic sand in my opinion um so we can push this down and kind of mold it to the bottom and like i said i mean we don't have resin or anything so what i want to do is for this one particularly i'm going to take the soil and add the resin in but i want to add some resin in and make it more permanent because these these plants i think that's what they're missing i really do all right let's see might be more than enough rock for the first layer but we're gonna push it down and compact it and see where we're at so I think it looks pretty good um, I want to make a little divot in the center so I can put our plant just like that um, what I might do is I'm gonna mix I, this could also go very wrong I don't think I'm gonna do this with every plant I might I don't know um, because I don't know how this is gonna go or whatever. But here's the bag of potting mix. It's again, the same type of kinetic sand type thing. Um, I don't have, I don't know, I have some stuff here. I feel like I need, I don't know what I need. <laughs> I need a mixing tool, uh, but I'm just gonna put in for this one specifically. I don't have a ton of leftover resin for uh, this project, so we're using what we got. All right, I've got a popsicle stick to mix this. Now, I don't know if I have enough to even make it work. I'm just mixing in what I can. Like I said, I can't, I don't think I'll be able to do this with all of the, the plants. So we're just gonna do this with maybe the first one and see how it goes, and then I might adjust the rest of them. I don't know. We can go for as long as my resin will last us. <laughs> as I got the mustard here, and we're gonna use that. But like I said, you know, all our leftovers mixed together, I don't think we'll make enough. But this is just, I don't know, I'm sure somebody else has done this already. All right, here we go. I think this is good. It kind of looks like browning batter. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it in. So I can't really, the problem is, like I can't really pack it down very well because it's sticky from being resiny. Um, but we're gonna, we're doing our best here. We're gonna see how this goes. I feel like this will work. We're definitely gonna need to figure out how to place the plant properly. I'm just not sure how that's gonna go. But so far, it seems to be good. I'll at least be able to secure the rock layer in there. I don't know. I think I got it. All right, let's put some last bit in here in the corner. And I think that'll do it, other than actually putting the plant in here. So I wanna kinda make a little divot. Oh gosh, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, make a little divot so you can see I made it. And then I guess I'll do a little dollop of resin just to kind of ensure that it has resin on it. And we'll go ahead and stick it in there like so and then there's like a big thing in there i want to get rid of okay so this is what it's looking like um where's my my flashlight so we're gonna try to cure this 
and see how durable it is. It might not be durable at all. It might be really good. I honestly, I could try. Wait, do I have a spoon or something? I have the tongs. Let's just, oh gosh, throwing everything around. I'm gonna sacrifice the tongs because I wanna try to get it packed around the base of this aloe vera because I could see, I could see the bottom of it. All right, now let's try curing it. So I really do feel pretty confident about this method. I think this will work very well. So any leftover resin you have can go right towards this. Um, like I said, I don't have a ton. I know it seems like I have a lot, but I've only saved two, four, six, seven-ish bottles. There are some I haven't opened yet too, so I could use those. But I, even so, I don't think I'll be able to have enough, depending on how many plants we get, but I don't think it'll be enough. So anyway, this, I think will work. And you can see how I didn't do it for the rocks. I think it'll be fine because the dirt layer, the potting soil layer will really secure it in. But let's see if this, I mean, this seems to be in there and it's not really coming out. So I think, I think I'm on to something, you guys. <laughs> All right, so that's cool. And then I'll just go ahead and put it on my shelf in the back. And I think I'll just save this because I might need it later. Uh, we have no more potting soil left. We have a little bit of rock left, so I'll take that. Oh, we have some rogue potting soil. But yeah, I think that was that was pretty cool. Oh, we had a shovel. Didn't realize that, we have a shovel. I'll put that over there. All right, let's go ahead and see what the next one has for us. Oh gosh, why did I do that? I didn't think that through at all. All right, let's get the shelf built. And then put that back there. Oh, the shelf went all the way through. All right, so we've got our checklist. We'll set over there. What do we got? I think we have candles. So this is probably a good time for me to bring over the table, I would think, you know, just to help us out. I think we were we were bound to have this table here sooner rather than later. All right, we've got this gold something. I don't know what to do with these little tissue papers. They're so good. I don't know. I don't want to just throw them out. But anyway, we got this gold little tray thing. I think we've got lavender. Oh gosh, the lavender one just because of the purple. That would be my best guess. So we've got more gold jars. Whoop, we got a little stuffing in there. And then here's what they look like. These are the candles for the candle jars. And then we have the wicks and sprinkles. Or, well, it's a scent. And then anything else? We have the little top for the lavender beeswax. I'm just gonna go ahead and open that right now and get started with that. Um, we'll just set that over here, so prop it up. Now we have the wicks, which I absolutely adore. They're in this little blister packaging. So we're gonna open this up. We've got two wicks, one for each candle. And this is what they look like. It's so stinking cute. And then what you do is you just put them in and then you'll trim them later. You could trim them beforehand if you wanted to, but I just trim them later. I wanna make these so that the tops, I hope the tops come off, the tops can still stick on them. So I don't wanna make them too tall. Like I don't wanna fill this all the way at the top. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick the wicks in here to start like so. And then we're going to fill up each one. How do they do it with the sprinkles? Which by the way, hold on. Here's the little card. So lavender fields candles. Um, we've got sprinkles kind of on the top there. Honestly, I like it without the sprinkles, but it is, it's fine, it's fine. Like I said, I want it to not be filled up all the way. Like that's probably pretty good. And then we'll do that here. Is that good? Is that about the same? I think I could do a little bit more in here. Oh, we got a bubble. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's see. It's about the same height. And maybe I could add a tiny bit more in here, depending. All right, that might be pushing it. All right, so I'm gonna cure that and then we'll come back with the, the lavender scents and we will add those in. So, oh gosh, I'm already spilling out of my, my resin top here. 
So we've got beautiful candles already, and then let's get these sprinkles open. I'm gonna actually just cut a little tiny, does that smell? Oh yeah, it does, it smells so much like lavender, so this is where the scent comes from, oh yeah. You gotta add in a tiny bit of, uh, I almost said wax, <laughs> of resin so that the lavender scent will stick. And then we'll go ahead and do a little sprinkly sprinkle. I don't want to, I don't think I want to go too crazy, but also like having a lot of scent in there would be really nice. I think I like it. It's good. There's like one with a few and then one with a lot. <laughs> I like it. I like the variation. And then we'll go ahead and cure those. All right. And then I could, ooh, I was going to say I could put more resin on top of them to make it look really sealed but then also you won't be able to smell it and it won't it just won't be 100 percent great i don't think uh but that's a good idea if it if you're not worried about the scent but this is cool i really like that those those are scented it smells delicious in here and then i want to make sure i'm going to dump this over a trash can when this is cured just to get all those extra sprinkles off Alright, so it only took a few of them off, but this is what we're looking like. And then what's going to happen is we are going to clip the wicks. So let's get this. And I kind of just do it right there at the jar. But now I'm thinking the lid won't go on now because of the wick. So it would have been better to trim that beforehand. So that's what it looks like. I could probably get down in there. I don't know. Oh yeah, actually that was that was pretty good. All right, let's try it on this one. All right, so I don't know if the the lids will go on all the way, but worth a shot, right? Let's see. Yep, it looks like they'll go on. Perfect. This one maybe not. This one does. <laughs> Why does this one not one go on? It might be the wrong lid for the wrong thing. Well, anyway, we want to display them, so we're gonna go with that <laughs> and. I will put this over on the table, but let's do one final look. I love the little setting piece. Actually, am I supposed to do it on the tray? Probably, so they don't fall off. <laughs> All right, so I have those, and we'll go ahead and put the lids just over there on the bottom shelf. All right, nice. All right, I'm gonna actually take the top off this time, and then take a little look, see at what we have, and then we'll move to the next layer. We got more candles. And we've got, well, there's papers, checklists. So we've got different candles, you can tell because of the, the colors. All right, let's get this shelf prepared. Go ahead and take the back half of the shelf off and put the shelf on. Oh, I thought that snapped in. There we go. So we got the shelf. And let's open this up. All right. We've got these fancy candle holders. So really you could, where'd it go? Oh no, ah, it rolled off the edge. All right, you could be fancy with it and you could do like this half filled with candle or this half. I'm gonna do the deeper half though. And we'll bring this over, see what else we have. We have scent, I guess we don't have scent for this one. We'll have to see what this is. I really like, seriously, there's like nothing here, right? It's just, just the tray and the wigs. I like this tray though. I'll go ahead and open up the wicks. The wicks are just my favorite. They're so cool. Oh my goodness, except for when they're stuck in there. All right, cool, got them. So we've got two wicks for in there. Oops, there we go. And then we've got rose wax. So we're gonna do the same, same thing. I'm actually gonna use this tip though because I'm fancy and I'm gonna reuse what I can. Actually, there's a little lid on there. I'm gonna reuse it just because I don't think there's any harm in that. Okay, so I should get the candle recipe. I have the birthday one, pumpkin spice one, here's the rose one. So this one's pretty simple. It's just beautiful pink candles and we're just gonna fill them up with the resin and we're gonna cure them. I love the tray though, like I said. 
a million times already now. This one does not want to come out, so we're going to have to wait it out and see. Uh, just wait it out. But it's looking great already. I can adjust the wicks a little bit. There we go. You could always hold these and kind of straighten them out a little bit because they are they are finicky. This one looks great though. Oh man, I got it at the top. It's fine. It'll make it look more well melty. One fun thing you could do is kind of drip some down the sides maybe at some point. If you have duplicates or if you want it to look that way really. Come on now. There is like none in here. Come on. <laughs> I should have set this upside down before. Let's see if there's anything I could do. I could just make like a little stool for it to set upside down. There's, I'm squeezing this as hard as I can. Oh gosh. We got some more out. It's a process, you guys. It's a process. Now, should I open another one? <laughs> like I did the last time and then have chaos going all at once. Yeah, this is, this is useless. Um, we'll just wait it out. We're gonna wait for it to kind of drip down. I'm gonna put it in the tray so we're good and I'm gonna set it off to the side. I feel like I should set it upside down in the glass, but alas, that will not work. I'm gonna just tilt it upside down over there and we're gonna open up another one while we kind of wait for that one. All right, so we've got a plant one. This one looks open already, which is interesting. All right, it looks like we've got something different. We've got, well, we got potting mix, sandy mix. So it's a cactus mix. And we've got the little tray, like succulent tray, I think, maybe possibly. Uh, let me get all of this out of here. All right, we've got the shelf. So let's get that prepared and ready. Ooh, I am just throwing things around. All right, we've got that, and then we'll put the feet on the shelf. And then we will put it over here. I'm already running out of room, I might need to. <laughs> Use more, um, need more space for the shelves. All right, so here are our succulents that we have. I believe, are these the ones for the, no, they're not the hanging terrarium ones, are they? They might be actually. I can't, oh no, they're not. Ooh, this one's really cool. This is the succulent pair number two. I love this one with the cat pot. <laughs> so, this one is fun, but also I I can mix more. I could mix I could mix more resin potting soil. Kind of want to, just so that they are all put together. These lids do not want to come off. All right, we've got what do we have here? Ooh, we have our kitty cat pot, and we have this more plain one. So I'll go ahead and put those in there. And maybe we could check on our resin over here for the candles and see if I can get any more out. There's literally none. There's nothing's coming out. What the heck? Oh man, that stinks. I hope I have enough. We're just gonna have to keep that in the background and hope for the best, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stick it in something because I need the container I was just using for the, the plants that I'm about to work on. I don't know what to do with this resin to stick it upside down. I need, maybe I should put the cap back on it. There we go. I think I got it, I think I got it. All right, so I'm gonna bring back this. Now it's gonna have different soil though, that's the problem. Um, it's fine, we're just gonna wing it. I know I said I was gonna do this with like one, but here I am. Maybe, maybe I do it with, I have another, another thing here. Go ahead and empty the soil in here. Yeah, so we got the sandy soil. And then, I don't know what color to use for this one. I've got pink, pink glaze. Just use that. And we'll mix that together and see how it goes. <laughs> now the, the it might be hard to cure it. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. We shall see. I probably could have filled it a little bit first and then did a little bit with resin. Probably would have been a little bit easier. 
it's fine though. So this is already really sticking together. Let me uh, get a little piece of it and then we'll stick it in the pot and kind of smish it down and then kind of make a hole in the center for it. And then I can't even put this guy in here. Does this guy go in here? Yeah, he goes in here. I guess we just need a lot more of this stuff. All right, so we'll stick it all, we'll go all the way to the top. Woo! All the way to the top, kind of make a hole. Should I not make a hole though? Because it is, it's short. I don't know. We'll see how this looks. And we go ahead and stuff it in like that. And then, where are my tongs at? Oh no, my tongs. We kind of use these to go in under it and smush it down. I like it, I like the idea. And then, like I said, this will be hard to cure though. Not sure how best to do it because you can't really get light in there. So it might not be a good move to do that. <laughs> That's probably why we don't have the resin for these ones. All right, we'll see how that goes. I don't think that's gonna, honestly don't think it's gonna do anything. But that's the one thing, like I really love the concept of the plants, but I just, maybe I'm not doing it right or what, but even when it's just without the resin, I don't love it because it doesn't stay and stick very well. But let me know what you guys think of the plant ones in the comments down below. I'm very curious if it's just me or or what. All right, so we got this little little guy here. This one will be so easy, so much easier to fill in with resin for sure. So we'll go ahead and smish all of this around. There's a little bit over here that we need to pat down. And then we can fill it in a little bit as well. Right there. And maybe some more. Seems like we have room for it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. This one will be much better. The cat one though, not so much. All right, so we'll go ahead and cure that. And let's see if the cat one did anything. I mean, it's kind of hard, but it's definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not where we need it to be. And since it's not solid resin, it's mixed with something, you need kind of a lot more resin for it to really help out. I don't know, it was worth a shot, you know? Maybe if I put it in the Miniverse oven, it'll work, but not sure. So we have those, whoops, goodness. Should I keep this? I should keep that running just in case. Um, what was I gonna say? I could pop this out. It's kind of stuck in there though. I should, I could cram a little bit more soil in there. Could. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I think I'm making it worse. I think I just made it way worse. Where'd my tongs go? I can stuff it in here. And I don't know. We got that. I don't know if the rose stuff is ready. Let's see, there's, oh, we've got some action. Let me put some more in this smaller one. Oh gosh, it's not that. I was sitting upside down for so long. All right, I don't know what to do with this rose one. He is not having it today. We'll just keep him sitting upside down. We'll keep this one on the back burner. But we did get this one mostly done. Just need to kind of wait for it to finish curing. I have lots of soil mixing happening over here. It's a lot, there's a lot going on. But we've got the tray, we've got our plant, number one anyway, plant number one, and then plant number two. They will need a little more curing. I think I'm gonna put them in the Miniverse kitchen, but for now I'm gonna just stick them on the shelf back here. And then we'll move on to the next one. Since we're still waiting for this candle situation, maybe I'll get another a duplicate or something. All right, oh, oh, it's an aquarium. No, it's not. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone, everybody. This is the moment we've been waiting for. All right, let's get this shelf up and running. I'm gonna take this off of here. Honestly, do I need all these shelves? I probably don't need to set up all these shelves. I'm gonna stop setting up shelves after this one. 
it'd be nice, but also I'm not, I'm just gonna need room, so it's not gonna be able to fit. Okay, got our final shelf up, and let's see what we've got. I'm gonna downgrade the candles over there, and we're going to unwrap this. So we've got our little tank, and we've got the water, and I'm gonna open up the water and take the little lid off. So this will be beneficial if we have leftover water, but we will need a lot for these, um, but it'll be beneficial for our potting soil ones. Uh, so anyway, let's see what we have. I don't know which one this is. Oh, this is a little clownfish. Shut up. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my gosh. And then I'm guessing we have like gravel. Yes. Oh, there's something else in here. And a little coral. Oh. Stop, I'm about to lose it. It's so stinking cute. Are you kidding me? So here is our little preview. Oh, so cute, fun, just not fun fact, but like just a tip, don't ever leave here. <laughs> don't ever have a clownfish in a bowl like this. It's very, um, not. you're not supposed to do that. Um, but this is so fun. Oh my gosh, here is the little bag of gravel. We've got very colorful gravel. It's made just like the kinetic sand as well. So you can see it's gonna stick and help us stick it down. Maybe, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should plant our plants and then add resin on top. But then it's like, I can't really reuse my old resin because we might, because of the color, you know? I don't know, I'm sure there's something we can do. All right, so I'm gonna just do a base layer here. I feel like that might be good. I don't think we need anything too extravagant. And we do need to pull out our little coral piece. Stop it, this is too much for me. Oh, this coral looks so good. All right, how are we gonna do this? Should we, maybe, maybe, I'll just stuff it in there. Should I just stuff it in there like that? And then we kind of like build around it. I need a, I need a popsicle stick. Oh, I do have extras. All right, let's stick this in here and then I'm gonna kind of like squish the gravel down around it. I don't think that's working. <laughs> I thought it would. I mean, I kind of just want it. You know what? That's good. That's good. Well, hold on. Maybe I need more gravel? Question mark. I don't know. It's not working for some reason. <laughs> I got like a lot of clumps. It's just not. Should I add more? I probably should add more gravel. I don't know, it looks fine, it's fine, it's fine. Can't get too picky. And then we have the little fish which is in this little container, like stop it. Like stop, how cute is this? All right, we've got a little clownfish. She's really in here, she's really in here. All right, oh, 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 where's my tongs? I need them. So we can go ahead and stick her in the, look at this, are you kidding me? We're gonna stick her in the gravel as well. So I'm gonna have her kinda, I'm gonna dig a little spot for her. And we'll stick her in. I might just use my fingers here. I might also end up messing up the coral, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and pound, what is this, tampering I think? Tamper some, some rock around the base of her so she looks like she's floating a little bit more, or swimming, I should say. I think that looks really good and it's time for the water. This is so exciting. I am so excited for this activity. All right, so I'm just gonna do like a, just a pour, just pouring. And you can definitely do this in layers too, but I just wanted to like definitely bury our friends. And I would like to not have bubbles, but I also realize that I don't have the tools. Um, fun fact, if you do not want bubbles in your little aquariums, get uh i used to use a little lighter it or a heat gun and if you do that it'll have all the bubbles raised to the surface and it's it's really nice actually okay i think we'll we will actually use all of this <laughs> all right we've got one bubble over there but i definitely can pop that one and then we've got one way down by our little clownfish but i kind of like it you know because bubbles coming from fish. It's cute. 
Uh, <laughs> but this is so exciting! I'm freaking out right now. This is the cutest. I want to get all of them and I'm going to have a whole little collection. This is amazing. All right, should I stop? Is this too much water in there? I feel like it should be. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good amount. I'm going to save whatever's left in here. It's not going to be much, but I'll save that for our potting soil. All right, I need to pop this bubble, which I'm going to use my whatever this is. And oh, there's a bubble coming up from the surface now too, or the, not the surface, coming to the surface. Because they do have a lot of air bubbles in the, the kinetic sand. Um, this bubble that was once on the clownfish is traveling. I'm getting a little too into getting these bubbles out and I don't, <laughs> oh, there comes another bubble. I think, unless I cure this like all 100% right now, it's not gonna, we're gonna have bubbles problems. So let's just go for it. Oh, I think we have another bubble coming to the surface. So right after this bubble, we'll go ahead and start curing it. There we go. Okay, we're curing it. Hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully, oh no, there's another bubble coming. No, stay, stay. You guys can't see it. I think we're gonna have to live with that bubble. We're gonna have to live with it. Oh no, it's a bad bubble too. No, oh, there's no way I'll be able to get that one. It's okay. Sometimes when you have a filter on your fish tank, <laughs> that's how it goes. But really doing it layer by layer, this is definitely ruining it. Look at all of these bubbles that we've got. I'm wondering if I can break through the surface. Probably not. Yeah, no, it is. It is on there. Like, this is just collecting all the bubbles. I wonder if we could just like sneaky snake it back here and not have it right in the front. I don't know. Oh no, why must it do this to me? We've got more bubbles. So yeah, um, <laughs> I thought it was too easy. We're definitely going to have a problem with the bubbles. Are you kidding me? I have a needle here. What if we just, I don't think we can. All right, you guys, I just spent the past 15 minutes trying to fix this. I made it worse. Um, so we're gonna just say this was a loss and I've learned my lesson and the next fish tank's gonna be amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. It just doesn't cure fast enough to catch those bubbles. So basically what we've gotta do next time is you know put the resin with the pebbles at the bottom and then dig spaces for the the accessories and then finish pouring. Um, it's just it's just not gonna work otherwise. <laughs> so you could see I ended up poking a hole. Um, I think you could see there's like a crack there. Poked a hole, tried to let all the air bubbles out, but there were just so many. And you could see there's even two in there um, right now, just floating around by the coral. So this is gonna take a minute to cure because it is so thick, but I think there's also like some stuff in there. I don't know, it looks really good if the air bubbles will stay in the back. Like I kinda wanna cure it so that they stay back there and you could just like look at it from the front and it looks pretty good still. But that's my, that's my uh, tip of the day. <laughs> we're still, I checked the resin for the roses and we're still uh, not good, so. I don't know what we're gonna do for that. Um, I think we're just gonna have to keep it in the back like that and then hope for the best. All right, I wanna see if these bubbles move. I think they're still moving. So, I don't know. Um, oh gosh, that one's definitely moving a lot. I'm trying to get it. You know what, let's just set that back there and it's gonna take a minute to cure. So we'll just leave it and we'll move on to the next one. So we technically have like three projects going on. Oh gosh, I opened this one. All right, so I'm putting the table off to the side. What do we got in here? I don't even know. Oh, we got another aquarium, goody, okay. <laughs> the stress of the aquarium for me. I'm so excited for them, but I'm also just so incredibly stressed out now. All right, so I don't need to, I'm not gonna do anything with the little capsule just yet. We're gonna do better this time. All right, what do we have? We have a little pink beta fish. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. 
All right, also, by the way, never put a betta fish in a bowl. It's bad for them. <laughs> Despite what pet stores may tell you. I worked in a pet store, I know what's up. Um, don't do it. All right, here we go. We've got the water, and I'm just gonna tilt it upside down. I love how full the waters are though. This is really, it's very helpful. We got the same shape, and we've got pink rocks this time with our pink beta. I feel like that's, it's fine, but also we needed the, the color that would separate the beta from the aquarium, I think. All right, let's get this all, at least a base layer in here. And then we'll add some resin and dig around and try to place everything. And I think I might use some of the leftover resin. All right. So first things first, I think I have, yep, have this. So we'll go ahead and dig just a tiny little hole because we have this beautiful plant to put in here. I just am obsessed with these. All right. Honestly, I'm thinking maybe we don't even cure the fish tanks until I'm like 100% certain all their bubbles are out. You know, we can wait till the very last to cure them. Uh, but this is a nice little flowy, floppy plant. And honestly, this one could probably just sit on top of the gravel and we don't need to really bury it. I don't think there's a need to because it, it, it is nice and it has a nice green base. So I'm just gonna, just gonna pop it in there like so. And then, and then we gotta get our little beta out of her cup. Whoop! there she is. Look at her in all her glory. She's so cute. Oh my goodness, so adorable. And then um, this is the situation where, do I pour it? Do I, I think I just, I'm gonna put the beta in and then we'll, we'll pour it. So she has kind of a little bit of a round base. We got her, put her in here. And then we just gotta get some gravel around her. Come on. Oh goodness, things aren't going well now. Good thing I didn't put the resin in here. Why is it doing this to me? It's got all kinds of stuff on the beta fish now. All right, almost. I don't know why it's doing this. <laughs> These aquariums, I thought they'd be fun, but they're so stressful. Okay. I think, I think it's safe. To pour some resin so we're gonna use some of our old stuff here and we're just doing this so that the the base will get full and then we don't have to worry about air bubbles honestly I'm I'm ready to just pour it and then not cure it and wait for all the air bubbles to come to the top and then pop them I don't know that's my idea that's my my thinking that I have right now like why not you know all right, so let's, even my uh, plant is not doing great. It's fine. We're just gonna pour this and we're gonna not cure it. I'm just gonna wait till the very end when all the air bubbles are out of it or when all the air bubbles are ready to be popped, that is. Oh gosh, look at all those bubbles that I'm adding. <laughs> Gotta do a slow pour for these. But the amount of bubbles it has right now is actually really cute. And if I could cure it like that, I would, but I'm gonna just wait it out. I learned my lesson last time. I also think we can bury the plant a little bit more. There come the bubbles. See, good thing I didn't jump to it. So yeah, the plant's sticking out a little bit. Uh, I might stick this upside down and, and add a little bit more in later. Honestly, not a bad plan, I don't think. So now we just wait for those bubbles to come up. Oh, I don't want to put it in, in that, uh, the light at all. I'm gonna put the little clownfish back there and I'm just gonna put this fish back there. Please, I hope I remember to not do that and cure it and accidentally have a fiasco on my hands. All right, next up, what do we have? We've got, oh, we've got another aquarium set. I'm excited, but also, I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's get all of this stuff out. 
Okay. So, aquarium time. This one seems square, rectangular, I guess I should say. All right, rectangle aquarium. So more standard. And then we have purple gravel and the same plant. So maybe we'll have the same, like maybe another beta fish. And, oh no, it's actually the butterfly fish. Oh, stop it, it's so cute. Uh, I'm getting this untied so that we're ready. Oh, this is so cute. I just love the little fish bags. It's just too cute. It's too cute. Oh my goodness, I can't get it open. There we go. So we've got the little butterfly fish. And then let me see. I can grab the little card. Butterfly fish. So cute. All right. I kind of want to use the other gravel since I have them open, but we're gonna we're gonna try to stick to the plan. And that plan is just me winging it, <laughs> essentially. I'm gonna try to do maybe a little bit more gravel than the last couple, but it is a smaller container, so the same amount might be plenty. All right, and let's just smish it down. It's definitely sticking my hands. All right, so we've got the base, the base of the gravel. And then we're going to get the plant out. Actually, I wanna open up the water so that we'll be ready for that. Uh, let's get that over there and then we'll just have this upside down in the back. All right, for the plant placement. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to use the tongs and what is it, a circle base? It's a circle base. It is the nice one where we don't really need to cover it, but I'm covering it so it actually gets covered by the resin. So now, I try, I need the popsicle stick. That didn't really work out well last time just doesn't want want me to have a flat surface on the gravel. Like, look at that, why is it doing that? Stop. Stop. Um, it's fine. Do I need to? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, so I got that basically done. And then we just add the fish, which is a circle. So we'll go ahead and put her in like that. And then I want to try to tamper around her. Oh gosh, it's not wanting to do that for me. It wasn't this bad with the first one. Right, let me see if I can get some over here. Nope, it's not working. Wow, I was just like, I was definitely really excited for these. Not that I'm not excited still, but it's, it's getting a little tricky. All right, so that's the look. We're gonna go ahead and pour the resin and set it down and wait for the air bubbles to come to the surface. Cause you can see as an update, I got lots of air bubbles here, but it's looking good otherwise. So I'll have to pop some of those. So we'll just go ahead and pour. I think this is gonna look so much better. Hopefully now I get a duplicate of the clown fish. All right, I don't think we'll need as much water resin in here, um, but I'm gonna try to fill it up. Goodness, I don't want that many air bubbles. Honestly, that might be pretty good. It's probably pretty solid. So like I said, same plan. We're gonna not cure it, wait for the bubbles to rise, and then we'll cure it later. So I could take these tongs or something else, or a lighter or a heat gun, like I said, and just pop these bubbles. I will still have tiny air bubbles, but way less of the big ones and that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna let that sit back there again and you can see the bubbles coming up on this one. We'll let that sit, but you also wanna be careful not to knock those over because that would be a little bit of a disaster. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm gonna put that back there. All right, we've got a plant, we've got a plant. Honestly, I feel like I'm in the mood for more of the, um, the aquariums. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm on a roll. All right, so we've got what we've got pebbles rocky mix and some potting mix and we've got this pot oh, come on now there we go we've got the pot 
and we've got this cactus yes all right what i'm gonna do this is the plan this is the plan we have shovel also. i'm gonna open this potting mix actually i'm sure the potting mix goes on the top and the rocks will be decoration or i mean on the bottom and rocks will be decoration on the top that's the case so what we're going to do this time is pot this all right well i maybe shouldn't no nah, it just it has pretty shallow roots okay so we're gonna pot this, all right? Okay, this is gonna this is gonna be good. Now, what kind of resin do I use? <laughs> I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna do. All right, I've got that. You can't really see in there. And then I'm gonna set it in here like this, and we're gonna pour some resin in. What resin you may ask? I do have leftover water, but I kind of want to keep that just in case. Do I use this? No. Let's see. What do I use? I could use this red, this ketchup. <laughs> the ketchup. Oh, I think the ketchup might have. Did it, it might have clogged up. There we go. So I realize red probably isn't the, the move. <laughs> but it's the move for right this second. Because um, these rocks are white, so we'll probably be able to see through. But what my plan is, is we use this resin, we stick the cactus in here, right? So like this. Um, we kind of, we could cure it like this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cure it like this. Haha. <laughs> oh guys, this is like, this is ideal. This is the best. This is, this is great. This is genius. Hold on. Let me uh, get this cured a little bit more. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to pour the rocks in and then we'll do maybe one of the water, water resins over top of it. I was gonna mix the rocks and the resin, but I think it'll be easier to just pour on top of it. I think it'll be the move. All right. Um, it's not, probably not fully cured here, but can't help it. Um, which water should I use? I'll use this water since I think it's almost out. And then it's gonna be a little tricky. I'm just trying a bunch of different things, you know, and we're gonna see what works because otherwise these rocks are just going to be like floating around and spilling. This is it. This looks great. Now, this is where I like need a squeezy top, but we're going to try it this way. So, here we go. All right, gently, we got to do kind of like an even, somewhat even coat. Not really an even coat, but I want to make sure I get some on each side. We kind of go all the way around. Oh gosh, that's too much. Too much. But now, we wait. Not really. We can, ooh, ooh, I just got a better idea. We can, you know, let this kind of sit in here. Also, I can use a tool and kind of spread it around a little bit. We can also sprinkle some on the top. So, you can see it worked really well on this side over here but it's a little deep on this side so I'm gonna add a few more rocks if I can find the rock bag oh where'd it go I lost it oh here they are all right let's go ahead and add a few more rocks so that it looks better oh my gosh I'm a genius <laughs> no but like for real this looks great this is exactly what we want to go for so that's that worked out perfect i'm excited for this cactus now i'm i really am happy that we're finding ways to make these more secure instead of them just kind of sitting there in the potting soil and then you could spill them over and then make a big giant mess that's what i'm trying to avoid so that's cool we've got it it's there it's all there's a few loose rock loose rocks on there but i'll just tip it over the trash can and collect up those loose ones all right moving on you guys Let's see what we're gonna have next. We have another plant, I can tell. Well, what kind of plant? Looks like we got two bags of soil, and of course we got a shovel. So we have um, the sandy mix and the potting mix. I don't know if we've ever gotten that combo yet, so this might be new. Nope. It is new. We're gonna do, hopefully the same thing. Actually, how are we gonna do this? Should we put the sandy mix in or the, the potting mix in? Also, I have potting mix over there that I haven't used and sandy mix. So I'm thinking we'll be able to use old stuff. 
Also, I'm bringing in my candle stuff and we're gonna try this again. Oh, no, <laughs> I was sitting there for so long. All right, you just, you just sit there, candle stuff, and do your thing. So, what am I doing? I need, first, we're gonna take a little look-see at the recipe card. So this is the tree cactus. I'm guessing it says do potting soil then sandy soil. So we'll do that. Um, I'm gonna use this potting soil, right? It's a brand new one. So we're gonna do something very similar to the last one. I'm just gonna plop it all in here. Hopefully we use it all. Yeah, definitely. Because it has the shallow root system here. And we'll just press it down. And then I can use this sandy mix and some of the old, old potting mix. So this isn't very similar to what I just did with the other cactus, but this is just using leftovers from my first experiment. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put this regular potting mix in first. Then we're going to put in the cactus like so, like so, I like it, and we'll cure it. I don't really know, we actually probably should have put more of something in here. What should we put in here? I don't know. I'll just do some of this maybe? I'm out of this. Um, some mustard? I only have a little bit of mustard. All right, so this isn't working. I didn't have, I, I have too many leftover pieces and it's not working. <laughs> oh gosh. But anyway, we'll top it off with the sandy soil mix and then top it off with even more sandy soil mix. So, I'm just doing, we're just scraping it off into there, into there, there. I just can't really see what I'm doing this. I like it. Be cute to put rocks on here too, but I'm just going to follow basic instructions here. And voila! I like it. It looks good. All right, and then I'll clean off the pot a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and cure that. I'm going to set this back over my mixing station, and then we'll kind of clean up a little bit, and I have a brand new bag of Sandy Mix still. <laughs> Perfect. I do have a mess going on on my napkin. I'm glad I did bring that over. All right, so we'll let that cure. And then I should probably put this mustard somewhere. I have so much random, so many random resin bottles. I need to take care of that. But I'm glad that we've got this sand being used up. I have the next capsule here ready for us to open. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this. Oh, I didn't give you a final look, but here it is. Looking great. I'm getting better and better at this. I think I feel like I feel like I've mastered the aquariums and I feel like I've I'm getting there with these plants. The succulents are a little trickier because they're just smaller to work with, um, with smaller spaces to work with. So anyway, we've got aquarium. We've got big rocks. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is like a little turtle. We got pink rocks, pink gravel. All right, let's keep these on the table. And we've got, I feel like I need to clean the dirt off my hands. You could, also we got a square, a rectangle aquarium. You could, with uh, any leftover potting mix, you could make a nice little dirt terrarium for your turtles. That'd be really cool. All right, is this, this is the red eared slider. I used to have red eared sliders growing up. I had them all the time. My last ones, I think we're zippy and slippy. <laughs> I miss zippy and slippy, shout out to them. But um, here's the little card. But yeah, you could definitely do like a dirt bottom, which I kind of want to do. Should I do it? Should I do a dirt bottom? I have extra. Mm, I think I'll do it. Ah, oh, I'm torn, I'm torn. Um, let me open some of these. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll do regular and then, you know, if I have extra or if I ever get duplicates, we'll, we'll do that. But yeah, the dirt bottom would be really cool. I don't know, no, you know what? I have the sand. I have that brand new potting mix. Like I may as well, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. 
I'm gonna do it. It's gonna make it a more natural aquarium for my turtle. To honor Zippy and Slippy. <laughs> uh, I miss those guys. All right. So this this definitely isn't the recipe. This isn't the plan, but I'm doing it. I actually really like this idea. This is so good. And then what you can do, actually what I should have did, is kind of ramp it up kind of like that so that they have some land area. So if you didn't know, they do need a little bit of land area to bask or of like floating rocks or something. But we could definitely do this. Now they do have the rocks that it came with. Oh, this is going to be great. How do I organize these? That's the question. I'm going to put some like half in the water. Well, it will be in the water. You know what I mean? It's not going to be work. I don't know. We'll see. I want there to be some area for him to hang out on top. I'm going to put that in the water and then we'll kind of put this on top. No, come back. No. <sighs> Trying to get this little pebble. There we go. I got it. So I want to put, it doesn't really make tons of sense to put it in the water like that, but I'm doing it. Also, I think I'll utilize the tongs in this situation. Gosh, why am I having such trouble here? All right, we'll do that. And then where's that little pebble? Something like this. I like it. And then we unbox our little turtle. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Stop it. Like what? And then I could do, I think it'd be on the rocks or something just like that. But I'll put him in last. I think I'm going to put uh, his little, his water in first. I'm changing this again also. Just didn't like it. That's better. All right. Um, should I use leftover water? I feel like I should. I'm going to go ahead and use some. I don't want to fill it up all the way. It just doesn't make sense to do. Um, since I'm purposefully making like a little land area. And also I don't think bubbles really matter in this one either. All right. I should still put some on top though of that sand. Hmm. Maybe I do a little bit back here. Maybe it has just like a little bit, just like a small layer there. And then I'll, I'll, I'll brush it in with this, the popsicle stick that I have over here. So like do this, put it over here like this. Yeah, just so it kind of secures that in. And it's like, it still has that deep end for the water, for the turtle. Yeah, I like it. I like it so much. This is so great. Oh, I like making these my own. I really do. All right. So now, the choice to wait and cure it or not, I feel like I should wait and cure it because I learned my lesson, um, but do I put the turtle in? And also, where do I put the turtle? I feel like I need to put the turtle. This is so small, by the way, like that. I think that's cute. All right, this is the final look. I'm gonna, just like every other query, I'm gonna let that kind of set. I might, could even add a little bit more sand if I wanted to, but for now, we're gonna let it sit. Okay, wow, that was fun. I liked making that one. That was really fun. I wanna get the other turtle now and I'm gonna make his aquarium natural as well. All right, we've got more aquarium stuff. Honestly, this is all I could ever ask for. If the rest of these are aquariums, even if they're duplicates, like bring it on, I am ready. All right, we've got, oh, is this a clownfish? <laughs> if it is, I need it, <laughs> I need it. Okay, it is. So we got our first duplicate. It's the clownfish. And honestly, I definitely want that. I need that to redo my clownfish fiasco. But I am going to set it off to the side for this video. And we'll move on to the next one. So that was our first duplicate for this go around. All right. And we've got ourselves some plant stuff here. I'm going to have a candle in a minute. But that's okay. I'm on a roll with these anyway, so not complaining. So we've got the potting mix and we've got the rock mix again. So this is very familiar. Um, it might be the aloe again. Yep, we've got a duplicate aloe. So I will go ahead and put this one back. 
as well. And we'll get on to the next one. So that is two, that is two duplicates in a row. How about that? All right, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? All right, we've got same thing. No, this one has the rocks. So we had a cactus like that already. Let's see what this one is. We've got a succulent and we've got this. I thought, I thought this one had another. Oh no, it is only, it's the only one in the little jar. All right. Well then, let's do this. So we have the bowl that looks just like the aquariums did. We have the sandy potting mix. Go ahead and put that in there, like so. And then this will be a really good opportunity to do, well, should we put resin in first and then put the, the rocks on? I feel like we'll put the rocks on. Actually, I have rocks. Let's so keep, keep with the open rocks because I already have them spilling out everywhere. I think we, well, I should probably put this guy in first. Something like that. Yes, possibly. And then we go ahead and put rocks all around them and then I'll shake them up a little bit so it kind of evenly disperses my rocks. Might be too many rocks, honestly. I don't know, I like it, it's good. And then I'm gonna try not to get any rocks, or I mean, sorry, resin, on the actual succulent, but we're gonna go around and do the same deal as the aquarium. Wait, not the aquarium. The last rock cactus guy. And I'm just gonna, oh, try not to do that. I don't know if I like this method because of the tank. It's not the greatest. Yeah, I probably should have did like, oh no, no. I should have did, um, what is it? The, the resin underneath the rocks and then put the rocks on top. That would have been smarter. It's okay. I'm just gonna try to fix this up as best I can and Hopefully it'll look okay. If it doesn't, I could try to come back around and fix it up a little bit. Okay. There's a little empty spot over there. I'm not too worried about it. Could squish some rocks over that way, but I think that'll be a spot where I fix up later. Okay. Um, is there something else I could do real quick? I think maybe just adding in some rocks here just to have that. Yep, and then what do I do? I will, I could cure it, but I don't want to. I kind of want to clean it off a little bit. I could just use the little piece of paper towel and kind of go around the edge in there, but it's still gonna be weird, I think, because even if I clean it up, it'll look streaky, but also at the same time, it kind of looks interesting, I guess. It's fine, you know, learned my lesson for that one. It wasn't the best. I'm gonna cure that, but I'm actually gonna let it sit and see if it'll run down the sides. So here is the look. It's great. Cool. That was fun, but always try to put in your resin first before your finishing touches. Okay, let's see, what do we have next? Got yet another plant. Let's see what this is. We got the rocks and soil again we've got new plants though we've got like an aloe and this beautiful beautiful succulent um, it looks like it'll be this one right here the succulent crate which is pretty cool looking so we'll have a crate here and then it's gonna be same deal where we have the soil honestly should i just no i don't have an opening open potting soil so we'll go ahead and open the potting soil. I'm gonna put like half in here. It just doesn't seem like it's super deep. So let's put this in here. I do have some leftovers of the this stuff. Let's get this all on the edges. So this will just give us something to stick into. A little bit more there. Perfect. 
All right, and then, oops, we'll go ahead and pour some resin in. And this could be any color resin. Which resin should I pick? I mean, this one would be pretty good to use, but I left it on right side up for too long. <laughs> we'll just set it like that for a minute while we look at the little succulents. These are so pretty, I love these. Um, I do still have some rocks, so we'll try to use these, but I'll, oh, I just spilled the rocks everywhere. But we will end up using more rocks anyway, so not a big deal. Okay, do we have resin coming out? We do, in fact. That's great news, but we don't have quite enough, in my opinion. <laughs> We're gonna need more, but we do have quite a bit coming out here still. I'm gonna try to, can't squeeze any more out. Where'd my lid go? I think I threw the lid away. So we can't tilt it upside down anymore. Honestly, this water jug seen its day, so let's get another one. Actually, it doesn't matter. Can I just pick any of these, like this glaze? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna kind of spread this around just so that the rocks will have something to stick to. Always. All right, perfect. And let's get, where's the open rocks? Oh, I gotta put the plants in. Silly me. Do we do that first? Hmm. No, let's just go ahead and do this. All right, uh, I'm gonna put this back here. So this would be a good situation where we'd cure it first and then maybe put rocks in, you know? Uh, but for now, let's just use what's left in this rock bag and then maybe cure it, I don't know. I don't know, I'm torn now. I think we'll just keep going. We've got the rocky mix here. And we'll go ahead and pour some in there. Yeah, that looks good. Pour some back here. Try to get some in this crack. And then there's a crack here. And then there's one back here. I know I overdid it on the rocks, but that's what we want to do. Okay, so now set those rocks over here. And then we're gonna try to Kind of shake it up a little bit. Now I think, oh my, please don't move. I do know that the, the succulents have rocks in them, but don't worry, those will shake out really easily because there's not resin in the plants. So that's the goal. Um, we definitely can do a layer of resin on top. I'm probably gonna need to do that. So we'll, we'll do that right now. I just gotta get my H2O resin here and we don't want to go too heavy on it so we'll go and do like a little splish over here and a little bit over here looks like we got another drop coming nice all right so we've got that covered and then we can use tongs and kind of well i don't need to use tongs actually i could have used popsicle stick but this helps keep everything in place for the most part. All right, now let's cure it. So I will, once it's fully cured, shake it off into the trash can and move on from there. Oh goodness. My, I'm looking at my clownfish back there. It looks horrible. <laughs> Do you guys wanna see it? You guys want, to, want another look? Oh my gosh, here we go, look at that. Look how bad it looks. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. All right. But like, it's not bad. It's great. You know, I, I just, <laughs> way too many bubbles. All right. So I have to empty some of these out over the trash can. And voila, this is what we're looking at for our final look. Honestly, really cute. Love it. Got a lot of rocks everywhere. But we're living with it. I'm still hoping for that other turtle because I want to make another cute little landscape for him. All right, we've got this one here. What do we have? What do we have? We've got just regular potting mix. I think, well, oh no, I was going to say we almost got all the plants, but there's still a lot of cacti. I think we still have to get this one being one of them. All right, and then we've got this cool little raised pot thing with a decor pot. So it's this is the pot you'll pot it in. 
and then you have a little outside decor pot, a little stand. So cute. All right, I have some leftover potting mix, so I'm gonna try to just use this, possibly, potentially. Will it be enough? I think so. And then, same deal, I think. Honestly, I might wanna glue this one. But I have some leftover potting mix here. It's definitely not enough, but it gets the idea across, you know what I mean? And we can definitely work with this. I think if we can indent this a little bit and then we can, he's so big though, put him in like that, like so. I feel like, I don't know. This is like another one like that cat pot one that we don't really have a lot of, a lot to work with. I wonder if there is, can I use some mustard? Not really. Oh, there we go. That was probably too much mustard. Um, but let me uh, mix this up a little bit and maybe it'll look better. It's looking like brown sludge right now, but we do that. And we try to cure it from the side like that. I'll, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. We just need some time with it, just like we need with that cat pot back there. But this one was, this is it. It's pretty basic. It's just this ball cactus. Honestly, what was it? We didn't even look at the recipe card. Um, it's the barrel cactus. All right. So I will definitely fully cure this and might be able to yeah see it's already starting to cure it's not fully cured yet but I gotta fully cure the other other plants anyway all right I gotta put that shovel with them and we're down to what five we're really down to five oh I already opened this we've got a candle though oh yeah I forgot about the, <laughs> the stand for my cactus it's fine I'll just put it back there all right well we haven't had a candle in a minute so this is great I'm excited for this Hopefully it has enough wax, cough, cough, rose candles. Does anybody else have that problem with their candles? Like it's just, I don't know. All right, so we got these really cute like flower shaped jars. And we've got the wicks and some potting mix over here. Um, I don't know, I, there is a, uh, whatchamacallit over here, hold on. Hold on, in the tissue paper. A little tray. Ooh, this looks like an ice cream, honestly. <laughs> um, let me see. What is this one? I think it's this fresh eucalyptus. Nice. I love eucalyptus. It smells so good. All right. So let's go ahead and well, I'm going to keep this upside down. Actually, let's keep it upside down while we open this up. The little wicks. Okay, there we go. And then we'll plop the wicks in there like so, and then we'll fill them up. I feel like I need to decide which one I want to fill up in case there's not going to be enough resin. All right, we've got some in that one. Honestly, it's not coming out easy. I feel like we're going to run out again. Oh, I'm stressed. The first candles we didn't have a huge problem with. I don't know. Maybe we just need to let this sit, sit up. I'm gonna just let it sit up and whoop, whoop. oh goodness, just like that. We're just gonna let it sit. And we're gonna move on to the next one while we do that because it's just gonna be easier that way. All right, we've got another plant. How many more plants do we have? There's one, two more cacti slash, or no, could be more cacti slash succulents. All right, we've got, no shovel? Oh, there it is, it fell out. We got the rocks, we've got the soil. We have a crate, so I think this is a duplicate. Yeah, it's a duplicate. Oh no, that's okay. We're doing great, we're doing great, you guys. We've got three left. I'm missing quite a few little aquarium buddies. Ah, yes, an aquarium. I'm so excited. Let's put this up in. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm so excited. All right, ooh, look at this coral. It's like shimmery. 
And then we've got this orange pebble mix. And then we have a bowl, like a proper fish bowl. And what kind of fish? <gasps> it's a blue tang. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So then we have this recipe card. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna get this open. You'll notice, which I just realized, some of them say fresh water, some of them say salt water. So I was wondering, I was like, why is it two different colors? And then I realized. Um, I think the tape is really sticking me on this one. Oh my goodness. Can I get this open? Oh, there we go. Right, I just wanna get the lid off so I can tilt it upside down and get ready. This is gonna be another one. We're gonna have to wait hours for the air bubbles. Not hours, but you know. All right, let's get these pebbles open. I'm super stoked for these. I love the color of this yellow, these yellow pebbles. I also don't think we need all of them. Like I don't need this whole bag, I don't think. Let me see. Maybe I do. I just feel like it's a little excessive. I don't even really want to pack it all down, but I kind of do at the same time. All right, that looks good. And then we have this coral, which is so stunning. Take a closer look at it. Just look at it. It's shimmery, it's beautiful, it's everything. Um, I kind of wanted to set it on top. So since this is a, just a bowl, it's definitely gonna be a little, um, what's the word? Smaller of a space, a tinier space to work with. And then we have, of course, our blue tang fish do this here she is she's beautiful she's stunning she doesn't have an eye on the side <laughs> so we gotta make sure to put her on this side let me see if I can get her there I feel like I need to temper some of that down maybe I use the tongs this time and it'll work better maybe maybe I just need to add more pebbles in here, that might also help. I don't know though, it looks pretty good. I think that looks good. And then we'll just go ahead and add in the water. I think that's everything, right? I feel like I'm missing something. But we'll go ahead and add in our salt water. Yes. Lovely. And then we'll definitely wait a minute for the bubbles. A couple minutes actually. <laughs> wait a couple minutes for all the bubbles. Pretty much like probably gonna wait maybe even overnight for the bubbles to come out and then I'll cure them. Alright so that's the look. Can't really tilt it to see it. It looks like that moved. The coral must have moved. Um, but it's okay. Honestly I'm not worried about it. Okay let's revisit the eucalyptus candle. Let's see if I can squirt some more. There is nothing coming out. Are you kidding me? Maybe it's this. Maybe it's it's this. What the? Where is it? Like, where's the wax? I didn't think I'd have this much trouble with these candles. I'm not. This is kind of ridiculous. Like, we had no trouble with the first candle. Somebody tell me what's going on. All right. While we wait for those candles, if they'll ever become candles again. So open up the next one, which is another candle. <laughs> Hopefully with enough wax this time. Fingers crossed. Oh gosh. I'm not gonna put the squeezy top on this one and see if it works, but this is the pumpkin spice candle. So that's fun. We've got that going for us. It looks like it's pretty full. Looks like it, keyword. We've got the, the wicks. Get this. I'm trying to work fast so that I can get these these upside down, the resin bottles upside down, and we can work quickly. All right, so these are really cute because they're like little mini mason jars. They're so cute. I love it. And we'll go ahead and pop the wicks into them. And I'm just going to set that up there and tilt it upside down while we look at... Oh, they're in a basket. Oh, this is really, really cute. 
Aw, oh, and then here is the recipe card. This is really cute, I love this. All right, now I'm bringing this in. Okay, that's as much as I got in the first squeeze. Let's see if I can get, all right. I think I might be able to get at least one candle out of this one. <laughs> it's super thick. Maybe that's the problem, maybe it's just not running. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with this. We're gonna focus on just this one candle, like that. Looks good, and then we'll kind of just set it there. Does it smell or something? I don't know. No, it doesn't smell. I thought it would smell like pumpkin spice. Uh, I'm gonna put this table back here though while we try to squeeze out some more resin for, yep, nope. Nothing coming out of here. So again, I'm gonna set this back here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm making a big mess. I've got a little bit coming out, so we'll just kind of leave it sit back there. And we have one left, you guys. Hopefully it's not a candle at this point because, <laughs> and it is, okay. But it is a citrus candle. So that's exciting. Uh, that means it might be the lemon one and I've actually been really wanting the lemon one. We might just wanna take one for the team and like <laughs> combine all these waxes together. I don't know, it's just an idea. We have the wicks, we have the lemon slices and then we'll have the little stand that it goes on, which is really pretty. It's like a rose gold color. And then we'll have, whoops, we'll have the, the little jars. There's three of them. So good luck filling these ones. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare. I can't believe these candles. <sighs> okay, so we've got three candles. We've got three wicks got three lemon slices. I'm gonna pull out the card, the recipe card in a minute after I get these wicks in place. And then we'll just see how they did it. I think I'm gonna put, there's holes in the lemon wedges, so I'm thinking we'll just pop those over top like that. Yep, just like they did. Here's the card. And I'm obviously gonna need to wait till last. Oops, whoops, just dropped all the lemon wedges. But I'll have to wait till last for all of the lemon wedges to go on. So, everybody just <laughs> fingers crossed that this goes somewhat well. Um, I think what I might do is I could use the leftover water that I have and just fill up some of these candles. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I got one filled. Should we go for the big one? I think I'll go for the two small ones and then we'll go for the big one. Guys, we've almost filled all of them. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm gonna actually tilt this one upside down and put it in here, I guess, for now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cure these. Oh, this is gonna be hard to do because I can't, I don't wanna cure anything else. But I wanna cure these small ones so I can put a little bit of resin on them on the top so I can get those lemon slices on there. So, this is our final one and it looks pretty promising. We'll at least get two candles out of it. So I'm happy about that. I'm gonna just, like I said, uh, goodness, cure these. I've been opening too many of these today. <laughs> I'm exhausted. But I'm really excited. This was a very fun opening. I really wish I would've got another turtle, but that's okay. That just means I gotta keep looking. I'm gonna add a ton of these to the random blind bag box and we're just gonna have a ton of more openings. And guys, please let me know if you wanna see more openings. Maybe I'll do some full cases, whatever. Um, but anyway, we've got the little lemon. We'll go on there like that. Oh, I should've put some resin on first. All right, so I just wanna put a little resin. I don't need anything too much. I'm gonna actually put the dollop back there and then I'll keep this upside down here just for the time being. All right, so now slide the lemon on like that. Oh, beautiful. We've got one candle, success. And then I've got the other one here ready for its lemon slice. I honestly think this will uh, work out. All right, here we go. There we go, perfect. Got two candles, gonna cure those. And then we'll try to squeeze this out. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Honestly, that might be as good as we're getting, so I might want to cure this and then we'll add the uh, the lemon slice on. But there are lots of bubbles in this, so I kind of want to pop them. It's good enough. So let me, I don't know how to best cure this one because the wick is very weird. Oh no, I'm losing some. Okay. I wonder, I might just go ahead and do this and risk in it. Oh, I can't do it. Hold on. We're not going to be able to do that. So we're going to just have to, there's so many bubbles in this one. Hold on. Gotta get this bubble out. There's just really giant bubbles that I don't want there. And then we wanna make sure that the wick is somewhat centered. I'm doing this way too close to the bottle of resin, by the way. Um, also the wick fell, but it's fine. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm having issues. Let's do that. And I think that's sticky enough for it to be able to still work. All right, I'm gonna cure those back there. And then I have leftover here, so I'm gonna squeeze some into the, the rose candle jar because, I mean, it's all I've got at this point, you know? I gotta fill these candles somehow. They're not gonna look like they're supposed to, but it is what it is. And this pumpkin one I'm also gonna cure because, again, that's <laughs> all I've got. <laughs> Uh, at least I got some in here, you know, and same with this eucalyptus one. I'll just cure that. And then now that I have this one, I kind of need to pop those bubbles, but you know, we're, we're, we're there for the most part. Let me uh, pull these out over here so you guys can get a final look at these. These look really good. I will say they look like drinks. I definitely need to trim the wicks. So we'll do that. And they'll look even better. Let's get this one trimmed as well. Perfect. Look at that. Stunning. That one worked out very well. This one and the first one, first candle one I did, these other ones just not, it's not happening. Like I don't know how much more pumpkin, it cannot get any more out of here. There's just nothing coming out. <sighs> okay, so we've got this. Yay, would have been cute. I'll just have to supplement it with another color. And then we have, or or I'll just, you know, tilt it upside down and wait, wait it out. And then this one, I'm gonna work on filling this one up before anything else. Yeah, there's just little by little it's coming out. So we got this, this is the look. <laughs> and, um, whoops, these. This is what we've got here. I really need, Yellow. What color can I use? I don't have many, many colors. I've got frosting, like chocolate frosting, but that's all. I mean, I have the clear of the water, which I might just go ahead and use just to top this one off because I've got the orange on here. I don't think it would hurt to add in the rest of this water. I think that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, that's it. Uh, we've done it. We have all of the lifestyle ones open, uh, minus, you know, the disaster. Well, we had the disaster of not having enough uh, candle wax resin um, for these last few candles, but still, I'm gonna try to scavenge up some more extra resin bottles that I have, and we'll see what I can do, but that's pretty much it. Now, as a recap, these are the ones we did not get today. The birthday cake candle, the yellow bellied slider, the goldfish, oh, I need these. Uh, the purple beta, and the succulent pear number one, and the cactus twins, and I think lastly, the hanging terrariums. Here are all of our lifestyle minis that we made. Look at these aquariums, they look amazing. And then I ended up filling most of the candles up. I love this one specifically, I used like the old apple pie filling. And it looks like it's, you know, when a candle's lit and it gets all liquidy like that, it looks just like this. It's, it's great. <laughs> I still haven't found anything to fill up the eucalyptus one, but I'm working on it. 
There's tons of awesomeness happening here. Mine is our clownfish fiasco back there. But really, I'm very happy with so many of these. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this big giant opening. Let me know which one of these creations was your favorite overall out of all of the series. I'm going to go with the little turtle. He's so cute, but I had so many favorites and I had such a fun time. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.